Good morning, lovely jewellery makers. A weekend of opulence. I know you already know this, but I just want to tell you a little story this morning. My three-year-old said to me, Mummy, please stay. Stay with me. Don't leave me. And I was like, Tiggy, I love you, but there's absolutely no way on earth I am missing today at work. Because guess who is in the building? My favourite Jan Dwyer. Hello. Oh, Jan. Oh yeah, it's so lovely to see you. It's great to be back. It's oh, great to be back. We miss you. Oh, I miss you. Too. I know you're not. It was gone, lovely gone. to see you this morning oh, and get a coach. But the biggest. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah well, we get to see you every so often, don't yes. we? Because you are yeah. very far afield, aren't you? Yeah. Kind yeah. Of... I mean, it was an early start this morning. I bet. What time did you get up? I was up at four. Oh. We left that... at five. Oh. Yeah. I know. That's an early start. We'll, we'll, we'll it's worth this. it though. It's definitely yeah. worth it. And we've already had a lovely little chat. We have. Talked about your amazing journey. Yeah. And everything yes. that's going on in the world of Jan. Yeah, it's been good. All be, uh, you know, you're still, um, I can't remember the name of the hotel. The Metropole Hotel. Still with your pearls in the Metropole Hotel. Yes. And yeah. your business is doing great. Great, yeah. I've been at the Metropole about 15 years now. Gosh. Sort of, you know, thereabouts. Um, and yeah, it's doing well. Uh, yeah, she, you are our pearly queen. I look, well, you know I love pearls. Yes. I'll put a strand on today just I did, to, I did um, notice those. Very beautiful. Very mind beautiful. Mind you, they're not, uh, they're still, <laughs> I'll just admit this now, they're still on the temporary strand because I grabbed them this morning and thought, oh, I like those, I'll put those on. <laughs> you just grab them. So if they You've do got, ping. Have you got a stash of that, <laughs> it's not uh, my of that many? They just grab well, yeah, them. Yeah, I yeah. said to Len, I'll just pop out the back and see if I've got a metre of pearls. <laughs> <laughs> just so happens as you, do. as you do yeah i know it's it's so it's so amazing and also quite surreal that we we can do that you know i'm sure yeah. you you're well aware of the situation with pearls and the pearl prices and, yes you know um they've changed so much over recent recent years haven't they you yeah. know um, and we're lucky, and I think we're in this sort of bit of a JM bubble, really, aren't we? Totally. We have been that it's, you know, I, I didn't work with pearls at all before I came to Jewel Maker. Oh, really? Um, and I've been with Jewel Maker since 2013. Gosh. Um, and since then, my love of pearls has just grown and grown and grown. I know. Well, I tell you what, we're. And my collection of pearls? Yeah, just likewise. Grown and grown. Yeah, likewise. Um, well, today is the perfect show then, Jan. Because oh, we've got some stunners on today. Oh, there's a whole lot of beautiful pearls today. Shall we beautiful. start by your amazing opulence piece that is inspired by, um, I've literally just learnt, a designer that you know? Margot McKinney. She is the. I just absolutely love her. She's such an elegant, stylish lady who makes the most beautiful pieces of jewellery. She she in, she incorporates pearls, big pearls, big yeah. pieces of jewellery, statement pieces that yeah. are absolutely stunning. Wow, we're looking at the website right now. Oh my goodness, She's, you can even honestly, tell by the website. When I look at when I look at her jewellery, I just get so excited. It yeah. just really gives you a buzz. It's amazing. Oh my goodness, we're looking at it right now. Look I was so those. so inspired by her jewellery. Look at those pearls there. Uh, that that phenomenal, aren't they? Yeah. Um, I, I emailed um, I emailed her and said, look, you know, they are just your jewellery is just so beautifully, just so inspiring, and she sent me such a beautiful message back. Aww. She's such a sweet lady. How amazing. Look, we're just, we, can, we can show you a, cu a few little teasers. And here's the lady herself. She's, Is that the lady herself? Yeah, she's so wow. stylish and just such a lovely lady. Wow. Well, and um, the family, I mean, she's fourth generation. I, I think that's right. Fourth generation, you know, <coughs> jewelry designer, and she's just wow. phenomenal. Well, your project, which is, it's the 12 o'clock project, isn't it? Your yeah. pearls is Margot McKinney inspired. So obviously this weekend we're taking inspiration from lots of these amazing designers and um, trying to access an, an affordable way for our jewellery makers yes. to make these yeah. high-end pieces. That is incredible, Jan. We're looking yeah. at your necklace right now. That is absolutely incredible. And the first time I think we've ever actually done anything like this. Well, for me, when I got them, um, I mean, for one, for one thing, when you get them, you get them in the most beautiful box. Yes. You know, and um, they just, it's phenomenal. And then you open it up and you see those beautiful pearls, but then they've got this sort of um, 
modern punch in there because you've yeah. got all that that beautiful like shambhala beads you've yes. got all that beautiful color that sparkle and so it just sort of um mixes the t uh, that's just beautiful amazing and well um the jewelry editor um is i think where we first saw this piece of jewelry um now these are in the white pearl so you're actually getting your beautiful purple um what's that a hundred is that a hundred and seventy a hundred and seventy five thousand that necklace wow wow i mean it's absolutely there's no way on earth like any you know i could afford that no, <laughs> no way on earth no. so to be able to create something inspired by absolutely and i think that's great and i think you know we we see lots of different designs and things and we get inspiration from yes. that and because of jewelry maker yeah we can make our own versions of yes. that um and that's that's nice then wow that's, that's beautiful. absolutely beautiful a hundred and seventy five thousand dollars not pounds so not far off that no really um for that piece on the right the what the beautiful natural purple pearl on the left is the project the piece of joy that our lovely jan has created for you so that's at 12 o'clock today um let's go through the menu because you've got so much squeezed into um squeezed into um your five hour show the opulent starts right here because at eight o'clock inspired by oh, i've gone blank thank you the <laughs> opera collection um where if you kind of think a little bit alhambra but not mm -hmm. they're a bit more floral you get these absolutely beautiful i'm actually wearing a pair of earrings that have been created from these um, from these graduated connectors because they're connectors jewelry makers so inspired by the opera collection you have this beautiful 925 sterling silver mm. component that you can put together quite simply like this um, or you could also create beautiful oh look at those like uh, um, chandelier earrings two thousand pounds for those earrings so inspired by that collection you can see the motif is incredibly similar um, <laughs> um take inspiration these are your early birds of which you get how many do you get six six so you've got enough to wow. make these earrings straight away in that graduation as well um so they're in your hour right now jewelry makers so how many do we have in terms of quantity <coughs> 120 of those available so i would encourage shopping ahead on those nine o'clock then we've got our lovely jan's first project Yep. Um, which is beauty in a multi-strand full of amazing and this is how I remember Jan uh, sort of at the beginning is amazing strands like this beautiful yep. faceting you know those wonderful sterling silver wrap around yeah, techniques that I, you lo do. I love small beads and yep. I, these are phenomenal because the sparkle you get it's like a strand of diamonds yeah sort of, you know um, and for me why work is sort of pretty much where I started yeah um, so for me, it was nice to go back to sort of wire work, but you use beautiful beads with them and the beautiful gemstones. You, you just get masses in your Absolutely. project, and you've got some gorgeous um, sterling silver findings in there as well. Do you? So I Phenomenal. mean, so this is sort of where it all began, really, Absolutely, for Jan. Yeah. All those what, yeah. what, what, twelve? How many? How many years have you been making? Since two thousand thirteen. Oh, I've been making jewelly uh, probably twenty plus now. Twenty, 20 plus, plus years. years. Where does time go there? Oh, don't. I know, I know, no, 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 I'm exactly the same. Listen, I won't tell you when, when Lauren was born. That makes no, me No, don't, fun. please, no. don't. <laughs> yeah, do you know what uh, Director Dan said yesterday? What? I'm 27 soon, does that make me old? I was like, shut up, shut up, just stop, stop talking, stop no, talking. I'm not even listening no, to that. No, it doesn't make you old, you're still a pup, still a pup. <laughs> um, then at 10 o'clock we have the most insane pearls that i've ever seen they're phenomenal aren't they they are beautiful Do you know, there's, let's try and put a critical eye on them jan is there anything i can't sorry. no nor me <laughs> there's they're faultless aren't they <laughs> they're, they're perfect in my eyes they're just beautiful oh my goodness and you also get the two half drilled to make the earrings and they are just they're insane off. They Gorgeous. are. Can you see them there? Do they need turning? Hang on, hang on a minute. Oh, you got you got them there. Perfect. Look at how beautiful they are. Literally flawless. Um, Ross is saying in my ear when he spoke to Dave yesterday of all the amazing things he's brought he's brought to Jewelry Maker. He's never been as 
passionate about an item as his eyes lit up yeah as oh. these and he's brought some absolutely incredible items to our screens um yeah there is yeah there's this and something that's on tomorrow that you will notice in a second jewelry makers it doesn't need any introduction mm -hmm. you'll notice you'll clock it because yeah you know that, as you said i'm so selfless i said i'd wear are. it yeah i was like oh yeah i'll wear that um <laughs> so at 10 o'clock they are and i'm always very hesitant to use this word with pearls because they're an organic gemstones they're flawless they're beautiful flawless pearls and natural I can confirm they're the largest natural pearls we've ever had at jewellery making wow. history. Yeah, perfectly spherical. Then at 11 o'clock, I'm loving this too, you've got the most beautiful um, opulence inspired, very designer inspired um, bee pendant, which I love. This is inspired by, I always, I, I never know how to pronounce them. Is it Chamay? Chamay? C H A M. UET, I think it is, or something like that. Um, anyway, inspired by a designer again of of a maison. As soon as they call themselves a maison, I know I can't afford it. Yes. Um, <laughs> so we've taken inspiration from them. We'll talk some more mm. about that during the eleven o'clock hour. Um, I love that piece. It's mm. gorgeous, isn't it? So pretty, isn't it? Flora and fauna inspired. And then twelve o'clock jewelry makers. We have your absolutely beautiful project with Jan that we started talking about the moment we became live. <laughs> These are, again, flawless pearls, Jan. Oh, they, they're absolutely beautiful. And for me, it's my first show doing um, the tutorials as well. Oh, yes. So we've got a tutorial that goes along with, with and you the get, project. And they get that for free. Yeah. They get that for free with the project. So, and it's based on this piece of jewellery, right? Yes. Yeah. So you will, you'll have, Jan, if you want, holding your hand step by step with your instructions. All the way through that piece of jewellery. Amazing. Amazing. So it is a Saturday not to miss. So you'll understand why I said to my three-year-old, sorry, Tiggy, I love you, but I'm off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm off. I'm out of here. I am going to work because I've got the most amazing five hours and we've got the gorgeous Jan. Oh so if you've uh, missed yesterday and you've just tuned in for the first time, this is Opulence Weekend. You can have a little look at our brochure um, that shows you um, all the items that we're gonna be bringing you over the course of the weekend. These are the, they're not clovers, yeah. These are the opera inspired earrings. Um, here's the Beauty in a Multi-Strand project with our amazing Jan that's happening at nine o'clock. Um, then there's those amazing, giant limited edition pearls have we ever used that word giant, giant. yeah then you've got that beautiful uh, sterling silver amber bug I mean, it's a bee isn't it it's not a bug it's a bee yeah it looks like a bee doesn't it i'm not sure why why we call it a bug um and then you've got your amazing what's her name margot McKinney. McKinney. Margot McKinney inspired necklace, natural pink Edison pearls. Oh, with those wonderful, colourful, modern embellishments as Beautiful. well. That, as Jan said, come beautifully boxed. Absolutely. The box is amazing. Yeah. Well, the, the, the pearls of this quality. They demand. It, they a demand like a box like that. I mean, look, that's how they come presented to you. Shall we get cracking? Get your text messages in as well for our lovely Jan. I know it, you'll be as excited as I am to have her here in the studio. So do text in. Um, shall we get cracking? No, Jan, I don't know uh, if it, the cabochon. I don't know how, if you know, Ross has a, um, a little bit of a signature. He likes to start the show a certain way. Do you know, do you know what that is? I think so. Mm. Um, so you've got a, a lovely dark cabochon here that you mm -hmm. could use with all your gallery wire, your wire working. See, be bezeling. Fabulous all of as a work. ring, wouldn't it? Pardon? Fabulous as a ring. As a ring. Perfect yeah. size for a ring. For all your soldering needs. Straight away, we've got collectors mm -hmm. multi buying. <clears throat> right, clear your throat. Ready? It's a band. <laughs> <laughs> it's a band. <laughs> pat, 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 pat. Sold out. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Should we do another labradorite? But in strands. Oh, you tinker, Ross. He is a tinker. <laughs> Clear throat, everybody. Ready? Ready? Actually, this is where you need to be reaching for the phone or making sure you check out your basket. Don't be messing about doing Frank Butcher impressions like we are. You make sure you check out nice and early because if you do that, you're just going to miss out. There's loads of you there. There's a pound. No, that's not right. No, it's not right. It's wrong. 
But that's a whole strand. I know. I told you. And a beautiful strand. He's a tinker. 130 people had that in their baskets. I'm going to have to get up earlier, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Crazy Lace Agate, Cabochon. Cabochon. Yes. Not one. See if I can hold all these, Jan. See if I've got the skills. You have, Elle. Do you reckon? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> but I don't know. I, 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 I'm worried. I'm not going to lie. I'm worried. <laughs> just I can't talk now. Okay, because otherwise I'm just going to drop them all. <laughs> Crazy lace agate for a pound. Look. A hundred carats of beautiful, natural, <laughs> crazy lace agate. He's giving them away. Yeah, just, just, you know, a pound for one of these beautiful, rare, natural gemstones. Hertfordshire's got 29. I'm, wow, I'm not surprised. I mean... Fair play. Yeah? Fair play. I love crazy lace agate. It's agate, beautiful. but crazy. <laughs> and lacy. <laughs> yeah. Just a, like beautiful, like erratic patterns that yeah. naturally occur with this amazing gemstone. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Shall we do some more closeout deals? Bronca Onyx in four mil rounds? Yes, got it, got it. So far, I haven't had to say, that's not it, that's not it. And then usually it is there. It's just me, Jan. <laughs> There's still what, four hours and 40 minutes? <laughs> There's still time, <laughs> as far as. Um, beautiful, ethereal, Bronca Onyx. Who wants this and a massive closeout deal, a brand new low. We're excited, we've got Jan in the studio. Yay! 14 available. You know, when we first launched Broncoronics, I love Broncoronics. Mm, this was about 49.99 when we first launched it. Today, however, what are you doing, Ross? What are you doing? Brand new low. <gasps> 40 pounds back into your pocket. Goodness me, massive closeout deal on this. I, and there's so few natural white gemstones out there. So few. There is, yeah. And it's nice to um, to have it in that size as well. Yeah. Because you can do so much with it. Four is the new six, I say. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can do some beady beads, bead bead. channel set with it. Yeah. Just I put it in between your, your gemstones or pearls. Yeah, lovely with pearls. Gorgeous. There's just this, this amazing, ethereal, mm. heavenly vibe about yeah. it. Um, well done. David's got three. London's got four. Pamela, Dawn, Angela, Suffolk, Surrey, Maker in Hertfordshire, Kathleen, uh, Anna, Mariska and Lisa. Loads of you getting involved. Up nice and early this morning. That's what we like to see. I've only got four left. Do text in. Come and say hi to our amazing Jan. She's back. When was the last time you did your show? <gasps> Going back a few months, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> would it have been January time? I don't you know. I can't remember. <laughs> it was with your tool, it's been wasn't a while. it? It was with your amazing with the tool. Easy, yeah. um, Elizabeth in Tyne and Ware say, Morning, Eleanor, Jan and JM crew. Ha, uh, it's great to have you back, Jan. Oh. You've been missed. Looking forward to the show and your demos, love, Liz. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. You are missed. Thank you. We are. Yoo-hoo! It's Jan Gravy Lobster. <laughs> lobster? Why Is lobster? Is that because I'm a bit pink? <laughs> <laughs> lobster? <laughs> do, you put, do you put gravy on lobster? I put gravy on anything. <laughs> <laughs> It, that's fair, fair, fair answer. I think gravy is good. Yeah, it's our lovely gravy jam. Um, well done, everybody. It's all gravy. All that's the catchphrase. Let's do. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. Beaded bracelets that will go very nicely on my um, little arm candy stack. Let's do a huge. And uh, this might be your first little teaser, jewelry makers. So um, complete bracelet times two. So that is two bracelets. Sterling silver, we're at 25 pounds each. You try and find a sterling silver sort of, how do you <coughs> refer to it as like, like a diamond dot but with silver. Should we show you another price tag that you're not paying? 3.62 grams. Another price that you're not paying today. Put them in your present drawer. They're pretty as well, aren't they? Really nice. I mean, you can add to them if you want to, but yeah. I mean, we just wear them on their own. Yeah, because you've got Perfect. all that lovely detail. That's five pound per bracelet, Jan. That's crazy. And we're not done. Oh. The price of sterling silver is still rising. And yet here we are bringing you a, a solid sterling silver bracelet for a fiver. 
and going even lower. Um, I went shopping, not yesterday, day before. I don't. I never go clothes shopping on High Street. Um, I have determined. I still hate it. Yeah. I still hate clothes shopping. <laughs> and I saw in a in a ladies' jewelers. Uh, sorry, ladies' fashion shop. Um, that I'd never even heard of before. It wasn't a jewelers. It was literally a, a clothes shop. Um, there was like a base metal necklace, seventy quid, seventy pounds. And I'm like, oh, that's not so clever. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we do become a little... We are in that bubble, Jan. Absolutely. We're at a fiver per bracelet, and we're not even stopping there. Going even lower. In eight seconds. How many have we got? 50. But stick them in the present drawer. Nice little go-to. You know you're going to use them, don't you? I don't know. How low can you go from... Ross, I mean... £3.50. I'm rubbish at maths, but even I can work out £3.50. That's just wrong on so many levels. Yes. See, that's gravy. That, that is gravy. That's definitely gravy, isn't it? Jan? Jan says it's gravy, Ross. It is gravy. You could literally just put this, couldn't you, in, 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 on Etsy, wherever it might be. Absolutely. And it, I mean, if you took that, put it into a nice little box. Yeah. Um, you're not going to sell it anywhere near that No, box, definitely not. Hello, Miss Janet saying, hi, gorgeous girls and Team JM. Lovely to see you back on the telly box, Jan. Going to be a bright oh. and beautiful show with you. Oh, thank you. It always is with our lovely Jan. Um, Alison in London saying, Jan, you may not have been on the TV screens, but you've been wowing on the laptop screen oh, with your yeah. posts on the amazing silver journey you're on. Thank you. Yes, because your journey is continuing, isn't it, obviously? It is because I've started soldering and it's opened up a whole new world. Has it? Yeah. I felt like I was going to burst into song. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But a yeah. Bit of Aladdin. Yeah, a whole new world. It's just phenomenal. Which I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Well, we discussed this earlier on and Charlie mentioned it yesterday, you know, how, um, you know, your amazing story is progressing and now into silversmithing so amazing and i've Jan. been boring everybody on facebook i doubt everything it. i make i stick it on there and let I, them have a look you couldn't bore us jan i think that's on the verge of selling out by the way you're beautiful oh, they've gone well i'm not surprised three pound fifty what's yeah. that all about should we stick with the crazy close out deals yeah yeah i'm loving it let's do some turquoise Ooh. now what, i don't I, I don't know what What a gorgeous display by Lauren. That is a lovely display, Lauren. Yeah, there you go, Lauren. Is she there? She's not there. She's, so we're giving her credit, even in her absence. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, how about some amazing turquoise? I don't know what Ross has taken these to, but a strand like this, in my, in my head, three figures. Absolutely. Three figures high three figures i remember when we used to do turquoise strands and it was definitely more than 149 yeah of this size yeah I, I i don't have to think i don't have to think that long ago certainly when we were in ivy house a strand like this would have been probably more than what's on your screens look at the quality of that turquoise as well is that one of your um most favored and recognized gemstones jam and i think that's the thing it's it's recognized people yeah. see it and they see that blue yeah and they sort of know it's turquoise there are certain gemstones that people yeah. instantly know there's pearls there's amethyst yeah turquoise yeah um so yeah it's it's something that attracts people's attention i think straight especially away. with that blue i yeah, mean that gorgeous, color isn't it it's you know this it's, is tiffany blue isn't it you absolutely. know when we think about turquoise it's this color um, okay, we're going to do a closeout deal. These are six mil, which is huge for, for turquoise. Um, outside of triple figures, yeah, absolutely amazing. Because 149, you, I would have expected maybe one or two of those stones, to be truthful. So if we were to stop here at 99 pounds and 99 pence, and think of the pearls that we've got coming up oh. today. That's just a gorgeous combination. Pearls and turquoise. Is just Love that combination. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Ross, I want to shop already. <laughs> Double figures, that is amazing. How many have you got? Okay, you need to be quick on this, jewelry makers. That's why I've asked the question, because I've just heard the price. And it's, they're not going to hang around. Um, how about if we took six mil rounds, which is the hardest shape to get in turquoise, because it's so wasteful. 
How about if we half that price? <clears throat> in my head, that's £100 back in your pocket. Absolutely. I can't believe wow. we're doing that, Ross. We've got 12 of these. The phone lines and the web have lit up. You need to be quick on this. I, I, you can't go wrong, for me, with turquoise of this quality teamed with pure white pearls. Half that price? Don't. You tinker. You're still not done. What? This is the thing. And, and, and I get a little bit defensive, Jan, sometimes. I'm like, sometimes it's like, oh, our prices have gone up. I'm not denying our, our price range has gone up, but it still goes from a pound right yeah. the way up. Yeah. It, it, that definitely is the case. But our prices of gemstones, I, certain gemstones, turquoise absolutely being one of them, has gone massively down. We would have, I wouldn't have been able to buy turquoise from Jewelry Maker at anything outside of double, uh, uh, triple figures. No, no that's right. When we were right. part of... Uh, um, back in the day. They, back in the yeah, day? Yeah, I've gone blank. Who were they? Immediate, that's it. Yeah, we would have been three figures. Yeah. What on earth is that? You'd have been lucky to get nuggets for that price. What price? 29.99? No. <laughs> 29.99? You'd you wouldn't have got nuggets for that price, would you? No, not at all. I've got 12. Marishka slapped up two. Savvy shopping. All oh, three. Well done, Marishka. I'd be doing similar. London's there. I've got Anna, Helena, Suja, London, Karen, Angela, Maker, Pamela, Cheshire, uh, Anna in Derbyshire. These will sell out. I mean, that's an absolute... That's if you crazy. made a pair of earrings, you put one in each ear, just on a head pin. Yeah. You know, a little wrap loop onto an, an evening wire. They're going to be worth more than that. Just yeah. two of them. Because people have that perceived value of yeah. turquoise, don't they? And turquoise and silver together look beautiful, don't they? So Amazing. all you've got to do is that, and you've got you've got your money back. And, and it's more. genuine turquoise as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Not beautiful. not your howlites or your magnesites or. Um, imitations and that's something else you've got to be really careful yes. out there you know I mean I've bought turquoise before and it's not not turquoise you know? yeah so at least, I mean from jewellery maker you know that what you're getting is what um, what you're what getting you yeah exactly um it's sold out well done well done I knew it would oh blue angel I love it 10 millimeters so they're big in size you're going to get another little sneaky peek in a second jewellery makers hang on should we do something crazy? I am fully blinged out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Natural oh. blue angelite. Discovered in Peru in 1987. The first price that you see is still not your closing price. Okay, 10 millimeter rounds. I mean, what's Beautiful. not to love about angelite? I love angelite because it's... it's the, almost it's a texture as well yeah it's just the way it is it's just so beautiful it, it is one of those gems i think you feel comforted by yeah it, it always reminds me of my mum because <clears throat> my mum's favorite color she always used to call it powder blue, powder and blue. she used to have clothes that were this color um and it always reminds me angela always reminds me of mom. again comforting isn't yeah. it it's yeah. really comforting I, I think it's like the blue jadeite yes for me yeah. i'm not saying gemologically but I, yeah. visually they look quite similar we're at 19.99, but we're not stopping there. If we see Angelite, it's very seldom. And don't forget, this gemstone's younger than me. It was a, it, it formed over millions of years, but lay undiscovered until 1987. Wow! I find that amazing. This beautiful gemstone that's totally and utterly natural, and we're going lower than 20 quid. <laughs> unbelievable we've got usa shopping with us we've got uk jimmy you weren't born in 1987 91. 91. I'm, not, I'm not even listening to that i was in high school not enough people on the phone lines we're going to take this to a brand new low how many have we got have we got many 40 available if we're gonna if we're gonna push those boundaries you've got to remember it's saturday there's it's darkness upstairs there's no powers that be so frankly there's no rules um not that we listen to them even when they are in a building but hey ho um shall we if you want that brand new low price tag we need to see enough of you on the call screens enough of you on the web enough of you on the phone lines um i mean that's already an unbelievable deal for 10 mil rounds we're doing it 
First come, first serve, brand new low, never been to this price before. With pearls that we've got coming up on today's show. I love that combination. £14.99. pence. Again, Angelite was one of those gemstones that you wouldn't really no. not often <clears throat> find under £20 in my head here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah. Outside of these four walls, I'm going to be reaching for these pills over and over and over again, Jan. You know that, don't you? Only because they're the ones oh. closest to me. But look, they look beautiful, don't they? Yeah. And maybe put some of these little, your early bird components in there as well. I'm designing, Jan. You could put all them in there as well, couldn't you? Look beautiful, wouldn't they? Amazing. And you get more of those. Um, hiya, Ted. Ted says, good morning, lovely ladies. My favourite guest designer Aww. of all time. Hiya, Jan. Looking gorgeous as ever. Loving your jewellery. Thank you, Ted. You've got a definite Love fan Ted. with our lovely Ted. Um, Marishka saying, uh, good morning, jewellery maker crew. Jan, Eleanor, it's lovely to see Jan on the telly. Looking forward to today's show. Oh. Elle, you have a lovely necklace. Thank you. It's not mine. Um, Yet. Yet, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yet. I do feel like uh, um, I might be. I did. I did kind of preempt my husband that this weekend was. I'm working for free, basically. Um, Marishka, you're not the only person to ask about this necklace, by the way. Uh, Rachel is saying, "Morning, ladies. What is that necklace that you're wearing, Al? It's pretty, isn't it? We might bring it to you in the next hour. This is a complete necklace, gold plated silver. Should we Beautiful. do it at nine o'clock?" It's Should gorgeous, we? isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a good call. Yes. Um, it's lovely. It's one of those pieces that you could wear all the time mm -hmm. for absolutely every occasion. It's brand new. And for some reason, it's been under lock and key for a year. For a year. Oh, no, it can't be hidden away. No. Um, Ross has already bought his. Yeah, I see. I see. <laughs> I mean, yesterday, I blatantly had my phone next to me, Jan throughout the whole show, so I'm yeah. going to be doing the same today. You've got to really, haven't Yeah, you? yeah. Um, now, he says, I thought these were going to fly at 14 99 and didn't they? Yeah, they did. Half the stock went. So there's still about 20 of those left, okay. Um, shall we do rainbow fluorite and we'll do a little Saturday morning wake up deal. A vision of summer, not the summer we're having, I need to point <laughs> out. What is that all about? The weather, it looks, honestly, it looks like... I think like, we've had our summer, haven't we? I oh, think we had don't it say not that. last week or a week before. You sound like Tom. Tom keeps saying that. It happened last year. We had a good June and then that was it then. It was over. Rubbish. Would I say what? Would I say the links on my necklace are paperclip links? You have to show me again. I can't see from here. Yeah. Yeah, paperclip links, yeah. Very exciting. It, yeah, definitely. I mean, it, for me, it screams Monica Veneda, which would be, what do you reckon, £200 at Monica Veneda, oh, at, at, at the very, very least. You know, Monica Veneda is actually, and I always credit Monica Veneda, I love their designs. Um, and it's like, it is that designer brand, but not like Louis Vuitton prices and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think about £200 for a necklace like this on Monica Veneda is not unrealistic. And by the way, those pearls go all the way around. And they're beautiful pearls. They're so beautiful, aren't Gorgeous. they? It's a lovely piece of jewellery. Ross has already bought his. And um, we'll do it at nine o'clock. Chloe's wearing it as we speak. Your fiancé. His fiancé. She's a, yeah, she's a lucky girl. She gets a lot of jewellery, does she, Chloe, doesn't she? You're a good egg, Ross, really, aren't you? <laughs> Coming up at nine o'clock, but let's bring you... The most colourful mineral on this planet that is gorgeous fluorite. Beautiful, Amazing. isn't it? Amazing. I oh. love fluorite. Is it one of your faves? Oh, absolutely. Because you've got the purples in there, you've got the beautiful mint greens, I mean, yeah. lots of different colours. And yeah, it's yeah it is, uh, the green especially mm. I love. Now, lots of people already multi bought on this. Well done, trusting the process. 210 carats um, in your 8 mil rounds, they do just glow. And lesser quality fluorite wouldn't have that presence about it. It would, it would, no. it would just be a bit flat. A bit flat. Yeah, meh. Yeah. Um, whereas these actually have that wonderful radiance about it. You've got blue fluorite in here as well, which is incredibly rare. Um, Hertfordshire's got 15 in their basket. We're at £14.99. It's, it's the quality that, that, that really hits home with a strand like this. Look you know, 
lesser quality is quite opaque it's not as bright it doesn't have that aura about it i think aura is a good word to, when we're talking yeah. about fine quality um it, uh, fluorite it's not a gemstone actually i we see that often here at jewelry no. maker anymore but the clarity of that and 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 how clear they are as yeah. well that's so yeah, beautiful lovely. Yeah. again with pearls Jan. yeah yeah amazing with pearls um there's a purple clock on our screens we're no way near done he says i'm staggering the auction we've got a big quantity 80 and it's brand new it's never been on your screens um again you could use them with the pearls again you could you could add them to well any gemstone because you've got all yeah. the colors but you can use them individually as <coughs> excuse me as rings or oh, yeah. earrings pendants 9.99 jan <coughs> and we're still not done Ooh. We are, you try and find fluorite of this quality that has that glow, that has that clarity, as Jan was saying. You try and find fluorite anywhere else for 9 99 It's not going to happen, is it? No. This size, <coughs> this colour, this carrot weight, this clarity, this aura, if that was a quality <laughs> factor. <laughs> it has got an aura about yes. it, though, hasn't it? A, a, like a, a glow, a presence. And we're going even lower than 9.99. What about this then, jewelry makers? We've got 80 available, 7.99. Nah, let's go lower again. <laughs> 7.99. What did we use to get for 7.99? We weren't allowed to go lower than 6.99. No, I remember, I remember those days. Yeah. That was like a a rule, and we didn't break that rule. No. Because they were conversations there were rules there they were definite <laughs> rules that we wouldn't have broken <clears throat> these days we do break them but we're not even stopping there you wouldn't have got fluorite anywhere near it would have had a one maybe in front of it maybe if these were two millimeter smooth rounds we're still too low but eight millimeter smooth rounds we're far too low it's never been on your screens jewelry makers and it's going to sell out today for sure six pounds and 99 pence only you might have got a reel of beading thread for 6.99 back in the day yeah one of um, our threading packs yeah you wouldn't have got much much else really no no so that's why i get <clears throat> a little bit defensive sometimes <laughs> <laughs> um, Mary and Jerry, Pamela, well done. Loads of multi buyers. Hello, Mark. Mark in Lanarkshire, hello to you. Candy getting two, <coughs> loads of twos, loads of threes. Uh, Mandy at Hartlepool, Helen, hello to you. Michelle and West Midlands, Cheryl, Ayrshire, Sue. Uh, Pamela in my home county of Monmouthshire. Not too far away from you, Jan, is it? No, not too far. Just down, just down? Down or up? Down. 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 Just down from you. Yeah. Um, Marion, check out your baskets. 80, whilst yes, we've got quantity, 80 is still not enough for a Saturday show. We need to remember that Saturday and Sunday are our busiest days here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and look who's here. Lovely Jan. Very excited. Well done, everyone. Don't forget your early bird as well, your opera inspired connectors, of which you do get six. So if you want to re, uh, I mean, we've put them together very simply here, but you could equally use them in um, necklaces, couldn't you? Bracelets. Rings. Soldering. Yeah. Rings. Yeah, they look beautiful as a ring, wouldn't oh, they? Amazing. <clears throat> These are your early bird. They're in item number one. Yeah, um, number one on the website. So shop ahead on those. Um, keep checking out on your rainbow fluorite. There's loads of you. Up and at it when you're wanting all these amazing deals today. Okay, where to next, Ross? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What is, is that the donut? Selenite. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mmm. Yeah. One Love auction that. and we'll bring that to air. Love that. Should we do another brand new premiere? I knew you were going to say that. A gemstone we seldom see now, Jan. Mm. And you were saying earlier on, moments ago, a gemstone that customers immediately recognise. Yes. Yeah. yeah, with little to no gem knowledge, I think we know yeah. amethyst, don't we? It's it's another one that you could say. There's the big five. This is number six. Yeah, absolutely. Because for me, um, when I sell, I mean pearls are number one. Yeah. But closely followed by amethyst. Yes. Yeah. Amethyst is always up there. Again, it's that perceived value. Yeah. People know it's a beautiful gemstone. And again, with quality, you are looking for that chocolate box purple. Now, I've got 100 for you today. Wow. And shall we do look at that quality? Again, you know that 
um, that 1980s advert where he was dressed fully in black and he used to go and leave a box of chocolates in uh, his fancy woman's bedroom. <laughs> fancy woman's bedroom. Back in the 80s, that was allowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was an advert. Yeah, look, you weren't born. <laughs> there was no restraining order against him. There, was no, there? but there was a chocolate box that used to get left, and it was like an act. Of, you know, it was like, oh, left to chocolates. Um, anyway, <laughs> basically, yes, um, it's that colour that you are looking for in amethyst. Am I wrong? Uh, no, that's perfectly right. Perfectly, <laughs> kind of. Um, this is brand new. It's a beautiful graduations. One of the finest strands of amethyst that we don't see that often. It has to be a star buy. This year, I could count on one hand the amount of amethyst strands I've brought to air. Mm. Genuinely, we rarely see it. And I agree, Ross has just said this is the nicest strand of amethyst that he's seen in a very long time. It's brand new, it's premiering today, and the graphics are live. I love that graduation. Jan, you could literally just restrand that, couldn't you? Are they, uh, sorry, I can't see that screen. Are they plain or are they fast? Plain yeah. round. They're beautiful. With those white pearls again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, would yeah, be yeah. Gorgeous, Should we do they? it? I mean, look. Yeah, you could, that's, um, yeah. And again, if I, I'm imagining it in your, oh, look at that colour. I imagine gorgeous. seeing this in your display cabinet, Jan, and I bet that's going to, that won't hang around for long, will no, it? No, absolutely not. And the thing is, I love pearl knotting. You know, I'm, I'm, I've got this passion for pearl knotting. But if you don't pearl knot, yeah. Um, you know use the amethyst in between your pearls yeah lovely and because they're a smooth um amethyst as well that'd be that'd be great between your pearls complement beautifully mm. um look at that color mm. seriously well, you've got that bluish undertone as well of your of your amethyst again it the, the simplest way that i can describe the finest quality amethyst is basically that i'm going to say it cadbury's purple yeah it's that color isn't yeah. it you know, if you've been to Cadbury's World, you'll know which colour I'm talking about. Um, that's, that is pinnacle quality. Um, what you're looking at is a graduation from six to three millimetres or vice versa, wow. depending which way you look at it. So again, <coughs> that's really going to oh, complement. I mean, your purple pearls, that are, you could use it with your project at 12 would as well, couldn't you? wouldn't it? With the purple pearls. But it's great to get a graduated yeah. strand because we don't often get no. um, gemstones with the graduation, do we? No. So no, just actually, those no, on their it. own, um, you know, as a necklace, knotted or um, rosary linked or nice. something, because you've got that graduation, would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Yeah, create that shape straight mm. away. Um, 39 how many do we have, Ross? I know it's a brand new premiere. We've got 100 on the nose. We couldn't do an amethyst showcase, sadly. I remember we used to be able to do, do them all the yeah. time. Um, I, obviously, I know gem fields are no longer mining amethyst in Zambia, so obviously that probably had an impact um, on our supply. Yeah. So, yeah, it's almost like since that happened, we rarely ever see it. And it is one of the world's most recognised and certainly one of the world's most popular gemstones. And don't forget birthstones as well. Absolutely, yeah. Now, we don't normally do this. It's a spontaneous star buy, premier star buy. <laughs> So the location says Africa. I knew it. I knew it, Ross. He's like, we don't, normally, if it was Zambian and that colour tells me it's Zambian, we would absolutely mention that it's Zambian because yeah. Zambian amethyst is widely considered. That's like me bringing an emerald to air and not mentioning that it's Colombian. Do you see where I'm coming from? You would... It's, it's, or, or that's like me bringing you a ruby and not mentioning that it's Burmese. You know, it's regarded as the best in the world. So we looked at the documents, or rather Ross did, um, because we can go on to the gem cert and everything here. And gemstone origin, as expected, Zambia. Now, that's our error. We should have put that in the graphics. Yeah. Not African. It should be Zambian <laughs> amethyst. Um, Africa is a bit vague, really, because you can get amethyst from lots of different locations in Africa. I'm sure beautiful, but Zambia is, is the best in the world, widely regarded as the best in the world. 
I've got a hundred of these. And Ross is saying in my ear, I would like a hundred of them to sell out right now. He was going to close it at 14 99 Gosh, in my head, that's amazing at 14 yeah. Was, though. Do you? Was. was. But he says, I've got a hundred. And he decided it was going to be a star buy because of the quality. First price crash. Not what you are paying today. Nine ninety nine. Not, not what you've. <laughs> Are you all right this morning? <laughs> Are, you... <laughs> Are you all right? Zambi and Amethyst. Mila Kunis was the brand ambassador for Gemfields. Zambi and Amethyst. In my head, right? Zambi and Amethyst, the best in the world. But also, can I just say they're emerald as well? There's just something about that location. She's got this lovely intensity. You get that richness too. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. It is much richer, yeah, deeper, yeah. more vibrant. Yeah. As if, as if we're at single figures. Eight ninety nine and another purple clock. We're going again. <gasps> Do you know? I'm thinking the word gravy right now, Absolutely. Jan. Absolutely. Tons but of it. Tons of gravy. Yeah. Lashings. Lashings are great. By the ladle. <laughs> I mean, you need to stock up. If you if you do sell your jewellery, I'm imagining people, which I can see, lots of multi buyers, because stock up because we rarely get it. No, I mean at that price especially. Yeah, and price. not even stopping at eight ninety nine. Mm. Going even lower. It is all gravy. I forgot about that catchphrase, Jan. Gravy. seven pounds and 99 pence only for a beautiful three to six millimeter graduation of textbook amazing. amethyst amazing again you know you're going to use it jan don't you absolutely i mean i've got a strand of pearls that i've had for a long time a graduated strand that we did a couple of years ago yeah uh, and these because they're graduated as well would look oh, beautiful yeah. uh, knotted in between those you need to get some of these jam yeah but they're jan gorgeous. I've just heard this. The best thing is, we've got a hundred. And we're going again. Oh. I told you he's a tinker. He's an absolute tinker. The core screens have gone crazy. Um, if you rude not to at that price is Mandy in Hartlepool. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. We do, we do lose sight of the fact that this is a genuine gemstone. Mine from a, you know, prestigious location of source yeah. and i think that's the thing because we see that price yeah we sometimes don't then appreciate yeah that um what it is we yeah. actually make our own job hard harder yes. by yes. lower prices because yeah. and i'm as guilty of this as well you kind of almost go oh yeah 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 okay this is 7.99 yeah amazing it's amethyst yeah genuine amethyst zambian amethyst totally natural can you see not enhanced Yes, not enhanced. Six pounds. I know it's strange. Not enhanced, yes or no? Yeah, it should just say enhanced, yes or no. <laughs> question, enhanced question mark. But it is natural. Anyway. <laughs> Six pounds and 99 pence only. Unbelievable. So many multi buyers. We had a hundred. It's a brand new premiere. There's that amazing chocolate box, Cadbury's purple, no heat treatment whatsoever. Our graphics didn't specify that it was Zambian, but it is. Um, which is like that's again casually, that's like me saying, Oh, look at this amazing emerald and just not mentioning it's Colombian. You just wouldn't do it. No, that's right. Um, hello Avon, mm. one of my favourite designers. Nice to see you oh. on the show, Jan. Thanks. So you. much Jan love. Oh, thank you. Lots of love. the love. Yeah, good. Good. We do love you, Jan. It's so nice to well. see you on your sc our screens. Thank you. Um, this is going to sell out all around the world. Hello, Kirsty in Australia. That's why it's a star buy, says Ross. A one-time auction, on and gone. If you want the quantities that I can see in some of your baskets, I would strongly recommend checking out because I've got three full rows of names, soon to be four, um, and literally all around the world. So I've got obviously up and down the UK, I've seen USA, and I've seen Australia this morning. I, w I always wonder, Kirsty, where in Australia you are. If Kirsty texts in, can you, um, Kirsty, where in Australia are you, my darling? I love Australia. Love Australia. I don't love that flight, though. I've only done it once. It's a long it's time. A long 
Back in the days when people used to smoke on a plane. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. It was, it was, it wasn't <laughs> great. Uh, uh, uh. Um, amazing, well done. Make sure you're checking out. Um, Jan's had her eyes on the selenite, so let's do that. We're going to do it in one price crash, Jan. Love selenite. Yeah, that's beautiful. I like, really like that. Do you know, I need to get Willow some selenite because she said something to me the other day that can actually broke my heart a little bit. So she was like, Mummy, I keep getting told off by my teacher. I was like, why Willow? She says, because I go into Willow world. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, maybe just work up, try and constantly. She does. It's a lot though for a seven year old, isn't it? And I was like, okay, well, just, just try Willow. Just try as much as you She's like, yeah, but I, I do, my mind wanders off and I keep Aww. getting, I can't do right. And she broke my heart a little bit. Aww. I was like, you poor little poppet. So I might get a little selenite. Because that's believed to help you to focus, isn't it? Oh, I could do with some of that. I could do with that <laughs> as well. Six pounds and ninety nine pence for this beautiful donut. I We've love just, that. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? I think that set the way Charlie did the um, the jade oh, yesterday yes. with a little gemstone in the middle. Nice, it beautiful. Yeah, it? gorgeous. Yeah, you could get like the tube settings. Yeah, Jan, we've just done a selenite for six ninety nine. An amethyst, Zambian amethyst for six ninety nine, and rainbow fluorite for six ninety nine. Again, uh, the genuine beautiful gemstone, selenite, magical gemstone. Um, often, uh, got have, has again heavenly. Um, I'm trying to think of the words now that you often clarity. That's one yeah. word that's believed to help you. Um, have clarity. It's believed to help you with. <laughs> I'm saying this now, <laughs> concentration. <laughs> and yet I don't seem to be able to concentrate right now. Um, but yeah, it's a very positive gemstone. Um, it powers your other gemstones as well, if you believe in the metaphysical right. side of gemstones. It's like a battery. Uh, huh? it like battery like a little battery, them. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you can cleanse them. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on those. Yeah, I like that. The big fibre Baroque pearls, I've, I've got two available. And then we're going to do the white ones that I've been showing, where I've got four. Really, shouldn't be bringing you pearls in this hour, because we've got, we've got Jan's amazing pearls, and also you've got Dave's pearls coming up. But there's only a handful of them anyway, so that's why we're bringing them Love to those. you. Have you had your I've, eye on I've, these? I've had a... Ins I inspected those earlier. <laughs> The They've colours been on them jam are inspected. amazing, aren't they? Yeah, love fireball pearls. Oh, they're gorgeous because you've got sort of gold tones in there, real yeah. metallic. Yeah. Um, luster to, they're gorgeous. From my, I'm graduated to. They're we're beautiful. at two thousand four hundred ninety nine pounds. The reality is that's not bad. They're gorgeous. First price crash, but not your closing price. What? Oh, previous closing price is two nine nine. I've got two left. For the final two, it's pointless us having two in our vault, and they're too beautiful to be in our vault. Pearls like to be worn. Yeah. Look how look at the size of these. Hundred pounds off just purely because of the quantity that we have in our vault. We, uh, two is taking up a location. Not these. This is why Jan, I have always said we should offer. I'm not saying only, but we should offer an option of gold clasps. Because, in my head. Gold clasp with, with yeah. that strand. Yeah, would be amazing. Yeah. doesn't have to be 18 carat, but a gold clasp would be lovely. Yeah. Would be lovely. Beautiful. One of our biggest collectors, straight away, adding it to your basket, you recognise a deal, Marishka, when you see one, don't you? These are huge. And I know our graphics are saying 10 to 13 mil. I think they're bigger than that, to be honest. They, they seem look a bit it, bigger. But they've got to be bigger than that. Um, and you mentioned metallic, Jan. So from mm. a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will be in metallic. So they're rare and you've got a full 38 centimetre strand. And what price have they gone to? 199. See, if you just took one of those yeah. and put it on a, on a silver chain, um, mm. that's, it's got to be worth that much, isn't it? Yes, just one. Yes, one. Well, when I was in Tucson, how many years ago was it now? Two, I think two years ago. Um, they were sold individually. Yeah, they sold them individually at more than prices. Absolutely. Individually, more than two hundred pounds. Now let's bring you those white ones that I've been teasing you with. They looked amazing with the turquoise. Looked amazing with the amethyst. 
They look lovely with the fluorite. These are proper classic yeah. pearls, aren't they? Yeah. You know, just beauty, beautiful size. You know, they're, they're just gorgeous. And you, you can, can put any gemstone with them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is, for me, these are just, yeah, like you said, regal pearls. There's only four, gorgeous. though, within our vault. Already, I have to say, the price that's on your screen, that's no reflection of the true value. If you, tr if you go to Yoko of London or Pearl Paradise or any of those places, you're not going to find a pearl necklace of this size for £1,799. You most definitely won't find it for £199. <laughs> Hun what? What do you mean by ready? We're I've got four. I'll count them down with you, because already there's Anne, Maker and Jill. Oh my goodness. As if we're going lower than 199. We used to do, Jan, you'll remember this, pearls at that length, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. At probably that price. Now you get a full 38 centimetre and going even lower. But but only oh, because yes. there's four. You've got about 10 minutes to get them because you've got your early bird. I don't think that lasts that long. What have we got? 129 pounds when pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now and they deserve to be knotted as well yeah. so knot them and just i mean they're just beautiful aren't they? stunning that's not gravy that is you that's a posh gravy that is yeah it? that's something that i wouldn't want to part with no i'd want to keep that see that's a trouble that i have i make I things and i think <laughs> Oh, so I've got a collection of my own. Yeah. I bet you do. Yeah. I bet, and I don't blame you. It's got to no. be a perk of the job. It's difficult to let let go of them sometimes. I know. I can imagine. I've my, well, to, I have. I'm sure I haven't got anywhere near as many pills as you, you have, Jan. But I keep buying some pills from Jewelry Maker because, frankly, who wouldn't? And Tom's like, "El, do you actually need any more pills?" Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Such and he's like, "Well, well." You know, are you actually going to sell any of these? Because that's normally what I say when I bring them home. Right. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. I've got no intention to right now. Yeah. Maybe one day I will. Yeah. But at the moment, I can't part with them. In a minute, it's nice to have them. Yeah. Admire them. They, just, they, they have you to should, be. You should knot them and wear them. Yeah, I do. I wear a lot of pearls. There you go. Then. I do, I'm not great at knotting, though. I need to get, um, you need I need to your get tutorial. the easy knot. Yeah. The easy knotting tool. I'll send you one. Oh, bless you. Yeah, I'm not great at it. Mine always end up baggy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well done. But but I was going to say, the um, the technique we're doing in the kit with the project, yeah. you need to do that. Okay, right. If ever I needed an extra excuse, Jan, which I already didn't, <laughs> your instructions definitely has given me that thumbs go. up. Amazing. Coming up at 12 o'clock, Jan's amazing project. Now... Remember, just after your early bird, the other side of the break, we have a brand new pearl paperclip necklace. And this, oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? There's pearls all the way around. It's got an extender as well, so you can wear it at different lengths too. This is coming up in about 10 minutes time, literally the other side of the break. Love this. Now, inspired by a jewellers that describes themselves as a maison. Um, so again, you know that it's going to be high prices. The opera collection. Um, create, think Van Cleef and Arpels, think Louis Vuitton, but think a little bit more opulent, I suppose, in terms of the actual detail. You don't just get one connector here, jewellery makers. You're actually about to get six in this early bird. Now we've put them together very simply in a pair of graduated earrings, but equally you could solder them as Jan was saying in a ring, you could use them as connectors in a necklace. So inspired by the Maison that is uh, Bucalati, we have the Opera Collection next. One of the things our team does, um, I think, amazingly well at, and we have a, 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 you know, a team upstairs that obviously source their gem, our gemstones, they source um, the sterling silver, and they, you know, it's not just as simple as, hi, can we have some of these? We have to make sure that they're at competitive prices as well, um, because if they're not, obviously, you'll go elsewhere, and we don't want that. Um, but another you know, string to their bow, basically, is the fact that they've always got their eye on 
trends yeah. um, and designer brands. You know, we often take, not just us, all jewellery, you know, all jewellers do this. If you think about the bumblebee with Alex Monroe and all of a sudden bumblebees were everywhere. Gucci have the bumblebee. Uh, Lily Rose had the bumblebee. Um, but we take inspiration from amazing designers and see if we can bring you um, a similar version and a more achievable and affordable price tag. So let's go to Bukalati, their website. Um, and again, you can see, is that, I think that's, is that the Colosseum behind her or something? Certainly looks like it. So she's in, looks like she's in Rome or yeah. somewhere like that. Um, and the opera, they say Bukalati's iconic opera collection has taken the Maison's logo and turned it into the main theme of uh, in every model. The focus of captivating, ever-changing creativity, combining the tradition of ancient goldsmithing techniques um, with the originality and beauty of its design. In particular, tool, is that tool? Tool decoration um, is one of the distinctive features found in many of Bucalati's crea uh, creations. In the opera collection, this delicate style incorporates coloured stones um, or enamel to lend an iconic touch to um, objects which free of any encasing now become celebrations in their own shape, um, shape-based beauty. In all its, okay, thank you. In all its guises, the opera collection possesses tremendous personality and unmistakable style reflecting the prestige, elegance and femininity common to every Bucalati piece. And you can see that very beautiful model there, layering it, wearing it on the wrist, wearing it on the rings, necklaces, you know, and a mixture of the sizes. Yeah. She is fully opera decked, isn't she? Um, and take under closer inspection, you can see they're very intricate. Um, you've got these lovely, beautiful, very beautiful shapes. These are the bangles from talk bangles to full bangles. Um, they also do amazing rings um, that Jan was just talking about. They say the iconic op opera collection lends itself to continuous and extremely amazing interpretations. The logo elements become a true um, tr protagonist uh, and is the centre of ever captivating creativity. The tool decoration, um, which is one of uh, Bucalati's signatures, brings an iconic touch to the collection. Um, so again, this is there. This is like Alhambra to Van Cleef and Arpels. This is like the Panther to Cartier. So again, um, let's go and have a little look just for kicks. See how much they are. Oh, okay. So if you want one pendant from the opera collection, £8,400. It's lovely, don't get me wrong. What about the bracelet there? £3,000. Notice how you've got a mixture of the motifs there. You've got what? One, two, three, four, five. You could make a version inspired by because you've got a mixture of the shapes as well. Um, £3,000. Like I like the mix of the gold and the silver there as well. I think that really works. What about these waterfall earrings? For £2,000, you could definitely make those. Not that hard to make, I don't think, Jan. No, chai. Just Link them together. I mean, granted, these are probably in white gold rather than silver, yeah. but again, can you visually tell the difference? It's pretty difficult to. Yeah. You can, inspired by collection, that's the whole idea of this Opulence Weekend, is being able to bring you the high-end look without the high-end price tag. Now, if I just, bear with, tilt this board forward a second, you will see the amount that you get. So you get two of the smaller connectors, two of the larger connectors i will pick one up in a second and two of yeah two of the larger sizes if i pick this one up you'll be able to see under closer inspection just how detailed these are they're very regal aren't they they're beautiful aren't they? now i'm so certain these are going to fly I'm, I, our team have put together a pair of, sort of graduated earrings but I think you could use these in a multitude of ways. And I also yeah. think, Jan, that people won't be just getting the one. No. I think I think that would be great as a, like, a carrier for a pearl, for yeah, a pendant. Because you could make a pendant and earrings, couldn't you? Because you've got those that different sizes. So for me, I'd probably get two or three sets of them. Yeah. And it gives you the option then. So you can make earrings, pendants, you can make rings. Um, you could link them together as, you know, as they are in the bracelets and things. So... So if you've got three packs, Jan, that's 18 elements that you're going yeah, to be getting. Yeah. You know, they're going to go a long way, aren't Absolutely, they? Absolutely, because you're going to you can separate them out with chain yeah. or 
Yeah, you know, like beautiful. that photograph of the model that we saw earlier on, yeah. and I was like, oh, she's fully decked out. Actually, that's very achievable. Mm -hmm. You're getting six motifs. We're currently, what was that? £10 per motif. £10 per motif. There's a big investment of sterling silver. Even here at Jewelry Maker, if we were selling these individually, £10 for something as detailed as this doesn't seem unreasonable, does it? It's, it's, it's the craftsmanship, the shape. It, it does, absolutely. Ross has just said they look expensive, that design. Yeah. Any jeweller that describes themselves as maison mm. is expensive. Mm. Maybe we should all start describing ourselves like that. Yeah. Um, hello to Kathy in Buckinghamshire. They could be uh, mixed with the clover pieces. Yes. Ooh. They have a relationship with the clovers. Yes, absolutely. They have got definitely a similarity, haven't they? Because even on our brochure, we put them down as clovers. Um, bro brochure, brochure. Um, so I'm just doing my Mrs. Bucket. Catalog. <laughs> yeah, the catalog. Um, we're at ten pound per component. But thirty seconds. That is not your early bird deal. How about if we took these to five pounds each? Goodness. Solid nine two five <clears throat> sterling silver. Just one, John, asymmetrically. Yeah. Would be lovely, wouldn't it? And easy to use as well. So even if you're just new to jewellery making, if you can open and close a jump ring, you can make a piece of jewellery. Yeah. Because you can just link them together. Yeah. Add bits of chain in there if you want to. Yeah. You can do such a lot with just that. And, and they are connectors, but there's nothing stopping you cutting one of those loops off if you wanted to turn them into pendants. Absolutely. And just buff it, give it a little polish yeah, yeah. with a nail file. And that's all you'd need to do. Just cut it off with some um, flush cutters or something. Use it, like you say, a nail file just to smooth it off. And then there's a pendant. You've got a pendant, yeah. There are so many people getting involved. We're at £5 per component with the graduation. The fact that you're getting six in this early bird is absolutely amazing. I was expecting, when, when we obviously prep for weekends like this, I thought they were going to be individually. Mm. I didn't realise you get a whole collection of them. Um, you get six. Mm. £29.99. They're not base metal, solid 925 sterling silver, with all that wonderful, very regal beauty, isn't it? Definitely Gorgeous. giving me Italian jewellery vibes. Um, we've got Lincolnshire's just got six. Charmaine's got two. Uh, Devon's got two. Louth has got two. Uh, London, Nicolette. We've got Anna in Derbyshire. We've got Mary and Jerry, Heather, Carol. Conway's got two. Another London multi-buying. I've got Christine, Carol, Faye, Kathy. Ayrshire wants four. Karen, Anna. There are so many people joining us at $29.99. And look at the investment of sterling silver. Is that three grams 5.2 grams so there's a fair whack of stuff in there isn't there they're they're, they're heavy there mm. we're still not stopping there though <laughs> how many have we got of these ross we had a hundred okay but i'm looking at the call screens already thinking right well but has to be at least 30 percent of the stock gone another 30 seconds we're going to go lower it's your opulence weekend these are designed specifically for this weekend launching this weekend i don't think they're going to see another show to be truthful i think they'll all sell out um so which tells me they're all also limited edition yeah and going even lower than five pounds each they're not base metal they're solid precious metal five grams in excess of I would be checking out your baskets, everybody. Again, inspired by the opera collection. Well, you won't see anywhere near these prices. I know they're gold. I get that. I get that. £19.99 yeah. only for five, over five grams of sterling silver. Yeah, you know, we're bringing you some amazing components today that these will complement beautifully. Absolutely. And to have the different sizes as well. Because I, if I sell something so in the hotel, yeah. if I sell a necklace or something, I you know, very often get a phone call saying, I bought a necklace, can you please make me a pair of earrings? So then when you make a pair of earrings, you want something that's just slightly smaller because yeah. you want that differential you know, in size. So to have the difference, you've got pendants and earrings there. Yeah. So you've just, even if you just make pendants and earrings sets, you've got two lots there, haven't you? You have, yeah, you've got two full two suites. Sets. Put those on a chain, earring findings yes. in a box. I mean, that's just going to be beautiful. So you could go like that, couldn't you? Yeah. There's one suite. Yeah. And then you could go like that for the other suite. Yeah. And you could either leave the loop on and add, add a pearl onto both of them. Or you could, like, use, as you said, cut the loop off, smooth it out. So you've got two, two sets of jewellery there, haven't you? Yeah. Um, Just with one, one 
lot. One element, isn't yeah. there? Beautiful. The call screens have gone crazy. I only had 120, which is not a massive quantity in actual fact. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Again, 120, I reckon we've got probably now about 30% of the stock left because of the volumes of multi-buyers. Um, coming up after the break, we have a brand new, stunning paperclip necklace with beautiful cultured pearls. This is coming up just the other side of the break, leading us beautifully um, into Jan's amazing projects. So you've got, what, sorry, 48 seconds to check out your early bird and everything else that we've brought you this hour because then they literally disappear from the system. Um, so yes, this amazing necklace is coming up the other side of the break um, along with Jan's uh, incredible projects. I'm so excited to see Jan's demos, um, which you get in tutorials with as well. 30 seconds, so those amazing pearls, you need to check them out if they haven't already sold out. Those fireball pearls, you need to check them out if they haven't already sold out. Your angelite, your fluorite, your amethyst. We've brought you an amazing first hour, um, but it's only just begun. We've got loads to bring you today. Um, Jan's back, everybody. Yes! <laughs> It's all gravy. Absolutely. Um, the inspiration is going to be coming your way by the ladle full as I make my way over to our lovely jam. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. 
You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. I have the biggest smile on my face right now. It's so nice to be with you, Jan. It's nice to be here. Yeah. It's so nice. I'm so, and it's so wonderful to see your beautiful jewellery creations on our screens again. Um, but just before we get into Jan's beautiful projects, which come with your, tu uh, your tutorial instructions, and you get so many gemstones. Loads. And beautiful as well. Yeah, faceted so to perfection. You think? You know, faceting an eight millimeter stone is hard enough, but faceting a gemstone that was what three mil, two and three mil, two and three mil. It, but you can do so much with those small sizes. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I would say it's probably my, one of my favourite um, sort of sizes to work with. Yeah. Um, but they're so beautiful, it's so sparkly. Yeah. And like you say, the work that goes into faceting them is phenomenal. Really, yeah. Isn't it? I remember us first launching the micro, what we called the micro faceted strands, which are like two and three mil. Um, and they were, I think they were in Black Spinel, do you remember? Black Spinel strands, and they were about, I don't know, this long, say 28 centimetres. And they were, I think, I think 14.95 per strand. I'm going back to sort of Ivy House days. But that was the big the topic of conversation, and we've kind of lost sight of that, was the fact that actually each two or three millimeter stone is faceted in multiple times. I mean, just think how difficult that is. You know, if you go to, I don't know, any jewelers and say you're looking for a tanzanite ring, you know, it will have melee stones, maybe one or two either side. You're getting strands, and I do mean long strands with Absolutely, Jan's projects yeah. today, that you will reach for time and time again. Yeah, yeah, because that's so useful as well. I mean, if you've got a project in mind or you want to do this project, it's great. But then if you just want to add a, a, a dot of sparkle to mm. a piece of jewellery, then just one of those gemstones. Well, I noticed you've got some in this amazing piece. You have yeah. a couple? Yeah. Well, th they, they fit perfectly within the other projects as yeah. well. So, you know, it's, it's great. Beautiful. Mix and match them. Now, are they on pre-order, Roscoe? Yes, you can shop ahead on Jan's amazing projects. But just before we do, we want to bring you, so shop ahead on Jan's projects, knowing that they are going to an amazing price tag. Let's launch this brand new oh, necklace. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it's it? It's so gorgeous, isn't it? And it's so simple, Jan. It's, it, it is gorgeous. The chain is beautiful. But then to have those beautiful um, pearls in there. Seed pearls. And they yeah. are 360 as well, jewelry makers, so they go all the way around the decolletage as well. Look, if I spin it round, you can see you've got the extender chain there um, as well, and the pearls continue. So, um, so this is, you can wear it at different lengths just depending on your actual um, preference. But look at that. One of the hottest trends right now is your paperclip chain, which I always thought was actually um, quite new to the jewellery world. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was very wrong. It's not new at all. Coco Chanel invented it back in the 1960s and it was made famous by Jackie O. 
who was a big fan of the paperclip chain. Um, mm. But we are seeing a lot more of it at the moment. It's everywhere, the paperclip chain. So, um, you know, think all your big designer brands, you know, the obvious ones like Monica Veneda, as just mentioned, Chanel, Tiffany's and Co. They all have their paperclip versions. Um, but this is also a nod towards a further tradition at Tiffany's and Co. And that is Elsa Peretti diamonds by the yard. Now I know these aren't diamonds, these are seed pills. I know, to be honest, I know which I would prefer. Yeah. Um, but if I want to, I'm just gonna read an article that dates back to 2013. Um, and this is about diamonds, but it absolutely applies to this necklace if you look at the design of that piece in the photograph. And they say, um, when I think of diamonds by the yard, I think of Elsa Peretti and Tiffany's and Co. Um, because let's face it, she made this phenomena famous and Tiffany's coined the term that made this fabulous strand of diamonds uh, famous and sought after. I love diamonds by the yard, the foot or the inch. As far as I'm concerned, it's all good. I'm yeah. going to change that. It's all gravy. <laughs> yeah. um, but in this case, like I say, if we just if we just take out the word diamonds and add the word pearls, which pearls never being more popular than they are right now. So let's call it pearls by the yard. Uh, Tiffany's jewellery is an elegant yet minimalist designer jewellery line well known, for it, well known for its sophistication and simplicity. It is, you yeah. know, this is one of those pieces whether you're going to a big glitz, glitzy glam event or whether you're going to a barbecue at a friend's house. Absolutely. It's going to fit with everything. Yeah, I mean you could wear that necklace every day couldn't you? Yeah. But then when you're going out with your little black dress, um, as you, you've got now, you know, it just looks stunning, doesn't it? Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you want a Diamonds by the Yard necklace from Tiffany's and Co. And then, oh, sorry, Elsa, yeah, Elsa Peretti is Tiffany's. Um, £4,925. Mm. They're only tiny diamonds, mind. De Beers have obviously done a version themselves. £1,825. They're not massive diamonds. It's a lovely look though, isn't it? You know, even yeah. down to, you know, how they photograph that. Simple black vest or dress, I don't know. But really simple. A more affordable version. You can go to Wolf and Badger. It's still 540 pounds. Um, bezel set stone. So I don't know what stone that is. It's probably a crystal, probably. Um, 14 karat yellow gold. I think that's plated though as well. Um, Touching on the fact that, what, sorry? Uh, that it's paperclip chain, perfectly trendy, trendy, get on board with the paperclip jewellery. Remember when you were bored in homeroom, we're gonna say classroom, cause you know, UK. Um, and you strung together for, with paperclips from your pencil case to pass the time. Or maybe you just gave them to, uh, maybe you gave them to your friends to cement your friendship. Either way, paperclip jewellery has come a long way. Uh, they are now the trend to so get on board, whether a single strand or layering paperclips have reached a new level of chic. So they are, and that was in 2022, and they don't see show any signs of faltering in popularity. Um, but actually, like I said, this is not something that's new. This is something that has been around since the 1960s. Just previously, I mean, there you go, in glamour, paperclip necklaces are a fashion, uh, fashion pack's fave style of jewellery right now. Look what they've teamed it with. They've actually teamed it with some seed pearls there as well in that photograph. The jewellery you choose is such an expression of your personal taste. Although there's one jewellery trend that seems to unite every style tribe right now, and that's paperclip necklaces. Um, we're spotting the traditional stationary staple glowing, uh, uh, sorry, glow, glow up adorning the neck of every influencer around. Um, beyond whether you're a f uh, whether you're a fan of gold or silver. Um, if you're a min minimalist or love to layer, paperclip necl necklaces um, are a versatile addition to everyone's accessory. Uh, I totally agree with that. Absolutely, absolutely agree with it. It's everywhere at the moment, and, but usually comes at a higher price tag. You've got the very gorgeous Reese Witherspoon, her go-to necklace, perfect for layering. She's, she must have the most amazing jewelry collection because she's always in our PowerPoint. Look at the little pooch, <laughs> look at oh. him. <laughs> yes. He's lovely, isn't he? Uh -huh. Bless, but she must have the most beautiful jewellery collection. But there she is spotting wearing uh, wearing a paperclip necla uh, necklace. So how do we make a paperclip necklace even more beautiful? Add pearls. Add some pearls. I think I, I totally agree with that. Mm. Um, even more than that, let's bring you a variety of pearls that are really difficult to get hold of. 
Beautiful. I'm sure you must have realised this, Jan. Seed pearls. Yeah. When when was the last time we had seed pearls? I can't remember. I can't remember seeing a strand of seed pearls or. I we've, can't remember. We've had more big pearls than we have seed pearls. Absolutely. But we've got to remember that seed pearls are actually harder to drill because of their mm. size. Um, so we found this on Mo our Monica Veneda. It's vermeil, so plated, um, with pearls. Not paper clips, still nice. Two hundred and twenty-five pounds. That's um, sixteen to eighteen inches, so it's shorter as well. Actually, shorter in its length. I'm not a fan of a sixteen-inch necklace. No, and I'm not. I think I would prefer the pearls to be integrated into the chain yeah. the way that is. Me too. I do as well. It, I think it flows. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's nice because you get movement. It all depends what you want. It's but, personal um, taste, I guess. Yeah, for me, I think I'd rather have it incorporated in the chain. Me too. And this is 20 inches, which is always my favourite, Jan. Mm. I just think it sits a nice yeah. length on the decolletage, kind of mid-decolletage. That does dep depend if you're particularly petite, then obviously it's going to sit a li li little bit lower. Um, it depends on our frames, I suppose. Now, already, we this is, be this is brand new. It's been under lock and key within a vault for a year. I don't know why. Was it bought specifically for this weekend that it's taken us that long? We can't, I, 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 how could we possibly forget this? Um, because Ross, how many did we have? We have 99, it was 100 because Ross has already bought one. <laughs> Make that 98 because I'd like one of these. What a pretty piece of jewellery. It's beautiful. And it's got a really nice extensor chain on it as well. Yeah, shall I show you? You know, that? it's got really sort of larger loops in there as well. So easy to. Um... Here we go, sorry. So, yeah. Yeah. So you could wear that shorter if you wish. Yeah. Because you've got a good, what, two inches, would you say, extender chain? Absolutely, yeah. Easily absolutely gorgeous i love this length chain it's again really i like gorgeous. it sort of sitting a little bit lower on the decolletage hence why i've got that at the very end link now we're anywhere else 199 pounds you but you, you go to monica veneda or wolf and badger um or miss soma um and you try and find a piece of jewelry genuine pearls not not faux you try and find them for less than what's on your screens i think you'd struggle to be truthful yeah. Astley Clark, there's another one. This screams all of those designers, don't you think? Wolf and Badger, Monica Veneda, Miss Soma. Those are the kind of designers that I think of. There's a nice necklace, yeah, that's lovely. That's lovely. It looks a lot larger in the photograph on the right than it actually does when you see it on the model's yeah. um, neck. Um, and that doesn't have pearls. Um, we're at 199, but no way near your price. Dare I say it, we are in the month of July, even though you might not believe it. Um, put it away for Christmas. You know, what's not to love about this? It's beautiful. Isn't are it? you ready? Whether you like your traditional pearls, like the ones we saw earlier on, or you like the modern look. Okay, if you love it, a hundred is not enough. Ross is saying he thinks people will think this is going to close higher than the next price crash. I asked Lauren in the break, I was like, Lauren, can you go get my phone? <laughs> I want because I want to get this necklace. It'll get, in, get out, it'll be presented in a nice little box, probably for my sister in law. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Beautiful is that? Yeah. Beautiful. To be able to mm -hmm. gift these. Yeah. We're at £199. Ignore that and ignore £29.99. Ignore. You could literally just buy this and, and put it on Etsy. Or wherever you sell. If you do sell. At that price. I mean, that's, that's a bunch of flowers. That's bonkers. It's so beautiful. The phone lines, the website have gone crazy. We only have 100 available. Um, purple clock means that we're going even lower. You've got your beautiful Elsa Peretti inspired seed pearls. 
every about approximately two inches all the way around. It's not just at the front, it literally goes all the way around the decolletage as well. Not stopping at 29.99 with the extender chain so you can actually wear this from 18 or probably more actually your jewelry makers you could very easy, easily you could extend it. that or, or, short or lengthen it yeah but you could go if it's a 20 inch um yeah you could go from 18 mm. or easily you, you know yourself you can always change it or amend it 24 pounds and 99 pence Again, I went, I went clothes shopping, not yesterday, the day before, and it really hit home. I did that thing where I was like looking in all the jewellers. As you do. As you do. Um, I was saying, I was saying on, on screen yesterday, I f you forget how uncomfortable some jewellery shops are. Like literally, yes. uncom uncomfortable. Like they all had security guards <laughs> on the front door. And I was like, is it in their job description that they cannot smile? <laughs> you must look really intimidating yeah. and, and give everyone a look as they walk through the shop. <laughs> like terrifying. Anyway, you wouldn't <laughs> find a piece of jewellery like this in any of the jewellers that I looked at on, uh, the other day. Any, Not for twenty four ninety nine. No, anywhere near that you wouldn't, would you? No, maybe with, um, if you move the decimal point, more likely. £249. Yeah. yeah, I can imagine that. £24.99. What's not to love about this? Genuine cultured sea pearls, gold plated 925 sterling silver, um, on a 20 inch but can be worn shorter if you want it to. You could easily, if you wanted to go for like a long line, multi bike clip them together. Yeah. That'd be fabulous. That'd be nice. It? You could do that, Jan. Yeah. Long line necklace, amazing. Christine, Carol, Anne, yeah. Nicolette's getting three, Mary, Yvonne, Maker, Angela, Helena. Um, 57 out of 100 have confirmed. It's a premiere. Let's do a launch price, jewelry makers, shall we? 30 seconds on your screens and we go again. Everyone pays the final low, whether you're the first person or the last one. Um, and, and again, as soon as we cut to a break, I will definitely be joining on this. It's something, it's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And it's something for absolutely every occasion. It's not, it's not over the top, that's what I no. love. Some of the most iconic pieces of jewellery are actually very minimalist. Understated, yeah. understated elegance, that's yes. what it is. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Simplistic, oh, aren't they? Stylish. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's why, you know, the Diamonds by the Yard, the Elsa Pretty Diamonds by the Yard took <laughs> off and every single big designer brand then did their version. I remember the jewellers that I worked at did a version of them. They were still about £3,000. Ooh. Back 25 years ago. £19.99. Oh my goodness. This is what Jewelry Maker do and what we do best. Bring you high-end jewellery without the high-end price tag. See, now I could buy that, put that straight, put it in a nice little box, put that straight into my cabinet. Yeah. And I could charge somebody a really, really fabulous price of, what, £60, £70? Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, amazing price. But I'm still making plenty of gravy. And gravy. And you've done not a lot. Put Nothing. it in the box. Yeah, just put it in the box. And and your customer's happy because that's a great because price. Because they're getting a good price. Absolutely. I'm making a profit. Absolutely. Everybody's happy. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. No. No problem with doing that at all. Ernest Jones, in their sale. Good jewellers, Ernest Jones. Nine carat gold, okay. 60 so that's 18 inches then at its maximum 140 pounds i prefer this one though i actually prefer this one because of the link yeah the link's nice and the price is way better way better yeah absolutely i i yeah i'm a i'm yeah i'm not keen on that chain to be honest whereas i much prefer the paper clip because it's more modern it's a bit more solid as well Solid but delicate. I know it's yes. a contradiction, but you know what I mean. No, I know you? what you mean. Absolutely. Keep on dialing through, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on that as well, especially if you want the multiples that I can see. Anne's just got four, Lynn's got two, uh, Lincolnshire's got two, London's got two, Pamela's got two, Northampton's got four. Loads of multi buyers. Less than 25 left within our bolt, so it will be an on screen seller. Who's just got three? Debbie. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You're not alone, Debbie. There's threes, fours getting purchased. Jackie in Buckinghamshire's also got, um, also got three. Well done. Make sure you're checking out everyone. Oh, I knew you'd love it. I hope Lauren doesn't want this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is. Oh yes, coming up. 
with Dave the largest natural colored pearls you don't just get the strand though you also get the earrings which are colossal absolutely colossal they're amazing those earrings aren't i know they? i know i know that's i mean it's phenomenal. all incredible but i'm really drawn to the earrings they're really eye-catching aren't they yeah they're i mean gorgeous. they would be thousands of pounds oh yeah easily 10 o'clock with dave oh now speaking of pearls though our very own pearly queen now but if you think back if you if you've known jan for uh, you know as long as we have here at jewelry maker you'll know that you also are a huge fan of your micro gemstones aren't you absolutely um these are stunning projects stunning jewelry jan because this is what i i remember about your multi gems or multifaceted gems is this technique yeah yeah and it's great to have the for me i love the faceted gemstones the the micro faceted because they're so versatile because you can do so much with them yeah um that yeah that's just beautiful so when i got got these projects uh first of all i sat there for a while looking at them because look how sparkly just, they just are just ogling them i sort of thought are they diamonds yeah um because they just look like diamonds and then you've got the beautiful connectors in there as well i was just looking at um, these connectors so show everybody Oh, Jan, they're gorgeous. They're like little Beautiful, butterflies. They? So, the, um, and they're different. Each each project has got a different um, connector. Oh yes. Yeah. So, so this one's like pattern. this one's hearts. Then you've got one with infinity, and the other one is like a double link, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we're starting with the heart one. Right. Which is sterling silver. The strands. Wait, it's Burmese spinel. Isn't it amazing? So, uh, yeah. But it's, it's fabulous, isn't it? This is my assumption, jewellery makers, that if, 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 oh, half the stock's gone on pre-order on this, Jan. So um, my assumption is that Burmese Ruby, we know, has got probably about two years left of mining. Well, Burmese Spinel is mined alongside Burmese Ruby. So if that's your location of preference, which is certainly some of the best in the world, um, then I would get it sooner rather than later. Start Don't stocking up them. on it it just this you you might think like a black gemstone is a black gemstone but they're not all the same are they it's no the quality of faceting not. these are honestly when i opened it i thought um, that could easily be a strand of black diamonds yeah easily i mean someone had said to me if 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 you'd have sent me that project and said this is a strand of black diamonds i would not have questioned it no i agree i totally agree brand new strand of burmese spinel and a brand new strand of natural malachite as well. Amazing. Amazing. They are beautiful, aren't they? You've got two very high-end gemstones um, and two extremely popular gemstones in the jewellery world right now. And you get that amazing connector. Well, clasp, isn't it, I suppose? Well, it's, I've used it as, as a clasp on um, two of them pieces, but on one of them, because I had, um, I, in the 12 o'clock project, um, because when you knot <gasps> when you knot pearls, you extend the length of them. So I'd got two pearls left over and two of the shambalas. So I, I, be me, I had to cut it up, didn't I? I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so we cut it the, the connector. Well, we didn't cut it. We just sort of um, took it off the, oh, off the links. Jam. So I still got a clasp and one of those connectors left. Yeah, because cutting it up it. means you still retain the other parts. You're just deconstructing Well, it, I could do you? that again now yeah. because I've got the other side and oh, a clasp. that's gorgeous, Jan. So you've got that little bow and I added the pearl to it. So you can, if you want to, use it in different ways. Um, I love that about, you know, um, our designers and our viewers is the fact that you can look at something and go, actually, do you know what? I'll do this. Yeah. You know, it's not just, it's not just okay, that's a double row class. Yeah. You can actually uh, sort of reinvent it. Now, we're at 49.99 jewelry makers, but it's not where we're stopping. Burmese Spinel, again, I be this is my interpretation. I believe that's only got a couple of years left of mining as well. So if that's your preference, you can really see that performance. All that solid sterling silver as well within the actual heart um, clasp that you can reinvent it like Jan's done. And the amazing malachite, which we all know, I've never made a secret. It's certainly one of my favourite gemstones. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's I, crazy. It is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, I mean, for the for the clasp itself. Yeah. You know, you've you've got to be pretty much near that sort of price, I would think. But to get those gemstones, I mean, they're top draw gemstones. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? They're not. 
They're beautiful. You, any one of these components, Jan, could be nineteen ninety nine on their own. Easily. On their own. I, I'm fairly and sure. Yeah, and more. Mm. Absolutely. I'm fairly sure the black spinel has been nineteen ninety nine. It's basically. I, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. £10 for both of those strands and then you get the clasp for free, yeah. which is not a base metal clasp. It's it's solid 925 silver. But if you look at the clasp as well, on one end you've got two um, bolt ring clasps and you've got loops on the other end. So if you've got two uh, chains or two bracelets that you want to wear as a, uh, as a bracelet or a necklace, mm. say you've got two chains those you know, you, yeah. and you want to layer up, but you want them to sit nicely, all you've got to do is add to that clasp. You haven't got to take it apart or anything. So the, the lobster claw clasp yeah. will click onto the loop of nice your chain. Idea. Clever. And so you could just, um, you know, add to yeah. your existing pieces if you want to. It makes it mix it up ever so, yeah. uh, as well. What are you going to demo, Jan? Well, I'm going to show the um, the loops. We've got um, the projects. Yeah. That's the. Um, so it's my first. Oh, it's um, nice and weighty, Jan. First time of doing a um, project with uh with jewelry maker so that was Step quite exciting by, yeah it's a learning curve isn't yes, it yes yes i know i know i know i've heard this a lot it's uh yeah yeah i, I mean, wouldn't I, know where to begin i love writing tutorials and i do quite a lot of tutorials so right the tutorial itself was was yeah i really enjoyed it the technical part of it was a bit more <laughs> Yeah, challenging. no, I know. I wouldn't know where to begin either. <laughs> so you get these instructions for free, jewelry makers, and you can see it's that infinity ring uh, connectors that Jan um, has has created here. They're so gorgeous. Take it away, my lovely. Right. So the project, the tutorial, takes you through the whole process of making one of the connectors, and then we talk through how you turn that connector then into um, the bracelet, mm -hmm. how to turn it into the pendants or uh, earrings, the necklace, and whatever. And that means you can do this with each of these projects. So you, if Absolutely. you want the tanzanite, for example. Absolutely. You can, you can mix, mix them. Yeah, that is tanzanite. Amazing. So it's, you know, it's, yeah, all of, the, all of the projects that are coming up will work with yeah. this, the, this design. So um, what we're going to do first is we make um, the actual circles themselves. <coughs> so in the project, I said use a one mil wire. So we've got one mil, but a 1.25 will work just as fine. It depends sort of what look. If you want a chunkier look, use the 1.25. Mm -hmm. And then all we're going to do, just to make the the, um, the jump ring, is use a round uh, ring mandrel or a, something round, if you've, you know, the size that you want. Literally just wrap that around. If you're going to make a few of them, continue going round so that you've got um, a few of them to cut. Just be mindful, if you're using a mandrel, it does taper. So you'll need to just watch that. Once you've got the size that you want, we're literally gonna cut, um, cut that and then cut the other side in line with that. So you've got, you've got effectively, you've got a jump ring, okay? So you need to bring those two together. Now what I do, or what I have done, is I've added a little bit of glue just to the opening here uh, and that just, um, stops the wire because we're going to use 0.25 wire will stop the wire if it does sort of slip in through the opening there okay okay <clears throat> and then with the 0.25 wire what I've done is I've, I've pre-threaded it on because I didn't want you to sit here watching me thread on two mil and three millimeter gemstones so I've, I've thread on um, a selection of the gemstones in a pattern um, so you can do whatever ever you want really. And what you want is enough gemstones to go around the jump ring that you've made, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this knot off the end that I put on. And then we're gonna make this into a loop to fit around the gemstone. So we're gonna take our first gemstone that we've got here and we're gonna pass the 0.25 wire back through. So you've got and if you pull that then, you want a little bit of a tail left on there because we're going to wrap that around. So there you pull that and you've got that circle. Ah. Okay. And then if the little tail you've got here, if you pull that and just bend that out of the way, that will sort of hold, hold that in place. Okay. So then what we need to do is put, pop that around the circle we've just made. So you need to make sure that it's going to fit around so it sits nicely on there okay so now 
just you just have to hold everything in place at this point okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to hold everything in place I'm going to take the 0.25 and I'm going to pass it in through oh, at the back and through the loop okay and then we're going to go round and we're going to miss out the three smaller gemstones and we're going to wrap around the larger gemstone so I'm going to hold that in place I've got a bit of a gap there and that will close up as we go go around I'm going to hold everything and I'm going to wrap the 0.25 over and between the gemstones there and back up through the middle and then the other side of that larger gemstone I say larger three mil <laughs> and then again miss the three and then go around the three mil so you're almost stitching aren't you that's exactly what you're doing i'm just going to cut a little bit of that off because it's a bit springy and i won't need that much hopefully <laughs> right so we wrap around one side and then the other and you're just going to do that all the way around just turn in as you go so it's a really simple um technique but you see it sort of stitches them but to really the effective stitches them to the frame and they're nice and secure there okay so if I just quickly go round again miss out the three wrap around one side of the larger one and then the other side and you see I had a gap when I started but now because I've gone around mm. I've the gap has actually closed closed up so you don't want this when you first put them on you don't want them to be too tight um, because otherwise you'll get sort of like it'll buckle at this end when you get to it so just leave a little bit of a gap there which will close close up right so just two more obviously you'll take take your time in doing that and then if you make um, I've made sort of various sizes so you make the larger ones for the pendants um, make smaller ones for earrings um, so now we've got back to the top. So we're back at the top where the wires um, went through, both went through. Now with this tail that you've got here, you can either, which is what um, which is what I did, wrap around, leave the tail just there, mm -hmm. wrap around that, pull that quite tightly, and then wrap around the last section. Okay. So now everything is is done. So you've got that. Um, that circle of gemstones. Now all we need to do is finish off to make sure that it, it's secure. So take the tails and just wrap around the frame a couple of times. So just pop the, gem, the um, wire through the frame, between the frame and the gemstones. Okay. Just simply. And because it's that wire, you can almost treat it like a needle, can't you? You can, absolutely. And it sort of disappears within the frame. Yeah just there so all we're going to do now is we're going to cut that off so just cut that off at the back and you want to cut it off sort of almost inside there so there's no sharp wire ends okay now this this x this wire that we've got here you can either bring that through and wrap that around or because we've got the 0.25 going over mm. you can simply just cut that off just be careful you don't cut the wire that's holding it in place. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's your so pretty. connector. And you could just literally almost make, make a multitude <coughs> of those and then Excuse sort me. of arrange to. them. You could literally put them on the length of chain. You could use them as individual connectors. You could almost create like a bib of these as well. Jan, it's so Absolutely. gorgeous. Lovely. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Sorry about that. That's all right, bless But you. with the bracelet, that's incredible. I added it together with um with just with jump rings. Now, oh, I love that. Love, love, love that. What should we do with the next project? Now, I've turned this bracelet. I don't know if you can see um because in the, the actual um clasp that one's got the infinity. Yeah, I think I mixed up the clasps a little bit. I don't think it project. matters for. Why not? They yeah. work with all of them the same way. So this one's got the infinity, um, again in sterling silver. So 
I don't know what Ross has taken this project to, but again, I've, I've got in my head that that should be a certain price tag, just because it's not just a lobster claw, is it? No, You've got two um, details there, plus you've got the two bolt rings there as well. Um, like I said, you don't just get that as well. So if I kind of hold that in my hand like so, then you have a strand of Burmese spinel. Then Gorgeous. you have a long strand. A very long strand, yes, of clear quartz, which is like our diamonds, Jan, isn't it? You mentioned diamonds earlier on. Yeah. This is, I mean, for, for me to bring you a strand of that length, which is what, a metre? Yeah, a metre of diamonds. You're going to have to dig pretty deep, aren't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Um, you're getting a metre a meter of clear quartz, yeah? Oh dear, says Ross. Okay, that's worrying. He says, I'll still do it. I'll still take it to the price that I had in my head, yeah. You, did you think it was a 38 centimetre mm. strand? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, no, it's not 38 centimetres. Um... So a metre of your clear quartz, I mean, that's, that's, oh, yeah. Look at them, they're beautiful, aren't they? It's perfection, isn't it? Um, the Royal We, uh, Ross has just said, we've made a big mistake on this price. There's a metre of quartz, not a 38 centimetre <laughs> strand. Which, you know, you don't have to use in one project, Jan, do you? Absolutely, no, no, you can spread it across. I mean, if you do this um, technique, yeah. You know, you, you're just dotting, really, the quartz in there. So yeah. there's a lot, a I mean, lot left over. You know, you could use them in your project that's coming up at 12 o'clock. Uh, this yeah. is our little sort of melee diamond opportunities. What on earth? 20 pounds. Okay, so now you're buying your clasp and you're getting the Burmese spinel, natural Burmese spinel for free, and a metre of clear quartz. That's unbelievable. You, again, we used to do base metal findings a little in the little chiffon bag. Yep. Two strands and a threading pack for nineteen ninety nine. No, yeah. nineteen ninety five usually, Five. depending on the gemstone. But they wouldn't be Burmese spinel. Maybe clear quartz, but not a meter. Not a meter long. That's incredible. And you know, you could literally just de-strand those clear quartz and they're like, have them in a little container, Jan, and they're yeah. like your little melee diamonds, aren't they? Absolutely. And then you, you're going to be adding that to. Everything, everything everything that you do amazing again there's so many of you there i'm not surprised um collectors getting involved saying hi divinia saying will the class be available separately at some point no they're only available in the project so uh, sometimes we will design class specifically for projects and also divinia it's actually better value to get it in the yeah. in the actual project because this is working out at £6.66 per component. You won't get any of those components for £6.66 no. individually. You know, um, the class would probably be that price anyway. It would probably be nineteen ninety nine because of the gram weight of silver. Yeah. So, and then you wouldn't get the strands. <laughs> and you wouldn't get Jan's instructions either. So, um, no. I, you know, genuinely, genuinely, you are better off more often than not actually getting involved during the projects because yeah. you get hu uh, huge savings don't you yeah because when you think for sort of 20 pounds just under you've got the clasp you've got the gemstones you've got the um tutorial yeah yeah why, why so not? let's call it a fiver each <coughs> it's five pounds <coughs> for a sterling silver clasp five pounds for clear quartz by the meter five pounds for burmese spinel and five pounds for Jan's um, instructions that you, you'll have forever. <coughs> you'll have forever. That's unbelievable. Again, yeah. loads of you getting involved. Well done. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Susan, Irene, hello to you. Uh, Karen, Carol, Valerie, Amanda, Aisha, Melanie, Pam, Tracy, Wendy, London, new customers, Shona, Hilda, West Midlands, new customers. There's loads of you there. Now, one more project. But just before we do, 10 minute warning. Those amazing pearls are launching with Dave, 10 minutes time. Ooh. Natural sapphire. Bonkers. Okay. How many people? What's the carrot weight on the sapphires? 
How many people can go, oh, yeah, general conversation. Oh, I like your bra bracelet. Thanks. Oh, what is it? It's natural sapphire. Really? 15 carats of natural wow. sapphire. How many people can say that, Jan? <laughs> Me? You can. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing, we're in such a wonderful, unique bubble. Yeah. Where we can say that we own genuine sapphire, not one carat, 15. And um, even beyond that, it's bespoke jewellery. Mm. Jan, this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I love that, Jan. I've never seen anything like that look. But that's the thing with that technique to get that you know you make those connectors and then you can put them together how you want to i love it again it's a heavy gram weight can yeah. i also spin it around because even this yeah. little detail can you see the sapphire there it's a little extra a little extra sapphire there just at the end of the bracelet jan that is so gorgeous and again i i can't even begin to put a price to that outside of these four walls natural 95 percent of the world sapphire is treated yeah and here you are looking at a natural strand i'm a september baby jan so i naturally gravitate towards this gemstone it is beautiful isn't it? it's yeah stunning i mean wow i don't envy if you have to choose between jan's projects today <laughs> i've got to be honest because that clear quartz amazing the malachite amazing they've all got the burmese spinel strand in the sapphire incredible absolutely incredible we're at 100 pounds 15 carats of sapphire natural sapphire for 100 pounds and you get the natural burmese spinel what don't, don't forget the clasp <coughs> crazy I have 70 of this amazing project. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, this will sell out in a heartbeat, jewelry makers. 70 is not gonna be enough of these. Um, especially when I say this next sentence. Jewelry makers, we're gonna get Jan's project under 20 pounds. The sapphire strand alone should be more than that. And the spinel, it, it, this, these are larger. Than oh, well. oh. So, you know, that, yeah. No, no, don't change your mind, Ross. You've said it now. <laughs> You've said it. You're right, these are bigger. Yeah. Sorry, Jan, we've not clocked that. Another, yeah, 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 they are bigger. <laughs> the strand, and is it Burmese too? Yeah, Burmese, yeah, yeah. That strand on its own should be more than that now, Jan, but we're still going to do it. That should be twenty nine ninety nine on its own. The natural sapphire should be more than that. Yeah. You get your beautiful gem encrusted clasp as well, which is different to the previous projects. In my head, I'm happy at twenty pounds for that sterling silver clasp. Easily. So you know, twenty nine ninety nine is already an amazing deal. We've got seventy available, and you get Jan's incredible instructions. Oh. Ross says, I tell a lie, I've looked on the system. This was £20. We've brought it to air. Oh, my wow. goodness. So you're basically, jewellery makers, buying your natural Burmese spinel. You're getting a free strand of natural 15 carat sapphire. And you're getting free sterling silver. And you're getting a free instruction as well unbelievable absolutely unbelievable it will set out though jewelry makers there are so many of you there hilda mary and jerry london oxfordshire cheryl maker in yorkshire candy irene olivia elizabeth buckinghamshire allison barbara jenny uh is it louth do you pronounce it louth louth yeah, yeah l o u t h i never know how to pronounce it sharon in essex makers got two i don't blame you ella linda sharon joanne there's so tons of you there and if you want multiples i would check it out look at that bracelet that jan that's absolutely incredible if you have any questions for jan do text in if you're watching at right, just before 10 o'clock in the morning then we are here in the building if you're watching on the repeat we're not here we're not here <laughs> probably having a glass of wine aren't we jan yeah, That'd yeah. Be nice. Are we watching football tonight? Is, <coughs> no. the, is England playing tonight? Sorry, yeah. I don't really watch football. 
Five o'clock. Do you watch football? No. Not me. I'll be asleep within seconds. <laughs> yeah. I uh, no but come on England, yeah, but I don't even pretend to say that I enjoy no. football. It's not for me. Uh nineteen ninety-nine They're beautiful. I, and the bracelet, I just the spinel bracelet on the end. Yeah. I've literally just used the clasp and it's just simple threading. Just basic threading. Look how gorgeous that is. So I've used a little bit of French wire on the end. Just so it's nice and neat. It's amazing. Oh, you got they French wire. Yeah, stunning. Do you know what that reminds me of? The um, Do you remember the Sandra Bullock bracelet that we show in Black Spinel? That's just literally one simple. You get double here. Yeah. You get double that. It's gorgeous again. How wearable is that piece of jewellery? Look at the quality of the Black Spinel. Look at that. Lovely yeah, they're jewelry. absolutely amazing. 1999 jewellery makers for natural sapphire, 15 carats of. Natural Burmese Spinel, this is a bigger strand, they're three mil, our error. Um, and you get the sterling silver, beautifully gem encrusted clasp. And you get Jan's amazing instructions for 20 pounds. That's an unbelievable deal. Again, 20 pounds in my head. And remember, I used to make the projects with uh, Paula. Do you remember those days? I do, yeah. And we used to, every Friday, we used to go into Paula's office. I'd order all the kits, and kits, we used to call them kits then, all the kits over, just a sample of each of them, and we'd sit round, uh, round her table allocating each one to each designer. So, and the price point normally was usually around, started at 17 95 Do you remember those? And then you had boutique kits as well, didn't you? Oh, that that's went right, up a little yeah. bit. Boutique those, kits that were yeah. about 40 50 pounds. Yeah. Um, yeah, but by the way, 17 95 would get you a findings pack, base metal findings pack, threading material, maybe a couple of strands, but they wouldn't be these strands. No. They would have been quartzes or agates, wouldn't they? Amazing. Make sure you check it out, everybody. There's loads of you there, loads of multi buyers as well. Good luck, Jill. Good luck, Barbara. Good luck, Alison. Good luck, Candy. Good luck, Pauline. Joanne. Good luck, Teresa. Good luck, Mariska. Good luck to you, Lanarkshire. Good luck to you, Maker who wants six. Good luck, Northamptonshire. Sean. Good luck, Melanie. Good luck. Those of you that have checked out, not only on this project, but on the other projects as well, um, huge congratulations. What a deal. I actually don't envy, if you've got to make a choice, I don't know. It's a tough one, that is. I mean, you can get all three projects for £60 today, can't you? And that's a lot of gemstones, Jan. Yeah. And, and me, like we said before, top draw gem gemstones as well. Yeah. You know. that, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> High-end gemstones. Three sterling silver clasps. Malachite. Sapphire. A lot, one of the three strands of Burmese spinel is actually larger. The one that's on my wrist, on my hand right now. A meter of clear quartz as well, all for sixty pounds. If you yeah. want to get all three projects and the instructions, don't forget that, everybody. Unbelievable. Now, <clears throat> I just want to mention, okay, something that's coming up on tomorrow's show. Has anybody noticed? Has anybody messaged in? Um, I'd agree. A big statement coming your way, but arguably the greatest piece of jewellery we have ever created here at Jewellery Maker. I showed you this morning. It's phenomenal. Um, Isn't it? Yeah, it's insane. We could only make 20. I'm uh, not it's surprised because the, the skill that it takes to yeah. make it. Each link takes a day. Wow. They're not soldered together, Jewellery Makers. This started its journey as one solid boulder that blows my mind yeah i'm confused at that point yeah me too i, <laughs> I have that look on my face i don't i don't yeah like literally carved by hand what you're looking at is natural cotan jade it landed yesterday at six o'clock this is the first time that Dan is actually seeing this. Yeah, I mean, um, and, and can I just say, it's quite a large bracelet as well. So um, if you prefer the larger sizes, then this is going to be fantastic for you. Um, but likewise, I would need to wear this shorter. Um, likewise, if you want it shorter, I've deliberately left it on full extension. So you can see that, look, it's, it's you know, you get loads. But if I, I would have to wear it shorter, so I would take undo if you see the clasp itself you can undo either side and then loop it into a link further along um 
But what a masterpiece that is. There's 20 created. Gorgeous. It's coming up on tomorrow's show. Cotan jade, carved. Each link, which can you take a look at the links? Can you see how they are like a figure of eight, but the bottom bit's twisted? It's absolutely mind blowing, that is. <laughs> Absolutely mind blowing. You get the time and the skill it takes to do that. It's phenomenal, isn't it? Tomorrow at ten o'clock. Can you imagine you get like, I don't know, say here and then you break. Oh one. heartbreaking, isn't it? Yeah. You know, hang on. Should we just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hang on. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that, that's 17 days mm. in one of the most skillful mm. lapidurus sand, not lapidurus, master carvers, coming up tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Um, unbelievable, Jan, amazing projects as always, but let's just quickly mention what's coming up at 12 mm. o'clock. Um, so inspired by Margot McKinney. Um, I didn't realize Jan knows. Margot well, McKinney. I know. But she doesn't know me that well. <laughs> I bet but, it's um, nice that she reached out to she you. She did. We, yeah, she, 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 she's a lovely lady. And she's so, her jewellery is just so beautiful. And bright and it's, vibrant. It's inspirational. I just love it. Yeah, love amazing. It. Coming up at 12 o'clock. But right now, wow. take a moment. Honestly, if you love pearls, I'm in my absolute element today. Just surrounded it's by great, beautiful pearls. Yeah. Um, take a moment to fully breathe in the sheer perfection, the largest natural coloured pearls that we have ever brought to air. Wow. The two in the centre are half drilled, which will make the most exquisite pearl earrings. They're I mean, beautiful, aren't they? Do you know what I'm thinking when I'm looking at these? Yoko of London, natural purple pearls way before the sort of pearls went crazy on price tag they was they were eight grand then mm. and they weren't that size no you know look at the quality of these i mean that looks like 24 karat gold good luck everybody how many do we have ross a hundred oh my oh, wow. goodness me 100 available jewelry makers it's coming your way in a few moments time do not go anywhere uh, arguably some of the finest pills I've ever seen in my entire professional career. Would you agree with that Absolutely. statement? Absolutely. Right. Um, don't go anywhere. They are incredible. More from the amazing Jan as well. We'll be back after this. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, 
along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. When you say opulence, you could just literally have a photograph of what I have before me. And of course, oh we have God. the wonderful Dave in the studio. Dave, I think I used the word insanely beautiful. But you wouldn't be wrong. You, you, you would not be wrong. I was literally saying to Ross yesterday, actually, um, candidly, obviously we brought you the wonderful Olmec Jade spinning coin yesterday. And Ross got this off the shelf and you know I've seen it on, on WhatsApp doing the deals on the loose puzzles. The first time I've seen it put together like this, you know, in the box. And Ross showed it me and I said, I'm gutted. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for, for you guys and everything. But Ross will tell you, genuinely, I had a conversation with yesterday and I said, I've just bought some pearls like this for David Harry. Yeah. 20, 20 uh, strands, no, no earrings, smaller than this. And I've prayed maybe two or three times what you guys are going to pay today oh amazing. and then but that is how fast the market changes that's how quick especially with pearls at the minute we're going through you know dramatic price increases mm. uh because quite literally the, the chinese demand now 
we all were, we were kind of prepared for what was going to happen with Pearls because of COVID. With the COVID pandemic, we knew was going to kind of decimate pearl production. It was going to compromise a lot of harvest because as we've always said, you know, if you're a gemstone miner um, and you go into lockdown and let's not remember, let's not forget, sorry, every country pretty much went into a form of lockdown mm. over COVID mm. um, at different stages. Maybe it was staggered. Well, if you were a gemstone miner, you put down your pickaxe, you, you put down your equipment, you go away whatever uh, length of time the lockdown lasted for, when you go back, the gemstones are still in the ground. They've been there for millions of years and you resume the operation. However, with pearls, and I know because you know, I've been fortunate enough to have been to the Paspali Pearl Farm off the Kimberley coast of Australia, spent a week living on the boat there, seeing the operation, very privileged to have seen that. But there is a reason that we refer to pearl farms as nurseries. And it's because these, these oysters are, are cared for on a daily basis, mm. right? So they are moving them consistently and constantly to different feeding grounds, protecting them from the elements, cleaning the barnacles off them, which will, you know, if, if you leave them, the pearls are gonna die or they're not gonna produce the perfect pearl that, that you hope for, mm. you know? And the reality is with that, we knew we were gonna at least, at least lose one harvest, which yeah. meant all the pearls in circulation were gonna go up while we await a new harvest that is going to take place after COVID. Yeah. And obviously when you're talking about sizes like this, it's never the first harvest. No. It has to be second or third harvest that produces these. Yeah. Because as you can imagine, when the first nucleus is inserted into an oyster, it's going to be the smallest. And then once they take that out after that, the duration of time, they look at the pearls, they adjudicate which ones deemed, you know, were deemed to have done a good enough job and they then re-nucleate them. Yeah. The next time it'll be a slightly bigger nucleus, which will likely give us a slightly bigger pearl. Again, there's only a small percentage of those then that make it through two harvests successfully. They're like the thoroughbred oysters. And then they go in for the final harvest, which is where you're going to get sizes like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, we knew, like even uh, the, the, the authorities in the gem industry, like... Uh, the, the gem guide put out statements saying expect a shortage of fine goods and these are fine yeah well, like they're extra dead. fine um, until uh, at least 2026 that's not to say fine pearls aren't in the market they are because they've come from previous harvests but if you know if we know we've got to wait until 2026 pearl dealers know that too so their prices are going to go up because they're going to be like I'm going to sell this but I can't replace it and I can't replace it for a few years yeah. right so that's one of the things that's happened now Charlie Barron, if you've met him before, um, who is a sixth generation pearl dealer, has, has literally forgotten more about pearls than I could ever learn in a lifetime. An incredible gentleman, literally supplies the likes of Cartier mm -hmm. with, with their pearls. Um, he doesn't even deal in pearls anymore since COVID. That's how dramatic that was. That's a gentleman that's it's been in his life for, for six generations, mm. right? And um, they were some of the first people to have bought South Sea pearls to Australia to start farming them. If he, if he traces his lineage back, he's got old black and white photographs. It's amazing. You've probably seen it. Yeah. It, and they've got like the the, the just the uh, I guess the certification of the first pearl farm buying the oysters, like going back to like 190 something. It's it's amazing. And he's gone out of the the industry. He's now dealing in fine diamonds, emeralds, you know, precious stones, but no longer pearls really. Um, and he, w he will tell you when, when it was all good before COVID, when he used to come to our channel four times a year and I used to go with him to Hong Kong and I'd buy four years worth of pearls, like yeah. 60,000 pearls. Literally, that's how, how good it used to be. We used to, and I'm talking Tahitians in the South Sea because he only deals in marine pearls. We used to buy pearls in vacuum sealed packs that were as big as bags of potatoes. Wow. Like, like thousands of pearls. We'd put them all out on a huge table in, in Bangkok. We'd go through them all and grade them and we'd, we'd do deals on these. And he was saying, he would always tell a story on TV that his favorite time to go out to uh, Indonesia and uh, Australia was when at the end of a harvest, they go trawling for wild oysters. Oh. So obviously, as I said, when every harvest is complete, it's only a small percentage that actually produce pearls yeah. or a smaller percentage than you'd imagine or the perfect rounds or whatever. So the other ones they discard, right? They either set them free or whatever it may be. They go for carving of the mother of pearl because they didn't produce a gem grade pearl. So they're not going to use it again. It's a waste of resource and energy. So every, at the end of every harvest, they take those huge boats out that I lived on for a week. The fleet, I mean, one of the, was there, Nick Paspali was extraordinarily proud to tell me that this one ship in the fleet is at $4 million. Wow. That's how big of an operation it is though. Yeah. Like, and that's why a lot of uh, pearl farmers went out of business during COVID, unfortunately, because it is expensive. Mm. It's not easy to do. You've got to have a huge staff. 
mm. right? Because you are literally, uh, the, the people that are nuclear in pills are like surgeons. Their skill set is very expensive. Mm. Um, then you've got the people that are scuba diving and cleaning thousands of oysters every day, going back. The boys are in the water, they know where they are, they're in the wild. Then they've, they've literally got these boats that are $4 million that are moving them to, out of the different feeding grounds, grounds to make the optimum pearl. But he said his favorite time was when they went out there, all the pressure's off, everyone's having fun. It's been really successful. It's really, you know, everyone's really happy. And they go out trawling. They collect thousands of wild oysters, right? And these are going to be the next generation. And this happens in, for all, like Tahitians and French Polynesia, they go around the atolls of French Polynesia and do it. It, they do it for you know, your pink tartar fucata, the, the, the aquas. What they can't do it for is these. Right. Because these colors don't actually occur naturally. No. Although these are natural colors, there isn't an oyster that produces these consistently and naturally. They have been, a, 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 I guess, a product of cross breeding oysters. Yeah, it's a hybrid, isn't it? Yeah, so it? it's a hybrid. So yeah. it's a lot, you know, all these pearl farms in Greater China have their own little secrets, their own secret recipes. You know, each pearl farm will have a different, unique take on it. And they've crossbred these over a long, long time to be able to produce a consistent supply of colors like this. Really, these colors debuted from like a harvest in 2018 wow, on the market. There may have been the occasional pearls that existed before that, but the first harvest that like nailed it was in 2018, right, mm. in Hong Kong. And I remember the market went crazy for them. Strands were like, this is wholesale, strands were like $10,000. Yeah. Because before the introduction of these, and they were all certified because no one could believe it, pearls like that had to be dyed. Yes. Okay, they were either shell pearls that were dyed or they were freshwater pearls that were dyed with this metallic kind of paint, I guess is what you'd call yeah. it. And, and then other than that, when you're looking at, you know, the, your goldens or your, your purples, they're extraordinarily rare for anything. Like you get even a, a hint of color in an Akoya, it's very valuable. Mm. If you get uh, like a purple Akoya, it's extraordinarily valuable. And they're flukes, they're curiosities. They're very, very difficult and rare to find. And these few family-run pearl farms developed this technology, I guess, in how to do this. Now, when COVID hit, they can't fish for the wild, oh, gosh, the wild yes. oysters because they don't exist. So the whole program has had to start over again, right? Oh. So we are miles off another harvest that can produce colors like this. And although we talk about the dizzying prices of your Tahitian pearls and your Golden South Sea, which is just insane, it's amazing to see and it's great for the pearl farmers and, and the dealers. This material has had the, the biggest increase. I'm not saying it's the biggest final price, right? But increase. But in terms of an increase from where it was to where Percentage. these are now, yeah. this has had the most dramatic price increase of any of them. Mm. Now, I speak to Yoko of London, who I think are some of the finest pearl yeah. jewelers in the world. I spoke to them in March in Hong Kong. Um, we were out there, uh, they, they know us, we know them, and we we kind of know each other just to nod and say hello but we actually had a big conversation this year in march and they were talking about how difficult right now it is to get fine goods mm. in this space they predominantly bring you their wonderful marine goods but they were the first in my opinion to really go after fresh water yeah. and raise the perceived value of yeah, it right absolutely. everyone else like charlie barron even now doesn't like fresh water because you're either one or the other no you're it's like, quite um, obvious yeah yeah it's it's absolutely so because he's only ever been involved in your Akoyas, yeah. your Tahitians and your South Sea, he looks at this as like low grade. Yeah. Whereas Yoko of London looked at it objectively. Yeah. And they said, okay, where else are we getting this color? Do we want to create high jewelry? Do we want to create wonderful exotic colors? And they saw how rare it was, how exotic it was. And they were actually the, f the first jewelry house when these were around to start working with the purples. And there's a, you can find it, there's an amazing interview on YouTube um, going back years and years when they were like working with these they called them orchid colored pearls oh lovely yeah and they were they were the first to champion them mm. Talk, and they were really proud about the fact that they were they had an exclusivity deal with the only pearl farm that could even farm these colors and I think they were the only jewelry house certainly in the UK but maybe in the west that could mm. bring them they were mm. literally buying up all of them and they were saying we're the only people that can work with this material and it's amazing now that so many years on here at Jewelry Maker yeah Genuinely, a jewelry maker, we are talking about high grade pearls, high jewelry. I mean, that necklace there, uh, the jewelry editor, it's obviously a three strand, so it's very different. But this is a blossom rose gold, South Sea, Akoya, and freshwater pearl necklace. And what's amazing about that is with that one piece, which was 50,000 pounds, 
they did more for these pearls than anyone else in the world because they put them in the same bracket as South Sea yeah. and Akoyas. They put them in the same page. In fact, they made them the feature. Because yeah, and, exactly, and their argument yeah. is, we can't do that with any other pearl. No. You know, like if we want to ombre that and graduate it to this deep, wonderful kind of royal purple orchid color, as they call it, okay, find me an Akoya that looks like that. Yeah. Find me a Tahitian that looks like that. Find me a South Sea that looks like that. Because they don't. No. And there, I, I have been fortunate enough to, in my life to have seen one Akoya that I would consider purple. It's not that purple, but it's purple. But they're tiny. It's like seven mil. So if you want to graduate it in both color and size, this is the only way you can do it. And this is why I always say I detest the idea of like provenance, even in the gemstone world. Like when, when people say you need to pay a premium for um, oral Alexandrite from Russia. Yeah. No, no, I'll pay a premium for fine goods. No problem. Yeah, it's not But I'm not going to pay an arbitrary fee for just because this mine once produced the best in the world. Best Alexandra I've ever seen, hands down, is a Brazilian gem. Mm. It had the best color change I've ever seen. But yet the market will tell you because of this weird kind of provenance debate yeah. that the Russian material commands a premium. Yeah. Or, or Colombian emeralds command a premium. Or Kashmir sapphires command a premium. I've, I can get on board with they may have produced more fine stones than any other mine. Yeah. But like, I'm not just going to pay it for the location. Yeah, right. Absolutely. And it's the same with marine poles and freshwater poles. I'm, I'm talking about rarity, I'm talking about beauty, I'm talking about size and symmetry yeah. and, and you know, the, the orient. That's it. I'm not going to have this discussion between two fighting factions of fresh water is the best, salt water is the best. For me, I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. We're talking about the most incredible pearls in the world, you know, these wonders of Mother Nature. And these don't exist anywhere else. They come from these few family run pearl farms in Greater China. And right now, they have become some of the rarest cultured pearls in the world because it has taken them, they've had to have a hard reset during COVID, right? Not only have all pearls become, are in their golden era right now, like every cultured pearl is the most expensive it's ever been in its history, mm. okay? All of them, yeah. because of what's happening with China. Every pearl, whether it's fresh water, whether it's even dyed, everything is the highest price it's ever been. Yeah. This is the material that's far rarer than anything else. Wow. Because, because of the, the fact that it's been crossbred to get those colors. Now, if you go to Yoko of London, you can see one singular pearl of that incredible orchid or it's pink gorgeous. freshwater pearl. Just one of those. You can see the kind of value that they assign to it. And this is why I'm so excited about the sizes and the color that we have today. Now, when I went, I'm, I'm, I'm not a pearl expert, and I'm, uh, I can agree that I'm probably naive in many respects. When I went to Hong Kong this March, which is where it all happens, because it's the gateway to the Far East, certainly if the Chinese are invested in something, interested in something, we expected to see crazy prices for Tahitians and South Seas, because that's what we've read about, and the Akoyas with the, what's happening with the Akoya pearls. But what I wasn't prepared for was the price that was assigned to because these have disappeared pretty much. The price that's assigned to metallic, naturally colored goods. And what I'd like to do is, in a moment, take you all to Hong Kong. Yeah. And I'm gonna show you me trying to buy more goods like this, because although you guys get this epic opportunity and we've been working on this for a long time, over on our sister channel, we celebrate our 20th year. Yeah, amazing. Um, in October. It's a massive thing. Two decades, the longest running dedicated jewelry channel in the UK. We obviously are going all out to do the most crazy deals, the, the, the best gemstones, everything. And Hong Kong was our opportunity to go and get some pearls. And I've, I've done some wonderful deals on South Sea this year in Switzerland, but I wanted to get this, essentially. And I'm gonna show you this lady. Every price you're about to hear is in US dollars. Every price you're about to hear is wholesale. Yeah. And she talks about, there's one point in it where I ask, I pick up a strand, it's incredible. And I asked her if she can get me another strand. And she said it would take her many years because of what's happening in the industry to get another strand like that. And then I picked out one because I'm naive and I'm like, well, what about this one? And she says, it's good, but it's not metallic. Yeah. And she said to get that metallic you know, nacre, so to get you know, what you've got here is ridiculously difficult. And you can see it, this is in the studio yeah, environment. That's amazing. Worst lighting conditions ever. The colors are incredible. The size is incredible but it's the metallicism, the fact that these are metallic that makes them so magical to me. Mm. I'm gonna take you to Hong Kong right now. Just please, I know usually when we go to a clip of film, you might go make a cup of tea or whatever it may be, let the dog out. Please just sit through this, it's about two minutes long, 
but hopefully it'll help inform your decision today on whether you want to acquire this incredible set. Good luck, take a little listen to this. This is it. With my teller. Hmm? And what kind of price for this? Uh, which one? This one. This one? And what's the payment? This one. One thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. And what what size is it? Eleven to four. Eleven to. Fourteen, 14 mil. Yeah, yeah. 11 to and how much for these? Uh, everyone different. Okay. Yeah. Everyone different. Yeah. Like like this one. Mm -hmm. Shining. And uh, this one? Okay, I like uh, this one here, price? Uh -huh. This one. What color is this? This is pinkish with metallic. Metallic with yeah, a metallic pinkish, pinkish, yeah. Pinkish. Okay. Pinkish. Hard, very rare? Very rare. Yeah. The, 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 the color very rare. You cannot get. And the bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big size. Big size. And pearls gone very expensive now <laughs> in the market because of Nini and Yang Ni, yeah. the social media. Social media, yeah, 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 yeah. Very. US dollars. US. So for this strand, 18,000 US dollars. 18, and can you get how many? Um, maybe many years can get one. Yeah. Oh, five? Very. No, 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 I only, this color, only one, this size. Right. Yeah, maybe a little... Smaller? Smaller, but a smaller, not metallic like this. Okay, yeah. and, and if, if smaller? Uh -huh. Okay, so uh -huh. can you get more of this color? Yeah, this color can, no, two, maybe, two. Two, yeah. Similar. So, Similar so color. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what price if I buy these two? Uh, if you... This one. These are smaller, right? Yeah, this smaller, this quality. $5,500 yeah, yeah. US. This quality. This all belong to top. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah. This one. Also special white top color, top quality, like South Sea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is this more affordable? More affordable. This lower? No? This top, all top, lower is over there. So yeah. for the top white? Yeah, top white. And what kind of, what, okay, so uh, how many do you have? This one. Yeah. Yeah, this law is seven. Seven. Uh, seven. If I buy all seven, uh -huh. how much? If you buy all Natural seven, color, right? Natural color, yeah. natural color, all natural color. We all natural color. Just the golden and the black. We die. This is all natural. 6,200, okay. Now, can you put clasps on and everything manufactured with? We can, we can clasp. If you have clasp, so we made it now, it's no problem. Okay, yeah. okay, perfect. So those are all wholesale prices. Mm. Yeah, you're talking five figures for that one epic metallic strand. Yeah. And even if I just wanted the colors, but without the metallic nature of them, Still, $5,000, right? Yeah. And that's the reality. That, that is because although we, the market is caught up talking about the social media influence of Yang Mi and Nini and their you know, South Sea and Tahitians, this is gone right yeah. now. And, and there's no guarantee we're going to get anything like this production back again. We only really debuted in 2018 and we were so fortunate to get them there. And they didn't just debut and have this slow, this slow kind of gradual rise like other pearls. These debuted and they were $10,000 a strand, yeah. right? Th these became a fixture of high jewelry immediately. Like we were just talking about this, this necklace at Yoko of London that looks very similar to what Jan, Jan has, has created over here that I think you're going to get to see in the masterclass, right? Yes. Which is sensational. I was looking at it a minute ago, first time I've seen it. But you, you, there you go with the shambalas and, and the, all the way that that performs and those natural colors of the pearls. Yeah. Just incredible. Yes. And, and anything like that, you know, even before COVID, before the disappearance of these, you're talking 7,000 pounds for opportunities like that. Yeah. that. That's just the reality because of these colors. Then you get the pink fresh water, 800 pounds. Well, here you've got in this kind of wonderful multicolored uh, set that we've got, 
you've got the royal purples, but you've got those peaches, you've got the pinks, you've got all of these sensational colours in massive a sizes. And metallic. Yeah, metallic is the most important factor. Um, as we go through this, you can see Yoko also produced their high jewellery uh, colorette. Yeah. Right? It was a collection of one of a kind, there's matching earrings. Um, and it is high jewellery, that's why it's priced on application. But you can see how they mix it with the South Sea, mm. your, your Akoyas, your Tahitians, yeah. and of course, these incredible pearls as well. Yeah. Like, because they, they, they're, they're going for this wonderful style, showcasing these exotic colours. But that's what they chose for their high jewellery collection. And then we looked at the, wow. the ombre colours here, three strands. Again, uh, ombre, pink, freshwater pearl necklace. This is, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that was price and application now. Like, because they know if they sold that, they can't replace it. I spoke with them in March. And then I wanted to try and look for something as affordable as I could for you guys. Yoko of London are famed for these offerings, but I wanted to try and find something as affordable as I could. This one here is completely sold out. These are Baroques. These aren't even near rounds. Yeah. Uh, wonderful though. And then I found this ombre freshwater pearl strand okay. uh, by Mastaloni, which is 5,500 US dollars. I'm saying all that because what you're about to get is in my opinion, the best pearl deal we've ever done. Mm. Like, and uh, I'm also factoring in Gempori here as well. Mm. I mean, these are 14 mil. They're in astonishing. Yeah, these are, these are crazy in that orchid color. Oh. And then you've got this strand. I am telling you, after coming back from Hong Kong, after speaking with some of the biggest pearl dealers in the world over the course of this year, because I'm, I'm hugely invested in trying to get some some uh, uh, pearl offering for our sister channel mm. for our birthday. I've been to Geneva, I've been to Zurich, I've been to Hong Kong. I'm going back out there mm. in September to see if we can get anything, literally like four weeks before our birthday starts. Yeah. This is all that we have currently. And the deal we're about to do is, I mean, this should be in a cabinet. This should, this should be price and application. Yeah. A suite like this. I can't believe we've got a hundred of them. I li and I'm going to say that because I've had discussions behind the scenes with uh, your, your sales manager, Wayne, about, and I'm just going to be honest because it hasn't happened, but I said, because of the, the troubles that I'm finding in trying to source for our sister channel, I asked if we could half this. And you guys get this 50 opportunity, and Jampori in October gets the 50 opportunity, and he's steadfast and said, absolutely not. So you have Wayne to thank for having the full, full quantity today. I'm going to give you a 30-second clock. I'm going to open this up. I can't believe the deal you're going to get. It is absolutely yeah. wild. Even pre-COVID, even pre, you know, uh, w w what has taken place in the pearl industry of 2023, 2024. I don't know how this has ever, 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 ever been this affordable anywhere. It's going to be unmissable. And I would encourage the first 100 people to check out in eight seconds. That's the truth. Dave, uh, Ross was in Stratford the other day. Mm-hmm. And he looked in the jeweler's shop window mm -hmm. and they were what, seven mil? Some pearls? Not the same color, yeah, yeah. not metallic, and smaller than anything even on the strand, let alone those studs. Yeah. They were 540 pounds, small button yeah. pearls. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, look, and, look the, the reality is, you know, I've been to a, a jewelry house this year and in the window they had amethyst in gold for two and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. Yeah, pearls are extraordinarily Five difficult figures. to get, especially in these colors. Well done to everyone who's already been yeah, uh, successful. There you go. You know, when we say they're metallic, that's where you see it. I told you that in the studio, it's the worst lighting conditions ever oh, gosh, for these, these pearls. And they looked incredible pearl. here, but that's what they really look like. And there's, there's, I mean, the pearl at the back there, like, it's it's a bronze color. Yeah, it's gonna say it looks and like 24 it's bicolor, gold, yeah. And then it? you've got the aubergines, you've got the greens, you've got all these impressive, and look, Thank you so much for trusting us. Dorothy, you've multi-bought already. Thank you, uh, Ross. Ross is showing them now. Yeah. You have just the, the, the match pairs, Not the metallic. earrings. Not metallic. Yep. So you've got 430, 480, and Probably 535 dying. pounds. Yeah, I mean, give them the benefit of the doubt. So they're not, so they're, they're naturally colored. Okay, but they're, they're certainly not 14 mil. Um, and, you know, imagine if we just said, okay, well, I will separate our earrings as a separate auction. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Let's separate our auction of the earrings and we'll just give you the strand right now. No, we're giving you everything. Yeah, you get both. It's, it's truly unthinkable what we're about to do. And this is why I'm stressing to any collector that is tuned in this morning or this afternoon or wherever you are in the world, you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You, you, and, and the reality is I would check out now. That doesn't benefit in me anyway. 
I know that it's going to sell out. I'm saying it because we don't charge your card until midnight. No. Nope. So if our final deal isn't good enough for you, you can just cancel it. But if it's just in your basket, if you just tuned in and are waiting for the final price, the likelihood is you're going to miss out. But I'm literally saying on Gempori, we haven't had pills like this all year. All year. In fact, we had um, a similar opportunity we offered earlier in the year on Jewelry Maker in the white, do you remember? Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. And um, our head of beauty, Katie Elliott, who does all the makeup visage, she modelled it for Jewelry Maker and was, was given a, a discounted price and she bought them because she modelled it. And she wears them every time she does a show. Right? Does because she? she's got nothing that dramatic because they're so big. Yeah. And she'll wear like a black dress and it's like the big I 40 mil earrings, the, the, the 10, 11 mil strand. And every time she does a show, we get probably 60 messages. When are those pearls coming up? When are we getting those pearls? That's the white. And they've sold out, they're gone. Yeah, and now not. we're bringing you the multicolored that are naturally colored. Cheshire's got two, Hazel's got two, uh, North Yorkshire's got two, Dorothy, you've got two. Um, yeah. Yeah. They are they on are split, split pay. pay. Five way split pay. Wow. Lorna, so we'll, we'll look into that. It's interest free if you mm. want them. They are on five way split pay. Yes. So, um, another question, Dave. Yeah. Are the two large So these are drills? half drilled. Yeah. Yeah, these, these are half drilled. Um, obviously, perfect for earrings or even two pendants. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah that's a good point. So you could do that. Because they're so big, that it'd be a perfect pendant. You should put a cap on it. Do you know that they're probably bigger? You know that pendant that you showed earlier on, Dave, for Yoko yeah, Blum? Yeah, they're yeah. bigger than those. I, 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 it, looks it doesn't that way. say on them. You, you could probably find out, Ross, but I don't want to. I don't want to say yes or no. But you know that you, you got two of those in here, or a pair of earrings. Yeah. No, yeah, that's the reality. Oh. Yeah, it's it's sensational. And I look, can't believe you, you look. The level of trust is something else. Like the, as it stands, I think we've got more multi buyers than single buyers. Yeah, I don't blame you. I wouldn't leave anything to chance on this, though, Dave. I wouldn't. A quarter of the stock has already confirmed. Well done. Congratulations. Oh, my goodness me. I know. They're like golf balls. They're the so big. Yeah. Th that one, by the way, on Yoko of London mm -hmm. is a nine mil. There you go. Nine mil. And, and yours is 14 mil. Look at those. Yeah. I love it. I love the organic shape. I love the metallic orient. Uh, and remember, we're in a floodlit environment here. Yeah, it's worth So, it. just so you know, Ross will tell you, in Stratford, when you went to their jewellery house, they don't have floodlights in there, do they? <laughs> but they don't. That's the reality. When you're selling pearls or expensive jewellery, you have the optimum lighting. Yeah. But you have your, your LEDs, your daylight simulated uh, thousands of LEDs, especially in the window display. They don't have floodlights like this. This is a TV studio. That's what it's lit up for. So this, when it was in the studio, and it was the first time I showed it to you, and it looked amazing. That's the worst it's ever going to look. Yeah. Whereas the reality is, when you go into a jeweler's, wonderful jewelers, maybe you're getting a special occasion, maybe it's an engagement ring, maybe it's an anniversary gift, whatever it may be, it's probably the best it will ever look. Yeah. It will never look that good again, unless you're spending 15,000 pounds on your lights in your kitchen. It's probably never gonna look that good. Yeah. Whereas absolutely. the way you are seeing this right now is the worst it's ever gonna look. It's always gonna look better than that. You get that in daylight. You get that in a normal lighting environment. These pearls come alive. They are metallic pearls. Like the lady said, who is one of the biggest freshwater pearl wholesalers in the world. She said, I have one strand like that. And I picked up another one and said, what about this? And she said, same colors, but it's not metallic. Yeah, she, she and was I said, well, quick to and, mention and, and, that. Yeah, and I said, look, you know, we buy volume. We are a shopping TV channel. How many of these can you get? I know we're here at the show, but if, if I give you two months, how many of the, the metallic strands? She's really honest. She's like, many, many years I get maybe two. Yeah. But they won't be the same, but maybe two. And, and she looked surprised that I couldn't understand that. And it's so, you know, I was talking about this, Dave, the other day, you know, yeah. go, you, you taking those, those trips to places like yeah. Hong Kong, Tucson, and things yeah. like that. It's as important as well for us to really appreciate the situation. Yeah. Pearls today are not the same as pearls 10 years ago, are no, they? Oh, well, look, as the, the reason I go to these places a lot of the time, obviously to make contacts, obviously to buy gemstones yeah. for you, but it's also because if I came back, from Hong Kong in March, and it's a wholesale show, and you understand that, so it's not retail, so we know it's the it's the mm -hmm. best price you can get. And I said I saw single sold, uh, single 
South Sea Ports for $21,000. Yeah. You'd go, no, you didn't. Because yeah. it sounds so outrageous. You'd say, no, there is no way. So I go there in part to show you that. Yeah. Because I want you to understand what we're doing. The reason Elizabeth and Belfast has just bought three of these is, is because we know deals like this don't exist anywhere else. I know there are jewelry makers that tune in that only make with pearls. Yeah. Right? I know that. Right? Um, and, you know, maybe you do catch other shows as well, and maybe you're getting little bits and pieces to go into some of your pearl jewelry, but primarily you might just walk with pearls. So you will have far more experience with pearls than me. You've seen the price of pearls go up, I'm sure. Mm. In fact, Ross, I'm going, to start, I'm going to start us off right now. And this, this is how crazy this sounds. And by the way, I also know how crazy this sounds. I'm going to say a price, and outside of these four walls, it's not crazy. Okay. 20,000 pounds. Not crazy. Right. No. 14 mil matched pair, naturally colored, metallic pearls. Yeah. And then what, 10 to 12 mil on the strand. With a mirror, and all one. All, and I don't think there's a jewelry house on that I've ever seen where that comes as one auction or one opportunity. If, if you walk into a jeweler's, it's, they might put them together, but there's a different price for each of them. Like, like Ross just saw, there was three match pairs of earrings and they all had a different price. They all had different prices. They didn't say, oh, we're gonna do all three today as part of this crazy deal. That's not what happens. Um, Dan, if I can, you know where you found that clip of film on Metallic Pose? You know the clip above it with, uh, with uh, Mr. Kakuda? So this is George Otsuki of Kakuda Pearls. This is from March this year. Now what you're about to see is marine pearls. It's not freshwater pearls, but I want to show you how much the market has changed because you've seen Tahitian pearls. We bought you South Sea pearls and we bought you Akoya pearls. But this is what the market looks like this year. I'm going to take you there right now. When we come back, we are going to take tens of thousands of pounds off this price. Good luck. Well done for multibuying. Hi guys, so I'm here with Kakuda Pearls who have one of the finest selection of pearls that I've seen anywhere. We're talking incredible natural Tahitians, huge uh, uh, supply of uh, incredible Akoya pearls, and of course the South Sea varieties as well. And we wanted to talk to the man himself about what's been happening uh, within the pearl industry. Mm. And I wonder if you could just um, mm. shed some light on what's happened maybe mm. since September with mm. pearls. Mm. Okay, September to uh, October, it was the kind of a peak time uh, with uh, mainly Chinese customers. Yeah. Mm, it's a big boom, boom yes. in China that, I yeah. you know, as a fashion material, fashion uh, material, the pearls getting so popular. And, and it, has it impacted the price? It is. Yeah. Now it's the uh, highest in the history. In the whole history? Yes, with wow. the Tahitians yeah. and the South Sea golden color, South Sea white, or wow. even the Japanese aquarius. So as it, would you say it's gone up 30% or is it doubled or? What kind of increase? Well, I don't remember much, but uh, looking back two years, maybe last September, October was kind of a peak and uh, it was like a double it's three years ago. Wow. But I you know the things are kind of changing right now. Yeah. Mm, I know it's hitting the top and... Uh... <laughs> so it's very difficult at yeah, the minute to get good mm. quality Tahitians it and is. Golden South Sea mm. because of the uh, the influence of, is it Nini, the social influencer in Yang Mi? Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm. That's, uh, that's with Tahiti. Right? Yes. Mm. Uh, mm. And, but it has also been impacting the price of South Sea, you said. Because mm -hmm. that was the Yes. Yeah. Um, so to, to anyone right now who's looking to get good quality South Sea, whether it's the golden or the white, and of course the Tahitians, it is very, very difficult. Unless you can get hold of older material, which mm. you know you may be able to get a better price. Mm. Right now it's at the peak. And uh, we're talking about the most expensive time in history to get cultured pearls. And that is the power of social media and influence mm. and the Chinese market. Mm. Um, we, we, we saw it through September and October, but even right now uh, in March, in February, we're seeing the same high peaks for those incredible pearls. I just wanted to share that because you saw the prices there. We, we see the impact. There you go. Mm. Thank you so much, Dan. That's the Tishan pearls. Like 10,290, 12,860. They're like 15 mil. Like a match pair would be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's the reality. Um, well done to everyone who's already acquired these. Well done to everyone with it in the baskets. That is a true reflection of what you're getting. What's interesting at Yoko of London is that, what was it, nine, nine mil pearl? Yeah, it's nine out of stock. Oh, is it? Email went back oh, in yes, stock. Oh, yes, of course. So th that, that just shows you the, the, the level of interest that. Yeah, you know, everyone is seeing in the market. When I spoke with Yoko of London in March, and they were saying, 
where, are you guys getting access to any pills? Are you, you know, is there any other pill farms that, that you, and we're like, we're in the same boat. We cannot right now uh, are able to compete with the Chinese market. They're not even taking the freshwater goods really to Hong Kong. They're selling them direct from the farm in, in uh, China and they're just, it, we're years away from under the harvest like this is the reality. Um, I'm gonna give you a 30 second clock if that's okay. I told you, honestly, my, my best piece of advice that I can give you is to check out now because already we're in double figure quantity. Um, we've probably got about 60 chances yeah. remaining. Yeah. Uh, and uh, everyone knows you're paying the final ordeal. As you can see, I think it was Lorna that messaged in, you have got five interest free split payments. They're clearly displayed on the screen right now. Um, and you've actually multi bought Lorna. I think you were the one oh, that messaged well, in saying, yeah, yeah. no split two? pay. Yeah, well, there well is five done, split Lorna. pays. And you said, you know what, I'll take two of these sets then. Because I trust it's going to be an incredible oh, deal. Can you imagine that in a long line necklace, two together? It would be sensational. Um, Ross, let's, let's uh, again, let's take £15,000 of the price. Let's go to £5,000. And I think at that point, we're the best in the market. 100%. So for this, uh, and better than wholesale. Yeah. Uh, and we probably shouldn't be doing it. Nope. But we do because our, our value system is always, oh, you know, well, you, what we paid for it, and then we have a, a tiny little margin, and that's it. Do you know what? We could go... I'm not saying we would ever do this, of course, because mm. that would cut out our amazing customers. But you could you could sell these to Yoko. Yeah, I mean, quite possibly. You know, uh, you could set up a meeting and do that. But the reality, no, would. I know. But the reality is, the the way that we work is very differently to anyone else. There's so many different business models, and I'm not a businessman, but it's like. Um, there's a massive difference between Rolex and airlines, right? So yeah. Rolex work on the fact that they just don't have to sell. You know, they, they create their own market environment where yep. there's shortages and there's waiting lists. And, it, you know, it's great because on the secondary market, the price goes up. But with airlines, they, 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 they can charge whatever the price they want, but that plane's leaving whether it's full or empty. Yeah. Right? So that's why people always say, if you don't care where you go, if you just turn up to the airport with your bags packed, yeah. You're gonna get a crazy deal, like you know. You've heard those stories of people just going to like I don't know somewhere like Barcelona for ten quid, yeah, whatever. And you start, like, where do they get those deals? Because we have to plan stuff on advance with our holiday and things. But the reality is, for for an airline, their their profit margins are actually tiny. Yeah, like when you look into it, they're tiny. They have to keep their slots, right? So these slots at the at the airports for the airlines are kept on the basis that they are on time, that they fly on time, that they are you know mm. keeping it everything has to run like clockwork mm -hmm. and you know that's why during covid when no one could fly the plane still flew right yeah. a lot of the time the plane they still flew so you can lose they? your slot that's yeah. the point so the closer it gets to the time they just drop the prices because they're like Do you know what it's better than nothing we need to fly this plane if we lose this slot it's like a, probably a really optimum s spot it might be like london to new york at this specific time they're like we know there's always traffic for that we want this perfect slot that's us. We're live whether we have product to sell or not. Yeah. Right. And airtime is expensive. So we, that's why I travel the world. That's why I go to Hong Kong as we go around the world because we have to have things to bring to you. Mm. And we have to have really exciting things to bring to you because there's a thousand channels nowadays. Yeah. Right. So one, we have to have amazing goods to bring to you because yeah. there's so much competition for your eyeballs. Let's be honest. Yeah. And two, <laughs> If we didn't, we'd have nothing else to do on, uh, right now. We'd have to be here regardless because we have the channel. So that's why we choose to bring you these at the tiny profit margins because that's the way our business works. right? That's uh, amazing. But it's true. That, that's the reality. We don't have the luxury of saying, well, we don't need to sell these. We can hold these in a vault and we can do this and that. We don't have that luxury. I'm here. Al's here. Jan's here. We're here regardless because we have to be broadcasting. So we are doing this in a crazy sense. Now, I'm gonna give you a 30 second clock. Well done to every single one of you. Now I'm being told already, there is more of you within your baskets than I have available, which yes. doesn't surprise me. But if you're okay with missing out, if you're okay with you know, leaving it to chance, then that's fine. I'm happy for everyone to take that risk. But the reality is, if you want metallic, multicolored, exceptional freshwater pearls like this, of these sizes, yeah, they are with amazing. this incredible skin on each of these pearls, with the Orient, then this is the, the, the best opportunity you're ever gonna get, in my opinion. Good luck, everyone. Okay, this is where we're going to lose the vast majority of all of these. I'm going to take this straight down to a thousand pounds. And I think we just end the auction.
like is, is my feeling my gut feeling on this is we've just done the craziest I can walk out of here right now yeah. you know I'm going to see my family later we're going to have a barbecue watch the England game and I'll tell them that, but what did you do today and I said I just did the craziest deal in the world on the, on the, the most, most insane beautiful pearls. pearls the pearls that everyone wants yeah. that, the, the same ones that I was talking about when I was in Hong Kong when I was talking to my family about them I said I just did you know 12 mil strand of the most exceptional colours with the metallic nacre with 14 mil matched pair of, of these royal purple earrings crazy. for a thousand pounds. And I and we also made it not only did we make it as affordable as we could, we made it as manageable as we could. We put it on five interest free split pounds. Which is amazing. I know isn't right it? now there's a hundred collectors in the world that have only had to part with two hundred pounds and they get this delivered within a matter of days. Oh. They get to open up that box and then they get to work with like high jewellery like this. And it is high jewellery. Yeah. It's high jewellery, that's what you're looking at. And it is a whole experience, isn't it, mm. from start to finish? You know, even down to the presentation. Mm. You know how pearls of this grade, obviously, you're not yeah. going. You know, you you expect them to be. It's white glove jewelry, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. It's concierge service. It's an atelier boutique jewelry house on Knightsbridge or Mayfair. It's in the window. You go in. They get it out with their white gloves. They showcase these incredible pearls. They give you a glass of champagne. They may yeah. tell you the same things, how difficult it is to get these, especially with the, the challenges of the COVID pandemic, how this is, you know, the, the, a few families in Greater China in the last hundred years Amazing. have realized how to cross breed the bivalve mollusks to create the colors that has never been available. So even when they were diving for pearls in the Gulf of Persia, even when those pearls from Bahrain were, were being traded for the Cartier flagship store mm. in New York, they could never dream of seeing colours like this. Like this. Ever. Because they don't exist. I just wanted to show you. This is... Oh. Yeah. They're absolutely breathtaking, mm -hmm. Dave. Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. Absolutely breathtaking. What an experience. Yeah. What an experience. But can I just ask you, just to work with them, mm. he's... An honour, yeah, it's a yeah, privilege, I agree. Um, Margaret says, um, or Margot, sorry, in five says, they are so mesmerising and beautiful, I completely really agree. Are. And as I said, like, when we're showing them live in the studio like this, we look at them and go, oh, yeah, they're amazing. But then when I look to my left, that's what I'm actually seeing. Yeah. Like, to my eyes, that's what I'm seeing. These, these lights in here do wash these out. Oh, they're, yeah, dreadful. The dr uh, yeah, it's the worst possible lighting. You go into a nice, you go into... Van Cleef, you go into Tiffany's, you go into um, Yoko of London, Boucheron, any of those jewellery houses, they're little spotlights, aren't they? And everything's... Right? No, we literally have floodlights, you know, the same ones they that you find in sport. Like, don't they? They yeah. I mean, well, Dave mentioned Charlie and Jan, like he used to get so frustrated with the lighting conditions in, in our studios, he hated it yeah. and was very vocal about it, you know, he was like, oh, there's awful lighting in here and that's he's the really thing. Passionate about what he does. Yeah. He, he wants to bring that over in the best possible light. Absolutely. He wants you to see the actual real beauty of it. And like you say, the lights don't do that. No, do they it? definitely don't. Particularly in this studio as well. Yeah. Um, so I just, uh, forgive me, I went quiet there. I went in to see Ross. Um, and I wanted to get a clear picture of what's happening. So uh, a lot of you have already checked them out, which is amazing. Congratulations. A lot of you have already multi bought them over the moon for you because you are going to receive these. But the worrying thing is, and I just want to, to make this uh, news available to everyone, there is about 200, I've never seen that by the way. 200? 200 people with it in their baskets. Okay, we, by the way, we only ever had 100 of these. And a lot of collectors have already done this. So even with the best will in the world, even if you absolutely know you want these, you've got a one in two chance of even getting them. Yeah. Like, because if you all feel like that, then half of you are going to miss out. That's the problem. And I'll make that super clear right now. If it's in your basket and we, and I know what it feels like when it's in your basket and you're watching, you're like, I'm just going to just wait. Mm. There is, at the minute, you've got a 50-50 chance of being successful. Yeah. If it continues, then there is a greater possibility of you missing out, is the reality. And I just want you to be know that. So, because I want you to be at peace with that decision. I'm now going to give you a 30 second clock. We're at a thousand pounds. It's 200 pounds on interest free split payments. The, probably the best pearls I've ever come into contact with here in my 12 years. That's the reality. I'm letting you know, you guys aren't the only ones that fall in love with them is my point. No. There's a lot of other people like you. 
within their baskets that want to own these pearls, that want to wear these pearls, that maybe want to work with these pearls. And there is far more of you than I have available. And, I, and I, look, if, if we could have got 500 of these, we would. If we could have got 200 of these, we would. But I'm thrilled that we just have more than one. Like, look at every single, there's goldens there. Like bright yeah, bronze. bronzes. Yeah, beautiful. There's, there's incredible, beautiful, deep purples, aubergines. That wonderful green, almost Tahitian color there. Yeah, yeah. And then there's this supreme, unique color just there. And then it comes through into these chocolate golden pearls. It's it's crazy. And it's all it's absolutely up. crazy. And I'm glad that Dan has managed to ca managed to capture them just as they are right now because this is a, a much truer reflection of what these actually look like. And it's always difficult for them to come across like that on the screen. They are metallic. They are huge. They are clean. They have the rainbow orient. I'm at one thousand pounds, which I know there's nowhere else in the world that you get material like this. Um, I hope you are one of the few that gets them. Good luck. Ross, we're going to take these down to 799. Goodness me. We are. We're going to take these down to 799 for everything. Yes, for the box. Yes, for the, the 10 to 12 mil multicolored wow. metallic strand. And yes, for the 14 mil matched pair of royal two. purple pearls. Everything here is naturally colored. So there's you're getting a total, including the two. Yeah. Enormous, yeah, 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 yeah. enormous mm -hmm. earrings. You're getting 39. Yeah. Whereas Yoko, you can mm -hmm. get a nine mil, yes. which there's no nine mils mm -hmm. in this strand. Yours yeah. are all double digits mm -hmm. for 500 pounds, yeah. and it's out of stock at the moment. Okay, so I Goodness can see me. on the right hand side of my screen more people joining the queue, more yeah. people attempting to get hold of these. I'll let you know we're hundreds of pounds away from being 159. What? We're hundreds sorry, of pounds. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. We are hundreds of pounds away from being done. This is a, a ridiculous deal that we have lined up for you. It's certainly the best deal I've ever done on any pearls personally, but it might well be the best deal I've ever done. Just because of the way that these were bought. You're, you are about to experience these pearls. Mm -hmm. you, you, you are going to open these up and you get to choose the clasp that you want to put on these. You get to decide how you want to put these together. For those of you that are multi-buying, you get to create your own version. Mm -hmm. You get to change the color, um, the, 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 the way the colors are put together. Absolutely yeah. amazing. So I want to make it really clear. I am saying that I'm hundreds of pounds away from being done. I'm also saying that I, I, half the stock's gone. And I'm also saying that a moment ago when I went into the gallery where Ross sits, who has a really clear picture of, of what these look like, he's the one that told me, Look, there's 200 of these sitting baskets. I know it's gone beyond that now because I can see the. It's okay. I can see the amount of people that it keeps refreshing on the right hand side of my screen. I am struggling to to be any more help or assistance to you because I I want you to know if you are waiting for the final price to confirm, you're playing a really dangerous game. Mm -hmm. I've give you as much kind of heads up or you know inside trading, whatever you want to call it, as I can. I am going to do it a massive price crash. My job right now is to make sure you get them. I know the deal is going to be amazing. You know, because if it isn't, you can cancel it. But I'm really concerned about those of you that are going to miss out. That's what I'm concerned about. So I'm, le I'm, I'm letting you know in a minute. Well, look, I'm just letting you know it's going to be incredible. It already is incredible. But yeah, <coughs> unbelievable. Good luck to each and every single one of you. A hundred of these. That in itself, I mean, most most luxury jewellers would be lucky enough to say they've got, I don't know, two. Like that lady said in uh, um, in Hong Kong at the beginning of the year. It really does hit home when you have conversations with somebody which is, or rather Dave had a conversation with someone that's completely separate to us saying, no, I get one of these every, what was it, two, <clears throat> three years? Yeah, they said, yeah, yeah, it would take them many, many years. They didn't even give a number. So, look, I'm going to give you a 30-second clock. We know half the stock's gone. Also know there's hundreds of you in with it in your baskets. If 206. You, 206 people now with it in their baskets. I've got about 50 chances remaining. I can't, I don't know if I can ever get pulls like this again. Even at the nine mil, I don't think I can. Even at seven mil. And there's a lot of people multi-bike. They're just perfection. Yeah, they are. They, they, they absolutely are perfection. as good as it gets. Um, Ross, right now we're going to take this straight down from 800 pounds 
to 649. Um, well done to everyone who's trusted us. Well done to everyone with it in their baskets, everyone who's in the queue, everyone that's a part of this. Congratulations to every single one of you. And just so you know, I'm still not done. Oh my goodness, so what's going this, on? The, look, I'm, I, I want to make sure that the people who desperately want this know how low we intend to go. We're about to do something absolutely phenomenal. This is the last stop before we arrive at the final, final. Okay. Field. Oh my God. So we're at 649. <clears throat> we look at one nine mil purple pearl there. One nine mil purple yeah. pearl at Yoke of London. That's 500 pounds. And it's out of stock. And it's out of stock. We've got one. a myriad of metallic, multicolored, exceptional 10 to 12 mil pearls on the strand. We have uh, your 13 to 14 mil half drilled pearls as the pair of earrings or two pendants, however you want to look at this. I want to go f full stream with Dan's wonderful recording. I want to show you what you're about to receive. Look at what that. you're about to get is on your screen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ross is, is saying, look, he's on board. We did. Like, if we had 10 of these, it would be sensational. If we had five of these, it'd be incredible. But we openly stated at the start, we got 100 of these. And we've That's always amazing. said, the bigger the quantity, the greater the deal. We've always stood by that. And we're not going to remove that kind of, uh, that motto right now. Yeah. That mantra that we live by, just because we've got poles that we'll never be able to replace. We probably should. And that should. we've never seen. Oh, we should, yeah. And I think, like I said, at a thousand pounds, I think that's the greatest deal I've done. Yeah. But I we're at 649. I'm not, I don't want to force anyone into any sort of decision. What I intend to do right now is to give you a minute. I want to give you 60 seconds to decide if you can live without this, if you, if you don't need this. But for those of you that are looking at this going, I need these pearls. I need these pearls. Then we're about to take this to the most ridiculous deal. I think it's going to shock every single one of you. I don't think we'll ever top this. I don't think we can ever top this. No. But we can all be a, a part of this auction. Um, Ross is reliably informing me that the last time we had anything remotely similar to this strand was two years ago and we had a quantity of 12. Okay, yeah. Okay, we had a quantity of 12 and that sold higher than the price on your screen right now. Of course. There was only 12 of them. They sold for, I think they sold for 799 if I'm correct. They certainly sold for higher than 649. Which is an amazing price. There was only price. 12 and it was a strand. It didn't come with the accompanying earrings. Okay, that's the reality. This is about to get crazy. Five interest-free split payments. Well done to everyone who's already successful and a part of this wonderful historic auction right now. Your deal, Ross. Let's do it for four nine nine. Let's wow. match the price of a nine mil purple pearl pendant that is out of stock. Singly. For everything you're seeing. The two huge 14 mil match pair royal purples. The myriad of metallic multicolored. Uh, pearls that are accompanying this strand. You're at 499. That should take it to below 100 pounds on your interest free split pens. This is the deal. And the craziest color? deal. Yeah, of course. Deep. Such vibrant, incredible metallic colors here. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh my. Dave, you know when you kind of go venture into. I saw these the, the moment I saw them, I was like, wow, yeah. that, they are incredible. Yeah, that, oh, for sure. That's the only word I can use. They're yeah. absolutely incredible. But you, they're so beautiful, you can't even comprehend yeah. what the price is going to be. And yeah. I think that's why you had over 200 people waiting, because yes. it's like, I can't comprehend just Don't how, wait anymore. Yeah. Make sure you're confirming. Change Make sure you're it. checking it out. Do not leave this in your basket because someone free. will take it out. A basket is not you even reserving it. It's not you making a reservation. It's just you literally saying, I'm interested in this. You need to be checking these out. You can do it on the web. You can do it on the app. You can do it on the free phone number. You've got your five interest free split payments. You are a part of this incredible moment. Um, look, it's a massive team effort, uh, Rachel, but I'm just thrilled yeah, that you could join amazing. us for it. And, and the same goes to everyone. I'm extending your know, heartfelt uh, thank you for joining us to everyone. Gigi in California says, hi, my Jade dealer here in San Francisco usually turns in for these shows, but I convinced her to shop for these pills. She got them and he's very thrilled. They're so she amazing. usually turns off uh, when, when the pills are on. Maybe she, you know, as we said, she's a Jade dealer, but she tuned in and it's wonderful to have your company. So lovely to meet you. And you have just acquired They're this set. And Gigi, lovely to see beautiful. you too. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely insanely beautiful. I, I'd go as far as saying, and, um, they're the best pearls I've seen. Yeah, and that, that says best a lot. Best pearls I've yeah, seen. Because you're here far more than I am. 
with wonderful pearl opportunities for our collectors. We're at 499 right now. Alison, Angela, Joanne, Joan, Anna, Heather, Julie, Elizabeth, Jenny, Jacqueline, Kathy, Helen, Karen, Barbara, Leslie, you're there. Multi buyers in Hampshire, multi buyers in Belfast, multi buyers, Lorna, you're there. We've got collectors, as we know, in San Francisco and California. We've got people in the trade. Everything you're getting, course, the whole look, yeah. the whole collection, the whole set, the full strand, the match pair of earrings, the, the wonderful box, all of it is coming to you for under £100 on those interest-free split payments or obviously your total deal of 499 This is outrageous. <laughs> Don't forget those earrings. That that, that photograph that yeah. we saw in, uh, in, in Stratford. Stratford yeah. uh, Ross, you took literally, what was it, a month or so ago? When, yeah, well, he, he went to Stratford-upon-Avon. Beautiful, yeah. by the oh, way, yeah, if you're in the sure. location. Lovely jewellers in Stratford-upon-Avon. Uh, and remember, if ever we've shown this photograph, Ross gets really cross about the fact that it's a dirty stand. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, they need to go and do it, clean the stand up. But look, those pearl earrings are minuscule in comparison. And they're 535 for two. Whereas you're looking at significantly larger significantly better because these are metallic and you get the full suite Absolutely. Jan I mean like I said you are our pearly queen have you ever seen anything like this before they are absolutely gorgeous and I think for me looking at them I mean my heart looks at them and you know screams with joy but looking at them with a business brain yeah I look at them and think one of the 14 mil yeah in a pendant yeah like the Yoko one there um and that's it I've got my money back yes and the rest of it then is is pure profit absolutely isn't it you know, that's a really good from point. looking at it from a business from point, a business of, view, point from of view selling on well dave you might not know this about jan jan yep. sells very successfully amazing pearl jewelry her right, amazing I mean, I pearl jewelry the, the, the pearls that yeah so working. and what jan just said was one of the 14 mils yeah as a on, pendant as a pendant obviously that price or more than that price you've got your money back and the rest of it for you as a business then yeah. is pure profit yeah that, i mean that, that's the reality you know and and jan knows that because you work in in the industry as a designer mm -hmm. um and and sells to to the the market and and look we're seeing it time and time yeah. again we saw a pendant that was nine mil mm -hmm. this epic color naturally colored for for the price on your screen we're seeing yeah. earrings that are, are much smaller like what were they eight mil nine mil no they were more seven or eight mil um, in the window that yeah. in the market town strapped up on Avon and you see them for around this price um, Chantal says the pearls are gorgeous I can't afford them but this thing well Chantal do you know what Ross I'm sorry mate um, I am going to make sure you can afford them I'm yeah. actually going to take these lower because that breaks my heart if, if we're not going to be able to have the chance to bring these back or do anything again oh, yes I goodness. know yeah I know I know a, a lot of you have already confirmed so it's just going to get better for you guys I know the confirmation is still going through Chantal do me a favour and make sure you're checking these out you're going to pay the final deal and um, I'm doing this for you and for everyone else as well but I'm going to give you 60 seconds I'm going to give you a minute this is sacrilege do not forget that just a few weeks ago I bought you just the white freshwater version of this yeah and we were at this price yeah which is incredible we know these should be higher it's crazy that we're matching that price but because collectors have fallen in love with these saying they're gorgeous but you can't afford them i'm going to do everything in my power oh, bless you Dave. right now but look as we said it's a team effort you know l's not pulling her hair out we want to do this we want to do this all of us like we realize it's wrong we understand we're gonna have some difficult conversations with our sales managers and whatever but yeah. this is this is why we have such a, a big viewership this is why so many people tune in this is because mm. what we're doing already when it was sub a thousand pounds was crazy but to take it below 500 well that is genuinely as good as it gets yeah um, again i want to remind you this is in more baskets than we have available so it is down to you to be checking out it is on you to be capitalizing on this deal all we can do is make it happen for you the full multicolored metallic strand the 14 mil matched pair oh. Well, I put myself in a corner here because I can't just take a little bit off when I make a big song and dance about it and we do the minute clock and the build-up. Take 100 quid off. Oh, my goodness. I'll speak to Wayne. Take 100 pounds off. I'll have the conversation. Um, I couldn't. I can't just take 20 quid <laughs> Ross off. has just said, you, you, you can deal with Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Could, could we have taken it to 479? Yeah. Could, could we have taken oh, it to 450? Goodness. Yeah. Let's do it for, let's take £100 off of it. But you know what though? Five uh, interest-free split payments. And you know what? That's the thing. I'm look, we're looking at the call screens right now and that's the thing. Immediately there's a response of course, to that price drop. But we know all, it's just the case of clicking check out because it's in all your baskets. 
you're already there. Now, not only is it under 100 pounds on your split payments, it's under 80 pounds on your interest-free split payments. There is tons of you on the phone lines. So many of you multi-buying. I think we've got collectors who've never been traders that now are traders, that are there saying, do you know what? I take a punt on this. Dorothy's got three, Maker and Cumbria has got two, Lanarkshire has got two. We've got collectors all over the world. We know we've got dealers, that are tuned in from San Francisco and checking out. We know we've got clients in California, all through the Scottish borders, everywhere else. It goes off our screen, it keeps going down. We're scrolling down all those names. All of you have got to get involved. It keeps going down multi buy. Someone's got three, yeah. someone's got two. We only had a hundred, and there's lots of you multi. Chantel's got it. Chantel, yes, Chantel. We, we, we wanted yes. to do that for you. You messaged in, and yes. uh, we've just got that into your collection. Davinia says, Thank you, Dave. I struggled whether to buy. But this price drop I couldn't resist. Well, we're doing it for you, Davinia, Hello, for you, Davinia. Chantal, for, for every for everyone else in the same situation. And do you know what? It's just 39. got a hell of a lot better for anyone who was already involved. For instance, Dorothy, you had three. <gasps> but you got £300 back in your account. Maker in Lanarkshire, £200 back in yours. Hazel, £200 back in your account. Maker in North Yorkshire, £200. Maker in Cheshire, £200 back in your account. Dave. And it also means that our collectors like Chantal and Davinia can, can, can do get it. it. Yeah. So Ross has just said something in my ear and I don't know if I should say it out loud but I'm gonna go on <laughs> that's working out oh okay I hate these ones that we do go on yeah at about £10 a pearl yeah absolute joke £10 a pearl £10 a pearl £10 a pearl that's ridiculous for the for the one pearls that we can't get and it's not even about price like the price is the price but I'm saying you know it, it is a hard reset of 2020 for, for trying to crossbreed these bivalve mollusks for trying to create these pearls and you know they don't get it right after the first harvest it takes a lot of refinement a, a lot of you know, uh, um, you know changing yeah. certain factors to make sure they're producing the perfect round pearls with the perfect skin with the the sensational colors this is an, an outrageous opportunity it's an unmissable opportunity it's an unparalleled opportunity and I'll be honest, it's an unrepeatable opportunity. That's mm. the truth, and you know it. We're 25 left. Thank yeah. God we've got 25 left. Well, that lady over in Hong Kong at the beginning of this year, Dave, said yeah. to you, she says, I've got one. Yeah. I've and, got one strand. Yeah, and this is, that's, that's one of the biggest freshwater pearl wholesalers in the world. Yeah. Right? And, she's, and I picked up other strands and said, what about this? And she said, yeah, you've got the colors, but it's not metallic. Like, it is so difficult to get the, the, the metallic mm. nacre, to get that wonderful orient, to get the way the light just bounces off these and it glows, it exudes the life of the pearl. And we've got a hundred. Yeah, I mean, and just to show you that consistency, you've got literally like 24 karat yeah, gold. Yeah, absolutely. Look at those. And that's in this washed and that's, out studio yeah, horrible studio lighting. It really does not, if I shelter it maybe. But, yeah, yeah, that's helping. Um, literally unbelievable 17 chances i know sometimes in these in these moments these rare moments it feels overwhelming you think oh no I'm, i've heard of all these people buying threes and there's a big queue i'm never gonna be able to get you can like yeah, you everyone's can thinking that. the same thing if you call it right now and check out it's yours if you get on the app right now it's yours if you get on the the, the website right now it's yours like it doesn't matter how many baskets it's in it could be in a thousand baskets a million baskets a hundred baskets I've only got 15. It's not the first to put it in their basket. It is the first to check out. If you're sat at home and you haven't even dialed yet, I'll guarantee you one. If you call up and dial faster than oh. anyone else and check it out, it is yours. It's done. Oh, you get this that. into collection. Look at that. Oh, my word. Yeah. And that's in the studio. And that's, yeah. Yeah. That's in the studio lighting. Julie, you've got it. Marishka, you've got it. Maker in Hertfordshire. Margaret in West Yorkshire. Christine in Stirlingshire. Christine, um, I'm going to have to do a one-minute clock to close this one out. I don't want to, but I don't want to oversell it. Right? We already know it's in over 100 baskets. Are we allowed baskets. to buy these? A stuff. After that clock, you can. Help. Okay. Um, chances are there won't be any available, but I hope there is for you. I really do. Yeah, they're amazing. Remember, tomorrow at the same time at 10 a.m. Oh. It's a weekend of opulence. Um, I know you've got Jan's wonderful masterclass coming up and it just keeps building and building and building. We're going to bring you a crescendo tomorrow. Uh, I know Elle's been showcasing it. We're yeah. talking you know, open link carving of sensational, incredible jade. Each link takes a day to do. Just crazy. And there's only three people in the world that can even do three it. Three people? Three people in the whole world that can do that. That's why you don't see it everywhere. That's why you know, we've never bought it. We, we, we're one of the biggest jade dealers in the world and we don't have never brought anything like that in our lives. Now, newsflash, we don't have 100 of those. We have less than 20. Yeah, of course. And, and it's 100% natural, of course. Um, but even in my collection, I don't have anything like that. No. It's world class. It is a masterpiece. And I know we throw that word around a lot. 
Um, and, and we should because we work with wonderful opportunities, but I'm letting you know, in the truest sense of the word, that is a masterpiece. It is the most sensational, incredible Heishan Jade Showcase tomorrow. And um, I'm going to urge you to save the day. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., myself and Al and the team are going to be, be here to bring you, the, and I'll say it, the finest jade opportunity we have ever done yeah. in four years, without a shadow of a doubt. There isn't anything that even comes close. It doesn't hold a flame to it. Never have I promised you this. Never did I think I'd be able to do it. And it's taken us four years and we've got 19 opportunities. Good luck to anyone who wants to get involved. Less than 20 of you can. And there will be multi-buyers. So it's going to be a very special moment indeed. 10 o'clock tomorrow, but yeah. also tomorrow. Yeah, you've here got the is. incredible, wonderful openness of that Haitian jade. Oh, that incredible bright green. We've never brought you that colour before. Massive quantity on the strand to make up for the minuscule quantity of the bracelet. Join me, it's going to be the, the most incredible sensational showcase. Very excited, I don't know how I sleep tonight. And, and, and you know, well done to everyone who's been successful. Keep trying, there may be five or six opportunities left on that set, but you're not going to want to go anywhere because Jan, I met you for the first time today, Jan. Yep. And um, you know, uh, as I came in, I was you know, w really worried about, you know, I, I really wanted to do these polls justice or stressing. And then um, I looked up to my right and I saw the jewelry. <laughs> and one of the times I've thrown uh, to the clip of film for you guys to watch, I had to go over there and I was asking Jan all about it because you're looking at those natural colors, but I love the spaces, the shambalas in between. That is high jewelry. And not only are you gonna have the chance to acquire it, Jan's gonna teach you how to make how it. How to make yeah, it, yeah. Which is, absolutely beautiful and incredible so you're not going to want to go anywhere it completely epitomizes the opulence event and so, uh, i know i'll be tuned in as well but thank you for having me and i'll see you all very very soon always an absolute pleasure i mean just take a moment and congratulate yourselves for that beautiful beautiful set inspired by margo mckenney yes we've got um the wonderful masterclass piece but right now well just after a short break another very high-end piece of jewelry inspired by uh, your high-end maisons is that beautiful bee uh, design also you might have clocked and this is mine just so you know lauren don't try and take this off me it is actually mine also we have the very last of stock opportunities on your guatemalan jadeite bracelets we totally sold out our allocation on this. We had 50 that were allocated to our sister channel. But because they sold out so quickly, somehow it has been agreed that we can have the other quantity. I know. So we're going to repeat this. And those of you that don't know, this is actually mine. I bought two, picked it up the other day. One's for my niece who I'm seeing tomorrow. And one stain on my wrist. Literally put it on yesterday, haven't taken it off. Beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? So this is coming up. Your your bee design um, is coming up. They describe it as a bug. It's a bee, it's a bee. It's a beautiful bee as well. And then you also got my, um, building towards Jan's amazing, amazing piece of jewelry in the masterclass. What I told you, when, I, when Tiggy said to me, mommy, stay, I was like, I love you, but no. <laughs> it's a too beautiful show for me to miss out well done once again to each and every single one of you those pearls are absolutely insane we've got more a more intense orchid color coming your way as well with the inspiration um, of your masterclass. join us after this purchase one of our projects and want to download the instructions then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com go to your order history find your order and click on download content from there you can save to your computer or print off a copy please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched jewelry maker create wear share
Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. Honestly, what a weekend. What a day. Oh, and we've still got an hour and a half left. And, and the hour and a half is just utterly sublime. Again, I want to just sort of whet your appetite and show you Jan's absolutely incredible, incredible suite of jewellery. Opulence inspired. That is coming your way now that's the strand that's the strand but you have it again yours comes presented as well doesn't it in the same way that you just saw in the dealer day absolutely in that beautiful box absolutely unbelievable take a moment Look at those. And you'll be able to get hold of these jewelry makers with the instructions to make the finished necklace as well. And I didn't know actually, I saw a photograph on the jewelry editor, but I didn't know it was actually inspired by 
Margot McKinney. So, yeah. Jan, um, I'll let you sort of talk us through that opportunity okay. um, in the next hour. But first, speaking about... Um, oh, oh, hang on a second, just interrupting myself. You know this bracelet, the 50 quantity that we've taken from our sister channel, we sold ours out. But the 50 that was allocated to our sister channel... Six days ago, we sold our allocation out, completely sold out. And Gems were meant to have 50 as well, but because of Opulence Weekend and how popular it was, they were like, you know what? And to be honest, this is much more us, isn't it? Much more our style, I would say. I'm not saying they, they, you know, they do very much sell on our sister channel. That's available on pre-order. You're actually looking at mine. Yeah, I have, since I, since, yeah, do you know what? Since I bought this, Ross, I picked it up yesterday, didn't I? I put it on my wrist in the morning. I haven't taken it off. I don't blame you. Have not taken it off. Um, and I bought one for my niece, who I'm seeing tomorrow. So she will get hers tomorrow. Because um, we did this design, Jan, in, in um, Burmese Jade. Sold out as well. It was a higher price tag. Right. Um, and then we've introduced it with the Guatemalan, which um, Guatemalan Jade, I, the mine is closed. Now, when we launched it, we had 200. I've got 50 today. So if you weren't able to... And, and I remember Wayne saying, it was Monday, wasn't it? It was Monday, first of the month. Because I remember Ross, uh, um, Wayne actually saying, oh, you know what, we should have saved that our allocation for the weekend. I remember it. Maybe that was on his mind. That's why we've got 50 today. Um, anyway, so you can shop ahead and pre-order on this. Just to show you as well... It's on a lovely slider bracelet. You've got two further all necks just there. Again, I'm just, I'm hoping mine's not dirty. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, <laughs> literally, I've only had it on a couple of days. Um, so that's coming your way, jewelry makers. You can shop ahead and pre-order. Now, it is time for another source of opulence. Agreed, and John and I were just admiring this as well. Um, Ross has just said he thinks this is his favourite piece of amber. To get, like, uh, uh, you know, it's inspired, inspired by flora and fauna, which I'm going to talk about in a second, but to actually have something that is lifelike, I suppose. You know, to have that three-dimensional form, not just a flat cutout, to literally have that three-dimensional form. Here it is. This is the piece that is coming your way, jewellery makers literally in a few moments time. look at how gorgeous that is it's the dual precious metal colors as well there are and it's a big piece if i put my hand next to it it's not a small pendant how gorgeous is that now jewelry makers again with opulence weekend we're taking inspiration from the world's finest jewelers and if i go back to uh, if i go to the jewelry editor which by the way the jewelry editor you don't have to subscribe to um it's a font of knowledge if you want to read up on different designers, I shall be, for example, with Margot McKenney. Um, or in particular designs like this, then um, it has lots of information on there. So the jewellery editor wrote, The Animal Kingdom has been a rich source of inspiration for jewellery designers throughout history. To the extent that some creatures have transcended their status as mere motifs to become icons that are intricately uh, in, yeah, uh, linked with the jewellery house. Um, the bee has become um, an integral part of, is that Chomet? I think it's Chomet. Chomet jewellery since the 18th century. Um, and it is as prominent in its designs today as it was more than two centuries ago. Two centuries, not decades, centuries. Uh, the Parisian jewellery house, uh, house's founder, uh, Marie Etienne, uh, was the official jeweller for Napoleon, um, whose emblem was the bee. This autumn, they're talking about a new collection that they're launching, and you'll notice if you skip to the bottom, lots of honey and springtime colours um, with open work wings, diamond encrusted, white gold. The buzzing bees are set with an array of coloured gemstones from mandarin garnet to tourmaline, sapphires, peridots, um, and they do it in a necklace, ring, bracelet, and also earrings. That piece of jewellery, can't really see it in that picture, can you? Even though this is actually off their website. Um, inspiration, um, Trover, inspiration that bridges past, present and future. 
Again, remember 200 centuries, they go on to say the bees of the new high jewelry collection, delicate, feminine, um, and naturalist sparkle in a vibrant palette of yellow, oranges, and greens, which I'm definitely seeing before me. The colors of honey and springtime gardens. Loving that. Um, and here it is. Now, again, they're absolute works of art, aren't they? Again, you can see um, their jewelry, they are literally works of art, their pieces of jewelry. Um, all amazing hand finish. I mean, you could never describe these as, I don't know how to say this. I'll try my best, and I'm trying to be respectful as well, but for me, Chame is a step above Van Cleef. Do you see what I mean? These are literally kind of like bespoke works of art. Absolutely. Uh, do, you see, do you agree, Jan? Yeah. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So, I want to show you their website. Look at this jewellery on their website. Wow, look at them. Wow. I could watch that. I could just sit, I could literally just watch that. That's the craftsmanship of the jewellery that you see with Chame. Absolutely exquisite. We've taken inspiration from said jeweller. Again, you can see even down to the honeycomb. See the two dancing bees at the bottom there as well. And it's not like there, that's beautiful, that shot there. You can see them individually as well. Um, the double layered wings down to the actual sort of, I don't know if this is the right term, but there's sort of delicacy and the intricacy of the, uh, of the skeleton of the wing and the colors, the choice of the gemstones. Um, this is another article that featured Sean May and they actually say, uh, animal kingdom, the best loved creatures in jewelry from bees to big cats, wild and wonderful creatures have long been a staple for the jewelry world. Um, and that's the thing, it is year after year after year, decade after decade, century after century, flora and fauna, and I'm gonna say bees in particular, have been a constant, haven't they, in jewelry designs. They are fascinatingly beautiful creatures. They're beautiful, and it's it's a motif as well that's yeah. used in lots and lots of different things, isn't it? Yeah. So it makes sense that in a piece of jewellery, it's going to be really popular and sought after. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, I agree with what Ross has said a few moments ago. This, I think, is the nicest piece of amber jewellery we've put together. You know, when you look at this, ours isn't with mandarin garnet or peridot, ours is with beautiful amber and three different varieties of amber yeah. as well from your cherry to your lemon or honey to your classic cognac colour. But look how we have achieved like, like the, the angle of the head, you know, that little head tilt as well the wingspan i love the the fact that we've chosen to use both the gold and the silver colors that detailing is absolutely amazing and again this is not small it's not a small piece of jewelry comes with a really simple bale all we've done here in the studio is literally put it put it on a chain i love it i think it's absolutely gorgeous it's elegant it isn't is it beautiful and because you've got the gold and the silver you could wear it on either chain yeah either you? yeah absolutely um, how many do we have of these available? There are 200 available. And I don't think you're going to be fully prepared for what we're taking this to. Remember, this is Jewelry Maker. We're a bit crazy with our prices, as you've seen so far today. This is one of the most... I'm going to say it, Ross. This is one of the most affordable pieces of amber I've seen as well. Isn't it? One of the most affordable amber pieces for that level of artistry, inspired by Maisons like Chaume, where, oh, I mean, heaven knows what price those pieces of jewellery are. I know they're different components. I know that, that yeah, um, you know, it's set in gold. But just to really appreciate the artistry, I can't afford Chaume prices, can you? But I, I know I will be able to afford jewelry maker prices. From the Maison Chaume. Well, 
What are you doing? Oh, Ross, um, he's, he's teasing us now. He said, I, listen, he goes, look, I'm going to do this in one auction. I just want to make sure everybody is prepared and ready. I did re reference hexagons. My daughter's wearing these as, we, as they speak. Oh, really? Chloe's wearing them. Yeah, I bought these with, for, for myself. And um, these are, I got them in gold. Um, the gold sold out. I'm a gold wearer. It depends if you're a gold or a silver wearer. But literally, my daughter was like, "Oh, I like oh. those, mummy. They're like honeybees, like honeybee, uh, like honeycomb." And after that, never saw them again. They're in her, <laughs> her ears. Okay, we're just gonna get everything warmed up, if you like, for this beautiful necklace that would go beautifully to, as a collection, as a suite, actually, wouldn't it? Should we put them together alongside one another? What do we think to that? It just makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness. Jan, aren't they beautiful? Sterling silver stud, amber earrings. You know, we mentioned um, this morning, we were talking about the fact that amethyst is one of those gems that everybody just knows. Amber is the same. Amber is the same. Yeah. Everybody just knows it. 49 pounds and 99 pence. You go to any amber boutique jeweler and they do tend to be boutiques, don't they? Yeah. Are they gonna be 50 pounds for no. a pair of stud earrings? A gemstone now, these days especially. There was one one shop in, in Krakow where I grew up and that had an amber jewelry, but they were all expensive when I remember when I was a child. Um, I don't know if they've still got them now. If they do, I doubt it's anywhere near $49.99. For amber, uh, it's one of those gemstones that people will specialise in. Like they, yeah. You'll have a shop that just sells amber. Yeah. Or you'll have a shop that sells pearls. Or yeah. But it, amber is one of those gemstones. And it's one of those gemstones, if you love it, you'd probably buy lots yeah. of it as well. Absolutely, you'll have a suite yeah. of, uh, of amber. Now, again, let me just... One second, I'm going to turn this side... What are these side profile? My daughter is wearing these as we speak. Um, by the way, we don't stop there. It's no way near the price in actual fact. How many do we have, Roscoe? 30. So you'll need to be speedy on this to make sure that you don't miss out. Gigi, they're absolutely beautiful. You'll love these. Opening up the auction. Oh. Yep. Well, you expecting good. that? No. <laughs> yeah. £12.99. What no. amber strands, Jan, do you remember, or amber elements, whatever, were ever twelve ninety nine way back when? I can't think of any. I can't either. Twelve ninety nine for these beautiful kind of honeycomb inspired Baltic amber earrings, not resin. Again, it's one of those gemstones you do need to be careful where you source it from because you can literally mix some 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 resin together to look like amber um this is genuine baltic amber we're at 12 pounds and 99 pence only ruth helen gloria pauline gloria oxfordshire Gigi, david heather maybe you missed the original launch they absolutely flew by the way stunning absolutely stunning and they would go absolutely exquis exquisitely sorry get my words out um with your brand new pendant that's coming your way but we only had 30 30, okay. So half the stock's gone already. 19, there you go. So I've got 11 of them left. Jenny, well done. Gigi says, I'll have two. Jenny in Gloucester, I'll have two. Pauline, I'll have two. I wish I'd done that, you know. Why didn't I buy two? <laughs> because I should know now. I've got, I've got two girls. One of them's too young to really appreciate jewellery as of yet. But Willow is all about the jewellery. Yeah. So you need to get two of everything. I At least get... two of everything. Yeah. And she's got more ear piercings than me. Mm. So, unbelievable. Loving that. Twelve ninety nine. Yes, yeah, she's got two. Two ear piercings. Mary and Jenny. Andrea. Zoe says, I'll have two. What a nice little gift. Yeah. Beautiful. We had those velvet bu uh, bus uh, sorry, boxes the other day, didn't we? Some nice velvet boxes. You could just literally pop those in there. What a beautiful gift for someone. Amazing. On the verge of selling out, though. From 30, I've got five. I'll leave those with you. Well done, everybody. Now, coming up, we're all, we're all saying pitching this, if you like, as probably the finest piece of amber jewellery that we've actually designed. I love it. It's the fact that it's got layers, I think. It is, and it sort of stands out, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. And you've got the three 
different colours of the amber as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Like three dimensional. If yeah. I turn it side profile, can you see? He's, I don't know why he's a he. In my eyes, he's a he. <laughs> but it's the fact that he's not just flat. You can actually see yeah. his movement there as well. Oh, <laughs> okay. You know, I was like, I doubt I can afford Chamay's jewellery. Or Chamay, however they pronounce it. Those um, earrings. 89,100 pounds. <laughs> wow. Mm. Hello, RuPaul. Uh, I can't see that from there. Uh, um, Jeremy goes, could also make the bees into earrings. Absolutely, oh. you can. Easily. And you could save yourself tens of thousands of pounds. <laughs> I know they're different gemstones. I know that. It's 24 karat or 18 karat gold, rather. However, seriously, that's a lot, isn't it? That is a lot. 90 grand. I'd, be, like, I'd be afraid to wear it. And me. 90 grand. Before we do, that's coming your way. We just want to make sure everybody is fully prepared and ready for that. I've got two beautiful connectors. Um, we have them. Um, they're the same design. But... One's in yellow gold, gold plated sterling silver, and then one's in silver. Oh, look at those. You got your little little honeybees. That's sweet, aren't they? Sweet. Very nice. And Jan, obviously, three connection points. So you could easily put what? Chain. Yeah. Chain. Because I don't know if. Oh, no. Two. Is it three? No. Two. Two connection points. That's yes, right. So chain and that in the, in the centre beautiful because that little honeybee i thought that was a connector but it's not so literally one two or you could yeah lovely but that's simple techniques yeah to get a high-end piece of jewelry yeah do you Isn't work it? with amber much yeah yeah is it is, it is it a favorite of... absolutely yeah yeah so yeah. you know i mean if i put amber um i recently just put a piece in and it's one of those sort of things that it's almost guaranteed that it's gonna It'll sell, sell fairly quickly yeah you know but then do you remember when john you remember when we used to do like amber weekends and things like that we yeah. can't do it now no. marius hasn't been on our screens in a very very long time yeah. um and that's again supply yeah you know and we've got a great relationship a lot of the pieces like this and certainly the one you're about to see premiere are exclusive to us here at jewelry maker you're not going to find them anywhere else in the world so we'd have probably gone to Marius, said, look, we want to take inspiration from Chamay, um, but do it with the three colours of amber. Is that possible? And he would have, they, well, not he personally necessarily, but they would have designed that piece around it, exclusive for our viewers. We're at £19.99 pence in a connector. So again, you've got the one connection point here, one connection point here that I'm holding on with the tweezers. If I move the tweezers, you can see it a bit better, can't you? Um, 19 99 Again, they could be earrings as well, couldn't Lovely they? Lovely earrings. Mm -hmm. Oh, what about Beautiful. actually having the two mm. different colours as earrings? Oh, mix that up. And then with the pendant, because the pendant's got the silver and the gold on it. Oh yeah, that that'd be nice. Mm. Like Chamay, they've mixed up the colours. Yep. That's a pair of earrings with the green and the orange. Straight away, we've got collect uh, collectors getting involved. Multi buying. How many got Ross? 20 available I'm gonna make you wait, wait one more auction until we launch the bee silver version of this up next good luck this is one more auction before we bring the bee oh it's gorgeous then there's a huge investment of sterling silver i've got 30 of these if i just kind of roll it over you can see look all that solid precious metal Gorgeous. We kind of overlook that when we're talking about amber, don't we? Yeah. And I think sometimes it's good to see the back of pieces just to appreciate the quality of it yeah. and the, the workmanship that goes into these pieces. Yeah. That's a you really know? good point, actually, because it's, it's the pieces that you're reminding me to do it more often, Jan, because yeah. it's pieces. That's what I would look at yeah. if I was in a jeweler. You wouldn't yeah. just look at how it looks face face value. You want to see every, every part of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I've got 30 available opportunities. Are you ready? One price crash, going straight down to it. Good luck. Jenny's already multi-bought. Ruth and West Midlands, Elizabeth. 
For what? Fourteen ninety nine. Wow. For the silver gram weight alone, then you've got those two beautifully hexagonal cabochons, which it must be really difficult to actually carve into a hexagon. Because it's one of those shapes you like, you have to get exactly millimeter yeah, perfect. Don't it's got to be perfect to fit into that setting, hasn't mm -hmm. it? Sometimes the simpler shapes are the hardest ones to actually achieve. Yeah. Because there's no room for error of them. No, that's right. Um, wow. This is your finale before we bring you that beautiful Chamay. Chamay, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, beautiful high-end jeweler inspired bee necklace. There are 200 of these. We've all said, and I've seen, I, I think we'd all agree that we've seen a lot of amber jewellery in our time. Not just here, across our sister channel as well. Some stunning pieces, but this is definitely, definitely winning some awards on the most beautiful. There are 200. You will not believe the amazing price tag that's coming your way. Um, this is all just before um, Jan's amazing, amazing masterclass. And don't forget your old neck bracelet that's coming up. So we're squeezing as much in as we possibly can. Good luck. The bee is up next. This is just stunning. And when I was looking through the brochure for Opulence Weekend, which featured all of your big star by opportunities, this is one of those that, you know, when you pause and go, oh, mm. I like that. I think it's one of the first times that we've ever actually created a piece of jewellery that looks three-dimensional. And I guess that must be really difficult to achieve in something, the craftsmanship that goes, and it's effectively layers, yeah. a construction. So if I was to turn it in this direction, can you see how you have the main body and the bumblebee is actually, or not, I don't know what type of bee, but the bee is actually kind of turning towards you. If I show you the fact that the, the wings literally layer on top of one another, you've got, is it, they're referred to as the skeletons, aren't they, inside the actual wing. Perfectly detailed. But wait, it's not just the multicolours on your Baltic Amber. It's not just the multicolours on the precious metal. Look at the craftsmanship on the reverse. Look at that craftsmanship. Beautiful. It is beautiful. We have 200 available opportunities. This auction, the graphics are about to appear, is now open. Cherry amber, honey amber, cognac amber, all in this one piece. We could have put mandarin garnet with it easily. We could have put various different varieties of your tourmalines if you wanted to. But we want to do our own version, not copy. We don't want to copy, Chamay. We want to do our own version. Take inspiration from designers like this. Um, hello to you, Hertfordshire L. Just came back from um, a visit to Poland. The cost of purchasing amber from the source is incredibly expensive. I'm nodding my head profusely. It's more cost effective from, I, I'm gonna guess you're gonna say jewelry maker. Oh, hang on, from, um, to buy amber from jewelry maker, absolutely. And this is a finished piece of jewelry. But you know what, Hertfordshire, it is astonishingly expensive if you buy it direct from this location. So if you go to Poland, if you go to the Baltic region, very expensive. But the same applies, by the way. You know, we had with Charlie yesterday, we had, uh, um, de, um, I've gone blank now, uh, Larimar. It's more expensive at the source. Yeah. A lot of gemstones yeah. actually are because pe they, they, you know, they think, oh, people are coming here, they're going to want the gemstone. Um, but thank you for your message. I yeah, totally, totally agree with you, 100%. You won't believe the deal that you're about to see then if you're just fresh back from that trip. Beautiful location. But again, let's go right the way back to the beginning of this presentation. So remember what I said at the, uh, um, this morning. You know, one of the things our teams 
um, upstairs do is they will always keep their ear very close to the ground um, so what are the big trends you know what are the big designers doing is there something in particular that's taking the the high-end jewelry world, world by storm the jewelry editor wrote they said the animal kingdom has been a rich source of inspiration for jewelry designers throughout history to the extent that some creatures have transcended their status as mere motifs to become icons that are um, inextricably linked to jewelry houses so think about the panther for cartier think about the bee for gucci the serpent for who uses a serpent i'm trying to think of it now birds tiffany's and co pretty much every jewellery designer will feature flora or fauna however certain designs like this for Charmay become their actual motif are you ready first price crash not our closing price one of the finest pieces of amber jewellery that we've commissioned easily could be a hundred pounds if you go to any boutique jeweler i don't know i'm thinking somewhere like jan like saint ives or absolutely yeah you go down to the seaside mm. where you sometimes find your amber boutique jewelers i don't know why i just that's where i think of seeing yeah. them you know you're talking a hundred pounds for a piece of jewelry like this in fact ross didn't you find an amber bee we found an amber piece of jewelry uh can i be frank not as nice no i agree i'm a bit mm, it's not as nice is it 65 pound but it's not as nice you haven't got the three colors you haven't got the detail you haven't got the multi-laying you haven't got the colors of the precious metal as well you haven't got that three-dimensional aspect of that piece i still you know it's 65 pounds lot and you know five five star reviews but i still would i would pay the extra what is it 35 pounds for our piece because it is that much nicer we're nowhere near closing there jewelry makers and the next price that we close to is also nowhere near the price we had 200 of these there are multi buyers getting involved you know, I, I've always been a big advocate of sort of, I think when you're wearing pieces of jewellery, like, you know, elephants, I think we had polar bears at one point as well, um, you know, with your bees, you're raising awareness of our need to protect them yeah. as well, aren't we? So um, this piece of jewellery is going to look stunning at the same time. You are not paying 99.99 in, what, 25 seconds, you're about to see another price that you're not going to be paying not going to be paying it's not a small pendant 27 millimeters i love it i love the fact that everything's been thought out cherry honey cognac use the dual colors the dual colors of your precious metal as well in the wings oh yeah not We've got 200 of these available. If we had 50, this would be a 49.99 piece of jewelry here at Jewelry Maker and that would be amazing. It is amazing, isn't it? We don't have 50. We don't even have 100. We have 200 available Jewelry Makers, 200. The phone lines have gone crazy. We're not even stopping there. I know, I had that little, oh yeah, you did just say not. <laughs> not stopping there, multi-buyers absolutely beautiful let me hold it up to the decolletage as well so you can get an idea of perspective here jewelry makers again this is not a small pendant you've got some absolutely beautiful it's not small but it's also not too big um the kind of piece oh it's lovely isn't it oh it's so gorgeous look how beautiful that is and like you said earlier on jan because it's the two precious metal colors you can wear yeah. it with either absolutely yeah so if you're a retailer win-win situation it certainly is but it's a really lovely motif 
and the way that it's done as well so it could be a really for a, a young person yeah i mean i would wear that and, and i'm me. not i'm not young <laughs> me either you know so I would wear um, that. any age could wear that 100 percent. yeah nobody is paying 29.99 the phone lines there is a queue on the phone lines i can't believe we're doing this for a beautiful trio of amber 24 pounds and 99 pence that one that we showed earlier on which hand I, I don't know you might disagree with me i don't like that one i don't like it very much i like chamay's don't get me wrong i like the chamay one I don't like the one that's 65 pounds and we're already 40 pounds less 40 pounds less this one it's just even down to the little head tilt just the angle of that head turn i think is just so perfect and i think we've literally absolutely nailed the chame inspired piece you know i know they're completely different gemstones so you you are still getting precious metal here but we've missed out the diamonds instead of putting the mandarin garnets instead we've put some amazing honey um and cognac and cherry amber there's a one minute queue on the phone lines jewelry makers 24 pounds and 99 pence beautiful absolutely beautiful let me show you the reverse as well jewelry makers we had 200 and and again if there was half the stock approaching half the stock has gone look at the amount of sterling silver that goes in there look at the detailing on this piece how it's going to lay the angles that's, like, that's why i keep saying it's like three-dimensional isn't it if we had 50 it would have closed at double that price if we had 100, it probably would have been around, I'm going to say 49.99 would be awesome, wouldn't it? We had 200 available opportunities. Our inspiration taken by one of the most luxury jewellery houses. Take a look on their website. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Their website is beautiful. I don't think I've ever described a website as beautiful. Um, <laughs> taken inspiration from Chamay, we commissioned 200 and for that reason 24 pounds and 99 pence is not your price i can't believe i'm saying this you know we see amber less than we ever have and yet here we are bringing it to you at a lower price than we ever did um 24 pounds and 99 pence good luck everybody in 45 seconds it goes even lower remember if you were the first person or you're the very last person everybody pays that final low price tag i told you today was beautiful and we've still got two very exciting auctions to bring you we've got the high goo bracelet i'm showing you my high goo bracelet i i haven't taken off and since ever since i picked it up yesterday on my staff order the high goo bracelet um and then we've got jan's unbelievable masterclass not stopping at 24 pounds and 99 pence jewelry makers today threes fours look at the multi buyers i'm not surprised yeah we'd be daft not to wouldn't we 20 pounds jan <laughs> I know I say this all the time and I, I apologise for sounding like a broken record, but seriously, where else in the world? Where else in the world would you get a detailed piece of jewellery like that? Exclusive as well. 200 were commissioned, that's it. Exclusive. Where you can get hold of it for £20. That's less than no. a takeaway. Yeah. Easily, yeah. Yeah. You've got a piece of jewellery that will improve with age, because Amber does. And you've got, like I said, that designer inspiration. Even, even if you're like, you know what, Elle, I don't care about Chame. I don't care about, you know, I like the, I like the look of it. I love, the, I love bees themselves. I love flora, flora and fauna inspired piece of jewellery. Um, yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be. I'm just really telling you the story of how this product, this star buyer, um, is launching today. 200 were available, way over half the stock has gone. Because Cheshire's got three, Fife has got five, uh, Suffolk's got two, London's got three, Jacqueline's got two, Linda and Dumfries and Galloway has got three, Hazel's got two, Shirley's got two, Zoe's got two, Nicolette's got two, David and Cardiff's got two. And those are the names I can see. 
Um, well done to you all. Catherine, Deborah, Gigi in California, Mary, Cheshire, Five, Christina, Nancy, Susan, Suffolk, Deborah, Suzanne, Wendy, Alan in Bedfordshire, Brenda, Kim, well done to you. Uh, Stefan, hello to you. Ruth, Margot, uh, Shirley, Mary, Helen, Hazel, Annette. I can't keep up with you. Um, I've just tipped into the fourth row of names. Zoe on the web, literally the last confirmation. I'll have three. Zoe, sorry, you're not the last confirmation. And Jim is, who's just got five. You get the idea. You know that's, you know we're priced too low when those are the Absolutely, quantities that people yeah. buy. Too low or just right? Depends which way you look at it, I guess. Seriously, how amazing is that? It's beautiful. And, and the thing is, you could buy that, you, I mean, for a gift for someone, and they're going to think that you've spent way more than £20. Yeah. Not that. Hundreds of pounds. Um, can I also suggest as well, amber is an amazing gemstone, but like all your gems, do take care of it. Don't spray it with perfume. Only because my, um, um, yeah, it does. It shouldn't have like perfumes and horrible chemicals on it as no, well. It'll go dull, won't it? Yeah, it does go really dull. So um, I treat it in this. I treat my amber in the same way that I treat my pearls. Absolutely, that's the best um, thing to do. So the high goo's coming up in one more auction, but you're going to need a what? Oh, have you seen this? Oh, again, it's it is exclusive to us here at Jewelry Maker. So Van Cleef and Arpels. There are only seventeen of these left. That's these are pretty, isn't it? It's unbelievable. One sec. There, and it has the extender. So if you want to wear it longer, you can. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh yeah, I like that. If you go to Van Cleef and Arpels. And I did the beginning of this year. I went down to London, and I was like, I was, I was poorly as well. But you know, you're like, I want to go to Selfridges. I want to see the jewellers. Not because I'm buying anything, obviously, but just so I can have a little look. And I had a little look around at Van Cleef, and I was like, oh, it's so expensive. It is. Um, and again, it's quite intimidating. But if you go into Van Cleef and Arpels, one of their classic Alhambra collections, where you actually have these. Um, identical motifs. Firstly, they don't do it in amber. They do it in um, carnelian, tiger's eye, onyx, malachite, mother of pearl. I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, so much more plentiful gemstones in actual fact. Yeah. But they do that because obviously, I, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they're sort of like production line, they're all hand finished, but they make a lot. So they yeah. need to have that consistency um, of that gemstone. So this was commissioned by Marius for us exclusively here at Jewelry Maker. Um, even if I turn this round, so look at that, beautiful color match cognac amber set in solid sterling silver. Even when I turn it round, because I want to show you at the back, the fact that you have got your um, extender chain, so you can wear it that little bit longer, and it is a finished piece of jewellery. Now, I, I do know that some of our um, amazing, amazing, amazing audience will deconstruct this. That's up to you. But it's a fine piece of jewellery as is. We have how many, Ross? 17 available. Would I get anything from Van Cleef and Arpels for three figures? Nothing. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I've never bought anything from Van Cleef and Arpels. Um. I don't. I don't think so. You can't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, I went down to London. And I didn't see anything for three figures. It was all four stroke five. Seven nine nine. Are you ready for your price here at Jewelry Maker? Take an inspiration from the fi one of the finest jewelry houses in the world. Van Cleef, uh, the Alhambra collection has been around for over 50 years and doesn't show any signs of going out of popular, uh, popularity. You've got a huge investment of sterling silver. We weighed it, didn't we, Ross, if I remember rightly? 11.7 um, grams, because you remember amber weighs next to nothing. Um, so 11.7 grams of precious 925 sterling silver, an amazing piece of jewellery. You can get hold of this today, jewellery makers, for £99.99. And 99 pence. You know, Jan, we've said a couple of times today, haven't we? You know, if you took something like this and you literally sold it maybe on Etsy or wherever your platform is, if you're a, a, a jeweller, that is, if you're a business rather, um, you're not going to be selling it for £100, are you? Absolutely not, no. 
because everybody knows that this yeah. design and that's a, that's really special i mean you've got a lot of amber in there certainly got a lot of silver in there yeah and that design is really uh, it's now isn't it really popular yes, and everywhere so it's a uh, it would be a desirable piece of jewelry to purchase wouldn't do you know my husband surprised me the other day because um i've got i've got like a an alhambra bracelet not not van cleef and our pals from our sister cha sister channel and even my husband said i'd love one of those he would he would wear it too yeah. so for me i'm looking at this thinking split it where it make two bracelets yeah. how beautiful would that be yeah you could do that you can make earrings with them yeah 50 pounds bracelet sorry i'm still going on about this amazing <laughs> necklace Straight into your high goo jewellery makers because we've got the most amazing masterclass coming your way. The one I'm wearing and have been wearing all morning is mine. Um, I literally uh, picked it up this morning. Picked it up this morning. Now we have 50. The 50 that were meant to be reserved on our sister channel um, because are sold out so quickly. Um, basically, we were allowed to bring the remainder quantity to uh, to you guys at home. Again, I've put this on and I've not taken it off ever since. It's super simple. You've got a nice Solomon's Bar slider bracelet. Hang on, she says. There you go. So, uh, super simple. I do actually wear it on this wrist. That's the thing. I don't know why. There you go. I love it. Absolutely love it. I bought two ones for my niece. One's for my niece as well. Just love it. And I know you can make jewellery. But firstly, you need to source six old make jade out rounds. Because there's two underneath as well. And you need to source the actual high goo itself. The a high goo is symbolic of protection. Um, circle of life. It's also believed to actually keep us connected to lost loved ones. So I love that idea. Um... And you've got the protection from the jade itself. Please remember that your Guatemalan jade mine is closed at the moment. Not because it's mined out, because they've just discovered that ancient Mayan mask, which obviously historically means that um, it's huge. It's, a, it's of a civilization that we know very little about. So, And from what I've seen, I don't know any archaeologists, but from what I've seen, they don't rush things with no. their little brushes. No. It'll take a while. It's going to take him a while, isn't it? So we don't know if we're going to be getting any Olmec any uh, anytime soon. We have been allowed the 50 that were reserved for our sister channel, Jewelry Makers. So um, if you love it and you missed out on the launch, they were launched on Monday. Literally Monday just gone. Um, sold out of our allocation. The 50 that we had for our sister channel, we've been given permission to, to bring today. And you might be thinking that this is a piece of jewellery that is beyond your budget. Well, listen, I have to watch the pennies. I bought two. Next price crash. It's still not where we're closing. All right. I remember, I remember us doing parcels of six Guatemalan jadeite rounds alone for three times that yeah. price. You know, just the, just the rounds. You've also got the most beautiful, one of the best colours. That's what we were saying, wasn't it, Ross? This is some of the finest Guatemalan jade that we've seen because you've got that lovely intensity of the colour. And the more intense the colour is, the more desirable uh, the jade. 30 seconds. We don't even stop here, jewellery makers. We go even lower. Even lower. Derek, Fiona, Jenny, Allison, Pauline, Denise, Dolly, Nicolette, Gigi, London, Lorna, and another London. Um, there's multi buyers getting involved. It's for me. I looked at it straight away and thought, what a lovely gift. Yeah. You know, beautiful gift. I think whatever sort of age or style you have, it's one of those pieces that everybody can wear. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, we can make jewelry ourselves, yeah. but um, when you can get things for that sort of price, yeah. save yourself the bother. Absolutely. Yeah. I couldn't reclame like that. No. See, mine wouldn't be that neat and no mine wouldn't i'd go wrong somewhere and it'd take me ages to yes <laughs> 39.99 jan that's again amazing. for the rounds all the high goo that's yeah. absolutely amazing we have 50 that's it once they're gone they're gone 
Anna, Suzanne, Marion, Derek, Fiona, Bristol, hello to you, Jenny getting to Alison. Um, on this clock, we will be diving straight into a break. We've got your wall of fame immediately after that. And then we have the amazing masterclass with Jan. Incredibly, have we got quantity then, Ross? How many? Jan's project, we have 60 of. Ooh. It is on pre-order. You get from start to finish, Jan, the uh, tutorial to make this amazing piece of jewellery inspired by Margot McKenney. Again, I'll let Jan uh, talk, you about, uh, talk to you about said designer. Amazing pieces, Jan, as always. Um, but do not go anywhere, jewellery makers, because we're going to bring the rarest of gemstones at an accessible price tag. Keep checking out on this beautiful Olmec high goo bracelet. Like I said, the one on my wrist, um, Lauren, it is mine, okay? <laughs> Just so you know, don't try and wrestle it off me. This one is actually mine. Um, $39.99. Make sure you're checking out. Do not go anywhere. Jam's up after this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share.
welcome back, everybody. Sorry, I was just telling Jan about because you're meeting your sister later, I aren't am. you? And yeah. you were saying, oh, you have a, I might have a couple of glasses of wine. Yeah, glass of wine. Very civilised. Bit of a chat, you know. Catch up. Catch nice. up. I said, um, this speaks volumes, doesn't it? Because it was our um, wedding anniversary. Tom and my wedding anniversary. Eight years. I bought Tom... Have you ever seen those things where you put your hands in and you do, like, the cast? Yeah. So I did one of those for a family. Oh. And Tom got me a magnum of wine. <laughs> doesn't that speak volumes, doesn't it? It says a lot. Why not? I was very appreciative of my yeah. wine. Um, anyway, <laughs> take it away. Uh, starting us off, we have 958 Jade Cousins. Oh, Jade, they're beautiful. Uh, hi, Jory, making my entry this week as a pair of silver plated earrings with blue chalcedony diamond shaped drops and faceted rainbow moonstone rounds. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all in the draw. Thank you. Jade, they are beautiful. 958. Do you want me to do the next one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. I know. What do you got? Um, hi, all. These are some items I've made with beads and findings from Jewelry Maker. They made for a cat charity that I support here in Jersey. I love Jersey. Ah. Oh, I love Jersey. Which will be sold on a market store. I do hope they think they are good enough and will help make money for the charity. Good luck to everyone. And that's from Diane Dubois. Dubois. Dubois, what a lovely name. Love Jersey, though. Um, 959. Yeah, oh, yeah gorgeous sorry, the Jersey, number. Isn't I got it? carried away with the That's Jersey. That's all right, don't worry. Uh, oh. I have number 960 from Sue Mortlock. Sue, this is beautiful. Um, hi, all. Please see attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. Um, all components are from Jewelry Maker. The glass rings have a wonderful labradorite look. And I think uh, compliment the rose gold Byzantine chainmail beautifully. Best wishes to all. So, Sue, that is stunning. You're number 960. Oh, that. very pretty. Wow. That's pretty, isn't it? This is from Susan Hall, and it's 961. And Susan says, hi, um, hello, Jewelry Maker. My entry to this week's Wall of Fame is Larimar and Freshwater Pearls. Set of two necklaces and earrings. The smaller connector, I added a drop pearl and the larger pendant I already had from Gemporia. The necklace had different sizes of Larimar, all from JM. Good luck to everyone in this week's draw. That is absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Larimar and Pearls. I love Larimar and Pearls Just in combination. Just delicious, aren't they? Gorgeous Larimar as well. Isn't it? Yeah, amazing quality. Yeah. Now, Good luck. Happen, a draw happens on a Wednesday, so you still got time to send your entries in, jewelry makers. Now, oh, from the moment I woke up this morning, I knew we were going to be in the presence of some of the fi most most mesmerizingly beautiful gemstones, but also mesmerizingly beautiful pieces of jewelry. Yeah. So, um, and Jan, I'm so glad that you have been offered some of our best exampled pearls That's this beautiful. weekend to work with. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful they are. So, um, I got so excited when, I, I was about when the just, parcel came Yes, and I saw the box and my expectation was way up there. Yeah. And then I opened it and then my expectation, my um, the appreciation of it just went even higher. Even higher. Yeah, it was. That, I, was, that was literally, you just take the words out of my mouth. That's exactly what I was saying. Your reaction. What was oh, your reaction when just, you saw this? But it was just phenomenal because they're so, so beautiful. And to have, that, that it's different from your classic strand of pearls mm. because you've got the, the additions. Um, they just, yeah, it just really makes it really exciting. Wow. Now, there was inspiration. All, this whole weekend is taken inspiration from high-end jewellery designers. Yeah. Um, can we bring the jewellery editor article up, Ross? Um, that obviously talks about well gives us an insight to you know where this inspiration has actually come from because i also fully appreciate the fact that this isn't something i don't think we've ever done before we've never actually put together this collection certainly not with the natural purple pearls no i was going to say i've not seen anything um with the you know the pearls and the the additions to them but um but there's a there's a, a jewel designer uh, margot mckinney and she is uh, i mean from what I know of her, she's fourth generation uh, jewellery designer, mm -hmm. the family, you know, and some of the jewellery she makes is absolutely, I think it's just absolutely beautiful out of this world. Mm. Some of it is really statement, she uses big, huge pearls, 
you know, high-end gemstones. Uh, her designs are, wow, I think some of the best I've seen. Yeah, no, I totally agree. We can show, we're looking at a photograph of it, uh, at one of her pieces now. An opera length Baroque pearl strand um, with these amazing, very exciting additions, aren't they? Absolutely, and she, she, she does that. She'll take a, t a strand of classic pearls and she'll put a real exciting modern twist on yeah, them. Yeah, it is, and it does yeah. take something that can be quite, deemed as quite classic, deemed yeah, yeah. as quite traditional. Yeah. Um, and it brings a modern twist, you know? Yeah. Um, and they actually write about this, the editor's review, they say this Baroque Australian South Sea Pearl Strand by Margot McKinney is interjected with vibrant spears of color. Uh, both faceted stones and cabochons are used to create irregular patterns on the surface of the beads. The irregular use of color and precious stones are what make this um, what makes this a one of a kind piece so striking. It's a one of a kind piece of jewelry. Yeah. Um, and the price of this necklace is $175,000. Now, uh, and by the way, firstly, the South Sea Pearls, there's probably a multitude of colored gemstones there, probably the finest example, Zambian emeralds, Burmese rubies, I'm going to say possibly, I don't know, it could be Burmese sapphires and spinels, yeah. one in the world. Um, so how do we take inspiration from a designer that, from a piece of jewelry that would be six figures, and bring it at an affordable, still want the luxury, don't get me wrong, but with an affordable price tag. Well, we'll bring you the, the quality of the pearls that Dave was just literally talking about. Yeah, absolutely. They are flawless pearls, yeah. aren't they? And Dave did, when he came in, he came straight over to that strand of pearls. I and looked at them and he was, they're, they're beautiful, they're amazing. And I think he's very modest, Jan, because he, he was saying, you know, I'm no pearl expert, but he is. Yeah. He knows, he knows, he knows his, stuff. his stuff. He does. I don't know many people that can actually say have been to the locations that Dave no. has and have learned from the people that Dave has. So myself, you know, absolutely included. I've, I, I, you know, I'd love to have just a, a fraction of his wisdom, but he gravitated towards the your necklace, Jan, because again, they're flawless. They're absolutely flawless. And it's an exciting design. That, they, they are beautiful. And I mean, each pearl is gorgeous. They're so smooth. They've got that metallic look about them. That the colour of them is is fabulous. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, on their own, they are exciting. But then you start adding in different elements as well, and it and it sort of um, yeah, it just, it just as a designer, it excites you to be able to yeah, work with something like this. Just gorgeous pieces of jewellery, Jan. Now, how many do we have? Is there only sixty? Now again, this is how, that same reaction, that's oh, why I asked yeah. Jan, this is how it's going to arrive at your door in the most beautiful luxury. You know straight away, don't you? Yeah, you know it's going to be good when yeah. it turns up in a box like that. Yeah. And then, of course, you do this pretty woman moment and you open the box and you say, okay, yeah, I've got my, I've got my silk there. That's perfect. We need yeah. silk to make the piece of jewellery. And then inside... You have some oh, of the I finest the natural thing. purple pearls with oops with your stunning stunning encrusted shambhala beads these are naturally pink please jog your mind back cast your mind back to when dave was talking about the fact that these are rare hybrid pearls only a tiny less than five percent of the world's mollusks can actually, it was less than that, wasn't it? It was less than that. It was only a couple of families yeah. that have been able to basically uh, um, breed different types of mollusks to produce this amazing pink, because they're not dyed. No. They're totally natural. So I think there's literally two families in the Far East that are actually able to actually produce or are harvesting natural pink pearls or purple pearls. We have 60 available opportunities. This is how it is presented to you. And then Jan, you also get with this purchase, your tutorial. Yep, you get um, a tutorial that shows you the knotting process uh, from start to finish. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is uh, the double strand knotting process. Okay. Because if I was doing a single strand, I'd, I'd use my uh, knotting tool. Yes. Um, but some, I use that. Uh, single strand but I also use the double strand knotting technique a lot as well so I thought it'd be a nice opportunity 
to put that into a um into tutorial and you'll have that forever by the way yeah, you yeah. can print off that that tutorial it's available upon dispatch of your order print it off keep it because sometimes I, I don't know about you but i need my memory jogging you know forget i do all the time um so um you get that and it's there you know file it away get i always say get a ring binder and away you go now inspired by margot mckenney we are bringing you natural pink edison pearls and they are perfection i know our graphics don't say it but they are round yeah there's nothing near round about it they are yeah. round pearls natural and then you've got those beautiful encrusted shambalas look at that I've, we've never done anything like this before i think it's so exciting they're gorgeous aren't they yeah they really are i don't think anyone you think about that one of a kind necklace i know they're south sea i know that the uh, sort of encrusted beads are all various different gemstones like rubies sapphires emeralds so we have i haven't got 175,000 pounds to buy that piece of jewelry your first price crash today first we could do the whole thing couldn't we, we could go okay 20 grand okay let's go to five let's go to one let's go to 799 we could do all of that first price crash straight under 500 pounds natural pink edison pearls round edison pearls i mean you know there are a cage that could become don't you think jam one of your like signature looks yeah absolutely and it, it's so beautiful and i knotted the neck the necklace and i got the length that i wanted mm. and i had two of the champala beads left over which i've made the earrings with and i had two of the pearls left which i made one turned one into a pendant oh yes um so as you knot obviously it will lengthen the strand and then you put your clasp on um so yeah it's just beautiful and it's lovely to work with them as well well yeah you know if you cast your mind back to what we were discussing in the 10 o'clock hour you we were saying look hang on a minute you can go on to yoko of london one pink pearl which is still yeah. smaller than the ones that are in jan's project one pink pearl was 500 pounds yeah one you get a full 38 centimeter strand i'll count the pearls in a second and then count the actual uh shambalas in fact should we do that now so you get of your shambalas first one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve shambalas oh, yeah amazing then you're getting two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two 24 26 28 natural pink edison pearls yeah look at those the overtones and undertones do you have a favorite color of pearl <gasps> no if it's a pearl it i tell, no i won't say that i'll say it's on the individual pearl yes do you know what i mean i mean i can see some pearls and i might think no i'm not not so keen not sold on that but if i see it like this strand i open that and instantly fell in love with it yeah do you, you know what i mean and it's just as a pearl lover <laughs> to get that as a project oh it's just beyond. hey listen uh, listen jan you're not here very often so when you are we're gonna make sure that you get pretty special projects gotcha. and this is definitely a special project that's worthy of our jan dwyer and the thing is i didn't do <gasps> anything complicated Look at that. when did that happen you've literally just done it 299 not stopping there don't forget as well literally a jeweler's probably what 20 miles away stratford upon avon is about 20 miles away two pink pearls with with a were they silver or gold don't know it doesn't really matter but one little post butterfly back 500 pounds yeah yeah you could make those multiple times over but I, I'm with you, Jan. I would go for the full Margot McKenney inspiration. Yeah. And I didn't do anything complicated. I took it, the, the combination that it's in the box, I knotted it as it was and just took off the um, two end pearls and the two shambalas. I've just looked at it because it's mirror image. Yeah, it goes two, three, two, three, oh, all the way around. Oh, yes. I did wonder when I was counting. I was like, yeah. okay, 
two three two three two three so it is pearls. laid out beautifully yeah and even down to there you go there's those pearls yours are far, far more lustrous and bright aren't they can you see that and that remember in the worst possible lighting condition in the you know you wouldn't go in that jewelers i know that's in their window but it's daylight we've got floodlights not ideal one nine nine did you know you could pay 29 pounds for the box 29 pounds i've seen i've seen those boxes you know on auction sites for 29 pounds yeah. boxes similar to that not not the exact same but yeah you know that's for the button because that's not a cardboard box that's a real that's a solid absolutely what you would expect and i'm, I'm perfect for your pearls because pearls hate plastic don't they yeah. they need to be in something like yeah, this they need to be able to breathe oh i love it yeah. and perfect they've got a little pillow yeah so they're Lit. nice and comfy and cosy perfectly looked after so they're not yeah. going to scratch or damage 199 pounds goodness me that's way lower than i was expecting this to go uh valerie wiltshire suzanne's got three well done suzanne i'd be curious suzanne are you going for a nice rope Ooh. oh can you imagine, Ooh, imagine like that. a rope of these london kathy swansea's getting two melanie uh bristol you're there as well you get the silk we've got 60 available opportunities Now, oh, goodness me. Again, I need to point out the fact that mm. our sister channels celebrate their 20th birthday in October. 30% of their buying budget for the birthday is usually pearls. Yeah. They haven't bought a single pearl. No. Because they can't at the moment. The fact that we just casually are bringing these to air for <laughs> £199, I said this yesterday, is almost rubbing salt in the yeah. wound for them, really. And there's a purple clock, Jan. We're only doing this because it has been a pretty exciting show today. We've had an amazing show. We've got the quantity. Let's do it. Let's bring you some of the finest natural pearls. Edison pearls known and celebrated for their size, of course, but also their beautiful shape. 149 jewelry makers purely because of the quantity. If you take the price of the box off that, that takes them to about 120 that's ridiculous that's crazy absolutely and that many edison pearls edison, edison pearls yeah. how many did we say 26 edison pearls or something like that i don't even want to know what that is each <laughs> that's absolutely amazing these are not dyed these are totally natural pink edison pearl it's about six pound per pink edison and they are proper pink as well proper pink you've got pink and you've got purple sort of um sheen to them as well what's that orchid color that yeah. yoko were describing yeah. aren't they they are absolutely beautiful go on to the go to yoko of london website see what price they ask for those that color of pearls um it's not 149 uh stop permitting i'm definitely getting some of those because i'm loving this piece of jewelry i love the fact that you know it's it, it is that bold statement isn't it but but just as easily you could use them individually yeah, and if you you made a pair of earrings with them i mean you could charge that that much for a pair of a pair of earrings couldn't you yeah definitely Those edison pearl earrings at that price yeah absolutely because for me edison are up there with your you know Ed, it doesn't really matter where these days no. I, I think dave passionately spoke about that doesn't didn't he but edison pearls remember they were at the whole they were created to rival the the big names the big locations absolutely so i took two pearls off the end uh, before i not well when i knotted them so those are the two pearls that could be the earrings that get me my money back yeah straight away and the rest is gravy gravy um take it away our jam okay so that's the um that's the tutorial so what we're going to do the tutorial takes you through uh from the beginning all the way through the process to finishing off so we start the knotting and finish the knotting amazing if you have any questions for jan do text in if you're watching in um around lunchtime um we are still here in the studio so if you've got any questions for jan do text in okay so this is how i do and i'm using shell pearl just for the demonstration yeah. because obviously i didn't want i didn't get another strand <laughs> which what? is you mean which they is didn't send you to no ah, rude shucks <laughs> <laughs> so what i i how i um do the double stranded technique is i thread them onto your um silk and add a knot at the end now when you're doing the double stranded technique the first thing to check is that your thread will go through your pearls twice so thread them thread all on your pearls um in whatever combination so i threaded on the combination of um with the shambhala beads 
but because the Shambhala beads have got quite a large drill hole I put um, I think that two millimeter faceted stones in between mm -hmm. um, just because the the larger hole wouldn't accommodate the knot so the knot would have easily slipped in okay so if you've got a bead that's got a, a larger knot a larger hole just go through there don't put a knot at that point right just move on to the next um, pearl or gemstone that will the knot will sit on the outside of okay so from the end of your thread thread on your full strand now when you get to this point you leave between your last pearl and the knot the same amount as the strand that you're going to knot okay so if you've got um, a seven inch strand of pearls there you want at least seven inches here if not just a little tiny bit more okay so we'll move them along leave that tail there so what we're going to do now, we're going to bring in some French wire of which I'm going to pass the needle through. So we go through the French wire and bring it down roughly to the pearl. And then we go through our clasp. I'm using this little um, star clasp that I've got. So we're going to go through the clasp. So, so this could either be you, you'll go through a, a jump ring or the end of your clasp, whichever clasp you're using, okay? And then back through the pearl. Now I did check these shell pearl to make sure that they were fine. So then we just pull that. And this is the point where you, you need to be just careful why the French wire goes around your clasp. And if you just pull that, you'll see that that, that happens hopefully quite naturally there we go and then we give that a good pull because we want that french wire to sort of close if i pull the other side there so we want that french wire to close up around the um, your clasp there so it, you can't see much of it but it, it's nice and neat and secure so now to create your first knot this is very technical mm -hmm. you literally t tie a knot well, like I feel like a bit of a cheat, really. To not be at all, because it's actually one of those techniques, Jan. That there. It must not. just click then. It must just click into place. Yeah. Because mine are always baggy. But be, not with this. Right. I challenge you to do that and make that baggy. Okay. Perhaps I'm doing the wrong technique for me then. I think if you just if you if it's your first time at pearl knotting, I'd I'd actually start with the double stranded technique. Now I shouldn't say that really because I want to sell as many of my <laughs> my knotting tools, but I think as a first um, a first step into um, knotting, it's a great one. So all we're going to do now is go thread through your next pearl, mm -hmm. push that up, yeah, and that's your first knot. So your oh. pearls are attached to your clasp there, okay? Yeah. And then the next one is simply do an overhand knot, pull that up, so you've got your next knot. And through the, through the next pearl, and that's it. Oh, so I love watching pearls knotting, and I used to do it. Gosh, when I first started in the jewelers, Jan. Yeah. Um, in my twenties, I used to stand by the the lady that used to knot pearls, and she'd worked there sixty years. Wow. Sixty years knotting pearls. I used to just stand and chat to her. We used to put the world to right. Just, I just watch her not pearls. I love it. I could sit for mindful. hours and hours. Do you want to have a go? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? The pressure. There's no pressure. Oh, I, I'll leave it, that bit for you then. Go okay. On. Have a go. I'll have a go. So what you've got to do is thread that needle through that, that pearl. Okay. I can do that bit, I think. Yeah, you can. I think I can do that bit. Okay. Sorry if you're not getting the best demonstration. No, it's 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 good. That's it. Put it down and then and then literally bring slide. them together. Yeah, you can do it that way. <coughs> bring okay. it up to the knot. That's it. Try an overhand knot, and I'll have a drink of water. Will you, you have a sip of water then. <coughs> while I do an overhand knot. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not a guest designer, so I'm not, uh, okay, <coughs> like so. Excuse me. Put it down. That's it. Just pull it. That's fine. It'll find its own way. That's it. And then you put your needle through the next one. <gasps> I should be doing this technique. Oh, Absolutely. my goodness me. 
literally Jan and I've got if, if I forget from here if I've got this project then I can always reference your yep. your instructions and and that is um, how you actually do the the body of the knotting okay so see okay how, how tight and neat they are gorgeous but to finish off I'll show you how we, we finish off so imagine that you've gone all the way along okay so what you need to do is make sure that you've got um, two pearls mm -hmm. at this end okay so we're gonna I'll cut that off and just yeah we'll do it from there take that one off so you've got two pearls at this end so your pearl <coughs> excuse me it's the studio I'm really sorry no you're all right lovely. <coughs> it is the studio it's like a dry air in the studio it's very dry isn't it mm. So you make sure you haven't got a knot at this point here. Yeah. Okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take those pearls yeah. off that thread. Okay. Okay. And leave that thread to one side. And then transfer these two, these final two, yeah. onto your needle side. I love this. Love it. Yes, oh, oh. Got a loose one. Right, so back through your... Um, Excuse me. I'm just, oh, no, I you're all right. Today. Don't worry. I'll tell you what. No, no, no. It's all good. Um, I can give you an uh, right now. I can tell you, um, give you an update on the quantities of your projects, if you like. Um, so we had sixty. How many do we have left? Okay. Um, we've got the final twenty percent. But again, I can see lots of multiples in your basket. Angela wants three. Lorraine J, Sarah Maker, Jane, City of Bristol, Sorry, London. There's loads of you still with it in your basket. Look at that, thirty-seven twenty-five on split page, Anne. It's amazing, absolutely. And take inspiration from two. I'm going to say it. Two of the most amazing uh, pearl jewelry designers, and that is, of course, Margot McKenney and Arjan Dwyer. Oh, if only. <laughs> No, it's true. <coughs> it is true. Um, all good. Right, okay. Yep. Right, so what I've done is we've got our little tail here. We've got our two pearls, which I've put the needle end through there, mm -hmm. through the French wire, and then through our um, clasp again, the other end of your clasp. Okay. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to bring everything together, but we want to leave just a little space here, enough to add, because we've got a knot into this point. Yeah. Okay. So we'll pass through our um, French, no we won't, we'll pass through our pearl, <laughs> <laughs> we've already gone through the French wire, and then pull that, okay? Yeah. So now, at this point, you just need to make sure that nothing gets tangled. Yeah. I've done that before, so it's infuriating, that. isn't it? Yeah, you need to just take your time and pull that down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's the tiniest sure little necklace in the world ever. Yeah, little borrower necklace. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you need to pull that. But again, as you pull in, just make sure that this space here isn't too, too big. There, and then pull that. There. So I've pulled that thread. So now the French wire goes around the clasp. Mm. And we've got our first tail here. And we've got our needle tail here. So what we need to do now is pick it up, tie a knot around that pearl. Oh, I like that technique. But pick it up because it's a lot easier to do it that way. And then hold it. I usually hold them between my fingers there. And just give that a good pull. Okay. So that's that knot there. Tucked away. So to finish off, and what I would do is probably put a little dab of glue on there just to make sure that that's not going to go anywhere. And then pass the thread through the uh, pearl. This is probably the fiddliest part, is just getting it back through because you've got other pearls sitting there. Yeah. Obviously it's not impossible, but it's just a little bit fiddly. Takes a bit of jiggery pokery. Yeah, sometimes. So then you just hold everything together. I can pull that through. Try not to squidge anything. There, so pull that through. So that's your final knot there before mm -hmm. you clasp. And then you've got two ends of thread there. So what I do is cut off the needle now at that point, and I'll cut this down just so it's easier. And then literally tie an overhand knot, 
before you close that knot up put a little dab of glue in there okay so and pull it, that yeah turn it over not the other side and then do exactly the same again so tie an overhand knot put a dab of glue and then pull the knot closed so the glue then goes within the knot yeah but also put a little dab of glue on the thread as you're coming out okay so that leave that to dry and then when you cut the thread because it's got the glue on it it doesn't fry ah. and it just makes it easier to cut yeah uh, and then you've got um i will cut it off but um you, you'll cut it off a lot closer than me because your glue will be dry and it'll be nice and neat amazing so you start off there go there and back again and you've got that's your and it's that it. technique that can create this absolutely beautiful necklace Jan, you're amazing. It's, it's, it's a really easy technique. And as I say, if you're new to knotting, have a go at that technique because mm. that will give you the confidence, I think, then to move on to maybe other techniques and see which is best for you. You might always just want to do that technique. Yeah, I guess you find something that, you, that works that for fits you, with you. you. Yeah, because we're all different. Yeah, loving that. Now, we have 11 of this project left. Remember, it was very exclusive. We only actually were able to acquire 60. But let's not be complacent here. 60 is amazing because these are natural pink Edison pearls and they are perfectly spherical as well. Beautiful. Um, so if your name is Linda, Zoe, Yi Mei, Surrey, Bristol, Jane, Maker, Sarah, Jay, Lorraine or Angela who wants multiples, I would strongly recommend checking out your basket. You can get hold of this amazing project with the silk as well and the shambalas and the natural pink pearls and that beautiful box you can get it all today jewelry makers for 37 pounds and 25 pence i mean how amazing is that it's crazy it would, you know have a look, look at yoko of london where look look if you look at this pearl it's amazing it's beautiful don't get me wrong eight all right you've got the gold it's a fine chain now i can tell that five it's a nine mil pearl so that tells you how much how how uh, much bigger that picture is? Yeah. Or zoomed in. Five hundred pounds for that single pink pearl. You're getting how many did we count, Russ? Twenty seven. Twenty six. I beg your pardon. Twenty six. So let's do the maths. One hundred and forty nine pounds divided by twenty six. I know I'm excluding the box and the shambalas and the silk. That's two pound per pearl, Jan. <laughs> That's crazy. It is crazy. It's bonkers, isn't it? They're not dyed pearls. They're totally natural. Yoko of London, and they were again. I love it when you hear updates. You know, I don't know anybody from Yoko of London. Dave most certainly does, and he was saying, "Can you get?" They were actually saying, "Can't get them at the moment." But look, the email went back in stock for that single pearl. Oh, Jan, yours is absolutely beautiful with that lovely little bow, little bow at the top. The final nine available. Then you've got these amazing Shambhalas, which we ha I haven't seen in ages. Ellen in Cumbria, good luck. Uh, Nottinghamshire, good luck. Angus, good luck. Pauline, well done. Jacqueline, well done. Suzanne, well done. Zoe in Lanarkshire, well done. Another Zoe, well done. New customer, Beverly, well done. Uh, Louth, Carol, well done. Yorkshire, well done. Angela, well done. Um, Elizabeth, well done. Cheshire, well done, getting two. Tracy, getting two. Olivia in London, Gigi in California. Rachel, and those are the names I can see because you do disappear off the bottom of our call screens here. I've only got seven of them left. You can still do it, but you do need to be quite quick because there's seven. Uh, Keith in Durham, you've just got yours. Well done, Keith. Checking out, as I said, your name, look. You're going to love them. Oh, they're amazing. Oh, they're fantastic. And the shows are flying them all so when you to see oh, your reaction. Did a little skip around the house, you know. I always get excited when I get a delivery of pearls, but um, when, you, when they come in a box like that. You know they're special, don't yeah, you? Yeah. You know they're special. Beautiful. You do know when we leave the studio today, though, Jan, that you know we might have to literally leave by the nearest exit because <laughs> our sister channel are going to be like, uh, "How come yeah. you're getting all the pills?" Sneak out the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we have got different buying teams. That's the thing. Yeah. We have got different buying teams. We've got Dave. Like, like that's something that we've got in common. Is Dave obviously comes across both of the channels? Um, but but yeah, our buying team is different. And also, we 60 is not a viable quantity for our sister channel, unfortunately. So, 
It's all for us then. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. The final six. Tracy in Norfolk, you've just got three. Well done. Valerie in Somerset's just got two. Well done. I've got Michaela there, Shirley there. Lots of There's a little queue on the phone lines. But you can still do it. There's four left now. Michaela, stay where you are on those phone lines and our call centre will get to you, I assure you of that. I tell you what, whilst we'll, yeah, dot the I's, cross the T's and all that, I just want to give you a recap on the pearls that Dave launched earlier on. Yeah, let's have another look at them. Just before I go home. Yeah. I know, it's a struggle, isn't it? Yeah. It's a tough job, Jan, that we've got, oh, isn't it? Oh, look at them. They're absolutely amazing, aren't they? Just absolutely amazing. They are the biggest natural coloured pearls we've ever done. And it's, listen, I mean, that one there literally looks like gold. That looks decent. It does. It? I wondered that, you know, Jan. Doesn't it? I wonder if it has, like, literally snuck in there. I doubt it. No, but it looks but, like, uh, doesn't it? It does. It looks yeah. very Tahitian. Can you see it? Hang on, if I move those two big ones, because I don't want to throw them everywhere. If I tilt this up, see the one in the centre? Is it me? That's very Tahitian. It looks quite light on there, doesn't it? But they are, that's why them. I'm kind of doing this, because you can <laughs> yeah. try to shelter it a little bit. They are absolutely unbelievable. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. Now, the price. You don't just get the beautiful natural pearls, the biggest that we've ever done. You also get the two 14 millimeters, That's which phenomenal, you saw. That's phenomenal, aren't they? Yeah, just... The size of those. I, I, to be just... honest, we just go under 500 pounds, didn't we? I think I'd pay that for those earrings. Yeah. Happily? Yeah. Um, how many do you have left then, Roscoe? Uh, that amazing, absolutely amazing, that. and me. Three hundred and ninety-nine pounds for these. That's the full suite of jewellery. Again, that's less than the nine mil on Yoko of London, which you can't even get at the moment because they're back in. Uh, they're not in stock. Yours go up to yours are double digits. I remember speaking to Charlie Barrett as we as we discussed. Did you ever meet Charlie? Uh, no. Very tall, extremely tall, very well spoken. Very, very well spoken. Sixth generational Pearl Harvester. And he actually said, um, um, I asked him once, I was like, Charlie, what is the rarity? And I know he was talking about marine pearls, but, um, and that's his preference. However, I, I, this statement I think is, you know, exciting for whether you're talk, talking about pearls in general. I was like, what's the difference in terms of, um, compare the rarity of a double digit pearl? And he was saying, as in size, and he was, well, that's like a three carat diamond, a double digit hmm. pearl. Because not many mollusks will actually produce, be able to produce 14 mil especially. Wow. You can still get it. You can choose. Obviously, you can get both. Um, now, coming up on tomorrow's show, Jewelry Makers, I'm going to be joined by the lovely Susie. I haven't seen Susie in ages too. I'm spoiled this weekend, I am. Um, so you've got your uh, travel ring boxes um and a massive green jadeite closeout deal that's at eight o'clock the ring boxes are amazing at uh, nine o'clock you've got your type a jadeite glamour suite with susie which is a lovely kind of uh, i think layered style necklace then at 10 o'clock i'm just going to show you i need and you know i was mentioned that you could actually carved cotan jade Wow. You can wear it longer or shorter, whichever you prefer. I actually like it with that look. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, with that bit kind of hanging down. Um, then at 11 o'clock, we've got the launch of your Pareba Opal, which is gorgeous. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, you have your natural silver freshwater pearls. Um, absolutely amazing. If you're wondering about the Pareba Opal, it's that. I think Pareba Tourmaline, but in an opal. Um, so yeah, we've never seen that. I don't think we've had that on air. I might be wrong, but um, I certainly don't remember, recall. Jan, we love you. Oh, it's you so too. nice to see you back. Thank you. So nice to it's see you great. back. It's been great. I've enjoyed it. It's been great. It's been loads of fun, hasn't it? And you're just incredible as always. You take care, everyone. We'll see you soon.